from any professors I've never heard any of this from my peers heard what exactly that casual sex is empowering and um, you don't watch TV you don't see it on social media you don't hear it in, in the music you don't hear Cardi B and what's her face being like my wet I will, ass pussy. I'll give you Cardi B maybe music maybe like rap music. I mean that's the culture what is that reflective of the fact that that's in the mainstream means it's been accepted by people they could have never put that on TV I mean women were years accepting ago pretty brutal treatment from men pre-feminism would you oh we can get into that i'm I'm sure we can (laughs) i my parents are old my parents are 65 and 75 i know i know what was happening in the 50s 60s 70s 80s 90s like from women from the perspective of your two parents you're going to generalize to the whole my population have, my parents have friends i mean are you going to generalize the population from her experience with a bum no like, not at all i'm generalizing from reading i also read i and i am currently in college and i'm telling you that no one i know who's a social major i don't know any feminist studies majors but none of them are hearing this there are i've never encountered Hold, okay, a communist let's professor. say they're not are your friends engaging in casual hookups no not my friends not your friends but are women on campus engaging in casual hookups? Undoubtedly, and they right. were also doing that in the 90s, 80s, 70s, even the to 60s the, and the 50s. You're you think, talking about the sexual revolution, right? Me? Yeah, well, no. I mean, that is okay. when the sexual revolution was happening, yeah. right? So I'm talking pre-feminism. Do you know when feminism started? Do I know, like, the, there is no No, you don't have to know the day, that but feminism around started, the time. But I mean, let's... Like, yeah, we... Go, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, go I was going to say, like, I would say, like, as an actual political movement, probably like the early 1900s, late 1800s. But I think so. You're talking about the right to vote. Yes. No, not just that, but I mean, like, having an having a sort of like political consciousness that women are lacking something politically, and like trying to think, what was like John Adams' wife? Don't forget the ladies. Like that kind of stuff has been around for a long, long time. Right. And this sexual push to make women be more promiscuous. Do you know when that really started? I mean, if we're talking about, like, the sexual revolution, I would say probably late 60s, 70s. Right. So that would be the whole time period that you were saying that women were engaging in casual Well, no. Women were engaging in casual sex before the sexual revolution. I think that the push was more to normalize it. And I'm not saying that I think that it's a good thing. I really don't. But... You don't see the connection to feminism with that. That's what you're no, saying. No, obviously the sexual revolution is connected to feminism. I'm no, saying no. that casual sex was happening before that. Right, but you Not don't on a mass scale. You don't like see the now. push between casual sex and women. I mean, there is a low consciousness among women these days about what they can command in exchange with a man. It's incredible. I, w- I would agree with that, honestly. I, I do. Th- I see your point there. I think that women accept subpar treatment constantly, but I don't think it's feminism. I think fault. it's 100% the consequence of feminism, which is ironic, but I get, again, I think we live in a satanic world that presents everything upside down from the, uh, the opposite of what it is. So they yeah. present to you feminism as your liberation and your uh, empowerment, and it ends up doing the exact opposite. I'm just curious who you think they is. Like, do you think every woman well, looks to Cardi B and and Megan the Stallion for their like they don't have guiding to. morals. It's pervasive. It's everywhere. You put on reality TV, they're mm-hmm. doing it. You put on the Kardashians, they're doing. It. You put on music, they're talking about it. You put on rap music, they're talking about it. You put on any it's all over. You put on even like I don't know what it's called, the the white people music where they're like playing, I don't know. It's all it's all really sad. They're all depressed like all the, the time. Like the coffee house music stuff, stuff like that. They're yeah. talking about the same stuff, you know. And and so it's yeah. pervasive like when you are swimming in the water, you can not see it but it is every once you start to see it you see it everywhere and it's pretty disgusting well i have a question super based by the way go ahead my question is what would be an effective counter movement because it seems like you're saying that um women are being oppressed so when a movement for women's actually, actual liberation actually i don't happy? i think women are oppressing themselves i think that's see that's the best thing a demon can do is get you to hurt yourself and harm yourself so yeah so wouldn't we want to elevate um women's conscious about that like social conscious about that yeah and what I, would be like the, in my opinion i think you know feminism has changed over time correct and i think it's it gotten would be, worse i think it would be a really effective movement to take back feminism because i'm i feel like you guys agree on a lot of the stuff about casual sex isn't beneficial for women and um an effective way to communicate that to women is to say i'm a feminist i actually want you to um, stand up for yourself. I want you to um, 
you know. Yeah, well, in general, I don't like labels. Feminism as it is was uh, constructed by the CIA with Gloria Steinem. She was in the CIA. Um, it's it's very well documented. So I don't want to use a label like that. I think it, it's uh, it's just too tainted. I, in general, don't really like labels. I don't ascribe to being a Democrat or a Republican. I think they're both pieces of shit most of the time. Sorry, I don't know if I could say that. Um, but I think the more effective thing would be, I think you, you need to approach women with a tremendous amount of compassion. Yeah, and um, I think women and respond. And education. Yeah. Oftentimes women respond to Absolutely. feminism. So that's well, why. Well, they, they, they oh, I don't know if they respond. I don't really think they're thinking most of but the I time. But I mean, are you saying, well, if they don't respond to feminism, then how are they getting these messages <laughs> that feminism is pushing? And how are they implementing Being that in their so lives? so infiltrated. Well, so they, they are the listening. So no, they no, are no, listening. So, so no, You're no, no, no. Right. Hold on. Hold on. I, I said I don't think they're thinking about it. A lot of times when things are advanced on many levels, we accept it without conscious thought. There's a difference between that. We'll just accept like, oh, that's true. Like, for example, everybody thinks we should drink eight glasses of water a day. We weren't doing that when we were in the wild. We were totally fine. Why is that now common knowledge? Well, I think it's because they put fluoride in the water and they want everybody getting enough of it that's my opinion yeah, yeah Wait, how were... did we get to the fluoride because <laughs> i'll always tie something back okay. to fluoride dude i think fluoride Wait. makes people passive makes and ex- it makes you it makes you passive it lowers your iq and it makes you uh unresistant to propaganda and now you said in your pre-show notes that you think that you kind of already touched on this how promiscuity was is a cia psyop correct Psychological operation. Yeah, yeah. I think they did it to the men first with James Bond and presenting this guy as like superhero. Oh, Wait, look. James Bond is a psyop? Correct. James Bond is a psyop. Yeah, if you know who wrote the James Bond novels, he was actually an intelligence officer. There you go. Himself. It's to make the intelligence agencies seem cool and like they're protecting you and they're the good guys. And then in addition to that, they threw in a sexual promiscuity angle for men hmm. so that men would think, oh, this is what I aspire to. Now, there are always, always have been men within the population. It's a small percentage percentage who were promiscuous they're geared that way they're wired that way they're also usually the most aggressive we needed them to be fighters however that was not the preponderance of men who acted that way most men wanted to find a woman wanted to cherish her wanted to have children wanted to provide for her Mm -hmm. well i still feel like that doesn't really answer what would be an effective way to combat that i I still don't know sure so my thing that i think the effective way to combat that is number one to raise awareness so that women can understand what they're being presented with well correct that be effective through feminism that's my why would that be effective through feminism feminism is teaching the exact opposite well i'm saying you hijack the movement and you change it the movement has changed so much through time that what do you mean you can though? Just say, what do you mean by hijack the movement? what what should the new messaging of the new feminist movement be well i mean i think that we understand that um the sexual revolution and women having casual sex it's been painted as you know as beneficial so if you reframe you it, you understand that and right, you so, come from a Catholic background, right, yes. but you cannot think that that is what most women are thinking. They're right. not thinking that at all. Right. Yeah. No, you're right. That's why I'm saying um, it would be more effective to communicate that through saying I'm on your side. You know, I I feel like it's just not really very effective to um, communicate that through saying, you know, uh, just I, feminism gives a really good framework for saying I support women's liberation and i think real women's liberation is liberation from what from this like things like the sexual revolution right okay, but, that, but what was the original goal like sure what, yeah i mean i what, can say when you ask a woman what's feminism liberating you from she'll say the evil patriarchy mm-hmm. yeah and right? i mean would you say that it's sort of a patriarchy that women are under that um men are using women for just you know sex and no I think women are there's a there's some women that are complicit in that like for example Gloria Steinem was part of that frankly I think it's because she was ugly and nobody liked her and then she wanted to go ahead and reduce other women to her competitive level because she could never compete with a truly beautiful and intelligent woman and so she's decided to reduce everybody's worth by doing this yeah I agree I I mean so there's plenty of women and I know uh older women um who go through the feminist thing realize they're miserable they're in their 40s they're childless they don't have kids which I'm not saying every woman needs to do that but they a lot of women will realize that they've missed something and then instead of owning to their mistakes and teaching younger girls to not go that way they enroll they them in the down. same mm-hmm. behavior and that is evil yeah. and i don't think women should do that no i and completely I think agree taking it out of an ideology of like oh it has to be feminism it has to be some movement because i think if you if you really focus more on like an overall morality and that can be your focus, but we don't want to do that, right? Like the like this, it, there's been a wave of um, 
we don't want a religion, right? Like America is getting yeah. increasing, increasingly secularized. Yes. And so then when we want to create morals, we have to then hide behind a political ideology or like, like feminism or communism or an ism mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we can't align our, to, to get our morals, because we can't align with a religious, uh, a, a religion. Mm -hmm. And so then everyone's confused. And so that's why it's like, oh, but now if I'm not a feminist, I'm anti-woman. And, and there's, all, there's all this kind of weight behind either being a feminist or not being a feminist. And, and, and that's where, so now like politics has tried to take the role of what religion used to be in our society. And I think that's where it's getting so detrimental. Grid One Motorsports donated $200. Conspiracy theory girl, can we talk about Disney and the princess effect? How about Rockefeller and the public school system? So many control mechanisms, so little patriarchy. I'm not familiar with Disney and the princess effect, but I am familiar with Rockefeller, the public school system, and the way they took over the medical uh, system and pretty much just they are advancing a lot of control mechanisms that way because they put people in schools and indoctrinate them from a young age with these thoughts but I don't the reason I don't think that it, it presents well to say I'm a feminist is because number one feminism already has such a clear meaning and definition for people does it it really oh, it does it. based on what you guys say about feminism it doesn't because you say things that are completely at odds with what I hear, actual people my age who are in college, what they think about it. It doesn't seem like you're really What, do, what do people your age think about it, about feminism? They don't think that it's a conspiracy being, you know, like an anti right, so they're satanic uninformed. conspiracy. They're no, I think, I think you might have a little something going on, but, oh, you, but I, think, I think that... I think that's... Listen, whoa, right? hold, like, on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. no. You gotta qualify that statement a little bit. I She's calling me crazy, even though it's well documented that I, Gloria Steinem was a CIA agent. I think, I think, you, up, girl. I think you have a little conspiracy mind thing going on where you're looking right. for a conspiracy and everything. Mm, no, I just am informed and educated and I'm not arrogant well, enough I to can, assume that my ignorance means that somebody else is crazy. But I mean, I can also you, say I'm informed and educated and I've, you know, like, right. we can go back and forth saying that forever. Well, but, so do you know then that what she's saying about Gloria Steinem is not only correct, but that through the Congress for Cultural Freedom in the 60s and 70s, the CIA was pushing feminism through like 40 different publications around the world. They sent you know, people to I mean, festivals. so what sort of Gloria Steinem was like a CIA operative. There's Gloria Steinem is not the only feminist no, I'm in the world. I'm saying it's not just her. I'm saying I'm the Congress saying for Cultural Freedom, which was a widespread CIA program that went around the world in dozens of countries and had hundreds of magazines, newspaper outlets, all pushing feminism. This was not just like one lady. This was like a broad effort during the Cold War to kind of differentiate Western liberal values from Russia. So, so they pushed uh, feminism in the sexual revolution. I mean, are you anti like classical liberalism and Western yes, liberal values? Yes, I absolutely values? am. Okay, yeah. so, but you're also anti-communist. I'm very curious what, I mean, maybe that's off topic, but. You can be both. You can uh, be both communist and You can be liberal? against communism and against Western liberalism. I don't mean liberalism in like liberal versus classical conservative. Classical liberalism, yeah. you're, which you're is the American that. founding. Okay. Yeah, I'm against that. Okay. Yeah, um, but, I'm oh, sorry. Go oh, ahead. no, you go for it. I was just going to say that, you know, I believe that you guys can be completely correct. Like everything you're saying is correct. Um, and how fe feminism is a psyop. Just I'm saying psyop back. I feel like that's the best. No, I, I understand way. what you're saying. I, I, I think you're I just disagree that that would be the best way. That's I, all. I just don't see a better route because I have personally I mean, I have the same experience. I've never had any friends who are genuine, like feminists who read literature, um, say that they're pro um, casual sex and that it's really healthy for women to do that. I've never ever heard that ever. Well, here's what you guys need to understand is that feminism is anything that pushes back against patriarchy and moves toward egalitarianism. So if you think the sexes are equal, we should all have equal rights so we can get into rights and what you think that all means, but uh, anybody who is saying patriarchy is bad is feminist whether they identify or know that or not. So if you think that just like, oh, w we have to push for women to be equal with men and women have been historically oppressed, that's all feminism, whether you think it is or not. Well, I, you know, um, for like egalitarianism and stuff, um, from my understanding, uh, you believe that egalitarianism means that men and women are just on equal planes? Or? It means that they should have like equal rights and equality equality of some people would say equality of outcome some people would say equality of opportunity 
doesn't really Yeah, but it's on an me. equality of outcome now right. is right. what they mean yeah. by it. Um, let me think. I have to think. I'm sorry. I just don't think that you guys will ever successfully convince or whatever movement or not movement you want to be a part of will ever successfully convince the female population that they should not at least I agree fight with you, for, which is why fight for what? Sorry, continue. Fight yeah. for egalitarianism, whatever right. that means to them. What is You're it that women don't women have now? Not, yeah. What is it that women don't have now that men have? I'm not saying that there is an imbalance currently, or is or isn't. I'm saying that I don't think. But you do you will understand ever... the problem? We'll never be able to convince women to not fight for something that they already have. If they already have it, then what about this problem you're talking about where women are allowing men to mistreat them? I mean, Correct. That because is women, the rates of like depression among women, women are so unhappy and it's gone like it's, there's a correlate, there's a direct correlation with levels of unhappiness of women documented. Okay, so it sounds like women have something that men don't have, which you're claiming is but, not true. But, but hold on a second. No, no, no. Don't do that. You're shifting tides. First of all, you said that women, there that you'll never be able to stop you'll never be able to convince women to stop fighting for equal, equal rights and i said what is it that we don't have that men have in that department now what she's pointing out is a consequence of that very fight because the supposed really? well that it's a consequence of the feminism how can, how can you say that there, there's a ton of because it, correl it because it correlates directly but, with the rise of the movement but it also correlates with like it correlates with correct. time passing it correct. correlates with a bunch correct. of 9 11 you could blame it on correlation a bunch of does not do you know what year 9 11 happened well you didn't mention the 70s oh. i'm saying you could that's i'm saying you could literally point to any random event that happened throughout history and say well this is why women you're becoming you're 100 percent correct the correlation does not equal causation however there is strong connection between these things that we see women who continue along the path that so quote unquote would feminism would get you to by the way the extreme of feminism because i did study feminism is a lesbian separatist feminism in which they want to live on an island away from men use them for their semen only keep the female i'm not kidding this is a real thing you, guys can, look it up. you can look it up I'm, I'm familiar my with issue is number one i don't think men and women should be at each other's throats and this goes for the right wing movement too which is a little bit of your podcast where they they set we'll get into that. they set men up to to, to see women as these evil, like, manipulative creatures, and then women are set up to see men as these, like, evil, tyrannical, power-hungry creatures. Mm -hmm. How There are both of these things within the population. I've had experience with both of them. I'm not saying they don't exist. But however, to have a movement that continually tells women, this is what they want from you, sets us up to be unhappy because I believe we are made to be in partnership with the other sex and not at war with them. I think my problem with just what you're saying in general is I think we're diagnosing the same issue. Um, but... Not McKin Money Offer Podcast donated $200. Okay. Please redirect the conversation to the left-hand corner of the table. I have a really high run on the number of likes for this show. <laughs> Shut up, leptonic woman in black. Make me, bitch. Uh, anyway, so I was, I was just saying, I think that we have the same, like, we're diagnosing the same problem. Would you agree with that? that I'm not sure. I'm, okay, I'm saying that my problem is that... I think that men are taking advantage of women via casual sex okay. and the sexual revolution. Correct. I also think men themselves are a victim of this propaganda. Yeah, I completely yeah. agree. But I'm just saying I don't see an effective solution for it other than what I've proposed, and I don't see which you is hijacking one. feminine. I yeah. did give one. I said I, I I believe that we should approach women with compassion, raise their consciousness, so they can truly understand how, the problem. How? What would be the way to do that? Well, this is one way: education, speaking up. They could I, read my book and find out the truth about how all of this went down, and that it wasn't this grassroots movement where women looked around in the 1800s and went, "Oh my God, we're oppressed." We have to march in the streets until we have voting rights and bank accounts and that it was just this thing that's time had come because it's complete bullshit. It's not true and that's not how it happened. It was an astroturf movement from the beginning, from, from the 1700s or even further back if you want to go there. Um, so this idea that there is even such a thing as like, oh, we can have women's rights and egalitarianism only at the behest of the men who are going to enforce it for you anyway. Well, so like, I think if you... If you just get through to women about some of these things, it will help. But also, do we really want to, like, depend on turning the opinion of women toward how things ought to be? Well, I think I that... I don't know about that. I mean, I'm just... I'm only referring to the sexual revolution. Like, I'm not talking necessarily about egalitarianism or anything. Um, I, I mean, you say we approach women with compassion. Correct. And, I mean, I think the women who are reading your book are probably already already agree with you. Correct. And, Me? Yeah. Whoa. 
I get messages every single day from women around the world who thought they were picking it up to debunk it. <laughs> oh. I'm going to prove this bitch wrong. And then they read and they go, shit. They check the source material and they're like, damn, she's right. And then it changes their mind. Well, I'm sure people can be, I, I'm sure that um, a lot of people will read it and agree with you and change their minds. I'm just saying that wouldn't the most effective way to change people's minds who are already feminists be telling women you are being oppressed because of this same thing that we're all agreeing on. We can tell them it's bad for them, but that doesn't mean they're going to listen, especially when they're young and the entire culture is... Uh, Wait, so what's your prescription? With it. My prescription is by um, basically psyoping feminism, because, I mean, what, that's... Wait, what do you she mean wants to hijack feminism and hijack turn it... Hijack feminism. Yeah, yeah, so... Brandon Middleton donated $200. Feminism, gender theory, and CRT are intertwined with Marxism. Yep. Marxists preach the oppressor narrative. Victim mentality makes people fail and be unhappy. That's of the connection to women's unhappiness. Uh, yo, thank you, Brandon P. Milton. We have another one coming in, so I'm just going to preempt it here just in a sec. I appreciate it, Brandon. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. And then we have... Oh, Law Paladins, I'll just read it. We have, your shirt is arguing with the wrong person, the only smart woman other than Miss Wilson I've seen on this podcast in the past year. She should direct her rage elsewhere. I don't think, oh, are you? talking about you. She's, happy, she's rage. It's the rage of the pink shirt. <laughs> Wait, am I raging right now? No. I don't think so. <laughs> we do have David Trejiak who says, let's dance, you were good last time. Ironic shirt, meaning for debate or double entendre for dating show, grabbing my tin hat now. Julia Child was in CIA and she could make a great pie too. Okay. It's a true, true story. I'm very surprised yeah. to receive a nice comment. Thank there you. There you go. Yeah, see, <laughs> that's you. not all bad. Uh, you seem, you've been scowling for the past 20 minutes. What's, are, do you have input on this? Me? Com yeah, you've been like. Oh, no, seemed... I've just been like, honestly, like watching, sorry, watching oh, okay. back and forth. Oh, okay. Um, I, I just like, I kind of honestly got a little lost in the sauce on what they were talking about because I, I couldn't tell whether or not, I, at first I thought they were saying like, oh, they're feminists, but then I realized that they were saying they're not feminists. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know, to me, feminism like is just like equality. That's it, like just women and men being equal. Do you think equal? it's possible for women to be equal with men? And what, what do you think equality is? I do, I think that both genders definitely like bring different things to the table you know well, like sure you know but what do you mean by equality like what would be an example like equal pay and stuff if they have the same jobs and everything like equal pay you know okay equal rights equal rights okay and then if women have equal rights with men and they have mm -hmm. the same opportunities does that mean they should have the same responsibility should you have the same responsibility and authority to go with your rights? well i mean i think any adult should you know like, I don't think it's whether you're a man or, like, a woman. So do, so I think if you're an adult, you should have responsibility and for yourself in general as a person. Wait, Nick. <coughs> this is a, hold on, hold on. Nick, are we at risk of get, getting a nip slip from this chick? Uh, I don't... My nip is I, I, in the border. Do you, do you have... So... Do you have pasties or anything you can put on? No, we've talked about this. I, I definitely, like... I. What do you mean we talked about this? Like, he know? asked me if um, I had pasties and I... Said, Nick, pull up the chat because they've been probably paying more attention than me. So hold on. Gotta stop the show. Pull up the chat, please. Uh, chat, is, I, it's hard for me to tell. I'm paying attention to the conversation. This, a, this, can, uh, this TV show, it's hard for me... Uh, TV, it's hard for me to tell. Are we at risk of getting a fucking nip slip from this chick? <laughs> One in the chat if it looks risky. Because otherwise, we're gonna have to, you're going to have to put on your jacket or some shit. It's been getting... I've been no, looking. It's way too fucking close. Hey, would you stop oppressing her with your toxic masculinity, please? What, I said, no, she's fine. But... It's, see, if like, these guys were smart, they would say no way. I know, I know what comes with uh, the troubles of a nip slip. So if if you guys were in danger, I wouldn't risk the biscuit. So, <laughs> so uh, they're pretty divided. I'll there. make sure they're uh, tucked. Tuck them in. Tucked good. I don't know you. I'm not a. I'm not a woman, so I don't know. Do you guys think it's? Everyone stare at my tits yeah. real Everybody quick. Everybody stare at the tit. Look, I gotta fucking do it. I'm not yeah. risking You're probably right. I don't high up your nipples on. Yeah, I don't know where her nipples Yeah, yeah you should start right nipples? here. <laughs> it's a little I mean, risky on the left side. So maybe you just want half, half yeah, the sweater. Yeah, I think the left I'll, side and you're good. They're tucked. 
I mean, you have a jacket if you if you <laughs> yeah. get if too it's in a, dangerous. It's just a little hot, but not too hot. I'm yeah. like in between being hot and cold. But like, no, I think I pulled up my shirt even more, so it should be good. <laughs> Maybe just can you put your shirt on a little bit just so we're not there. Thanks. Risking this shit. <laughs> All right. All right, it should be good. It should be okay, good. Okay, so what I wanted to ask is, so you just outlined some rights that you think women should have. Do, yeah. do women have duties? Yes, they do. What, what would but, be an example of women's duties like, to society? Well, I mean, if they choose to be a mother, that's one of their duties, but like, you know, people... Well, a duty isn't a choice. Those things are mutually <laughs> exclusive. So is okay. there a duty that women as a... Because we know men have duties. Men have a duty to pr uh, protect, to provide. They mm -hmm. have to build all the infrastructure. Well, they I have mean, to I defend the a, nation. So I what are women's... Choice. I don't think that's not a... Really, not really. Not, not when there's a draft. Not when there's a draft. And uh, who else is going to build the infrastructure if men don't do it? Nobody. Well, I mean, also, I, when I you just think that men and women could do it. You no. know, I think mm -hmm. there's there's women in the force. Like, are you, know, you saying woman or women? <laughs> because those are different. Women. Woman is one. Women. Women, women. Yeah. is more than one. Well, I'm pronouncing it, I guess, differently than you said. But I'm saying women. She's yeah. saying the plural. Yeah, like okay. women in general. I can't hear the difference with a lot of these like younger girls. They say the word the same, so I wasn't sure. Um, so. We know men have duties yes. to provide and protect. If, if men aren't out keeping the electrical grid up, there's going to be problems, oh, right? I mean, they yes, have I know to it's more that. of a man's job, but like women can do that job too. No, they can't. Like, yes, they can. You don't see any women doing do you know, that. They can. Like, do you know they what it entails to, to, to create, you're make, and lay concrete? It is impossible. To, they can't do it. Do okay, but there are men who insane. also can't do it. There are disabled men. There sure, are really skinny, But the only people who can do it are men. But there, I mean, but that, the thing is, there are plenty of men who aren't doing that, so you could say it's a man's duty, but you can't generalize and say it's all men's duty, just like you can't generalize and say all women's duty it's is to have children. It's the duty of men to provide, protect, and build the nation. And They're the only ones who can do it. And lots of them physically can't. There are some... But that I doesn't that mean I that we can't generalize. I see a lot of men who I don't think would last <laughs> yeah. very yes, long. Yes, I, I don't see any line. women Absolutely. that would be able to do it, so... Okay, I, so, I can agree with that. But it doesn't. We can we can talk about generalizations and uh, outliers. But I'm asking: Do women have any duties to society, or is it just she needs to do what makes her happy? She, she needs to, to be focus women, on her like a mother. Women she produce the next mother. generation. Yeah, that they should, but they're not. Have you guys taken but a look they at the are, birth because rates? If oh, have you, you taken a look at the birth that, rates? Because if you say that, well, the, I, the birth are. rates are lower. Even, even Mexicans are below replacement now. But like the oh, birth no. rates are lower, but that's they not assimilated. saying that they're not. I, I agree they're that there is a there is a decline in terms of the value of motherhood, and I personally think that that should be something that is valued again it's a very important role and okay. there should be no shame in in wanting to be a mother and i think a lot of you know as a young woman you get this you're kind of torn where you're you're definitely led on a path of education and that's important i mean education is great and we're we are a more privileged generation so our parents in general had enough money to like at least want us to get an education we got an education we get a good job well and then uh, you get later and then now now you're this in the is a lot of world woman you, well let me I'm finish sure what I'm saying <laughs> Rach Rach let me finish so you then you have a job you get right, your job right. and then all of a sudden you're 29 you are 30 31 32 now you need you have like a short time span to get into this relationship to get married the guy feels pressure if you've been on birth control that's going to make it hard to actually conceive because that's going to and that impacts your fertility for you have to wait for that right. stuff to wear off so so there are all these problems so it, i think that the age of responsibility of motherhood has been pushed out but the problem is that because of like the biological restrictions and limitations of on a woman's body we can't we can't uh right. we, we feel that pressure and so it's it's this catch-22 and you want to and so Wait, i don't think it is a catch-22 though well but it's either you you pursue education and get a career yeah, and all that so, stuff right. or you be a mom and that's a hard it's, it's hard. not it's, a hard it's actually decision. not hard at all and here's why because why are we telling young women to take your most fertile years when you should be having babies and spend that entire decade of your 20s chasing an education which the average woman goes forty thousand dollars into debt to get 
and she makes an average of forty thousand dollars a year which is a terrible deal right so you, we tell them to go to all this college get into debt to get your degree and then do the career thing like you just yeah. said and then all of a sudden at 30 flip a switch and, and try to get at least 2.1 babies out of them that's stupid and it's never going to happen so why do we give young women that advice i mean and i don't think i think 95 percent of y'all don't have any business being in a university at all I mean, it would be great bah, bah, if, you could, if you could Sorry. pause, <laughs> if you could pause and like, and like, yeah, take advantage of your fertile years, right? And then you go into school, but like, that's, no, that you don't need to happen. go to school. What do women need to go to school for? Have you ever taken a look at what they major in? Who is going to, who's going to spread? Sociology. Right? <laughs> Political science. Okay. Who's gonna oh, who's, who, who's gonna do this oh. anti-feminist movement if there aren't learned learned women in the world? Who's, you're you're also you know you're think I, will say, I will say this. I, will I didn't say this. go to college. It's, I never went to college. I had my first baby at 20, the way the Lord intended, and that, that's beautiful. <laughs> and you're <laughs> obviously you're obviously very intelligent and can speak very right. And that's so awesome. I don't need a no. bullshit university but I will degree say, and a no. bunch of debt. But I right? will say what like a, a realistic, just a reality is. It's so expensive now. I mean, at, like, live in oh, any city. If you, you want to be a homeowner, is. why if you do you think do college it? is so expensive? And no, I'm not saying idea? college. I'm saying after college. I'm saying you need oh, a job. You need living? a you, yeah, cost of living. And so also, and if you're, do you know why that's that? Because way? more people entered the workforce, be and so which pe people? <laughs> women entered the workforce. Women entered the workforce in mass in the 1970s. Just one sec, guys. God for feminism. I wouldn't be able to have a triple digit body count and no kids. Population Triple digit? Question for the panel. Would you date a guy with 100 plus body count? Uh, no. Show of hands if you would. No. His ability to Wait. bond has been destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, she would. Nobody else. Oh, you would date a guy 100 plus body She's count? She's dating a guy with 100 plus body count. Can I ask? Okay, continue on with your point. Your, so your husband's name is Andrew. Mm-hmm. So does he want? Does he not want your daughters to go to college? He doesn't want no, them to go to college. They haven't so far. They've, they haven't. They've done. Um, they've been homeschooled, and then they were able to do a little bit of trade school. Like one of them does dental assisting, the other one does culinary arts. Mm -hmm. Free education, no debt, something so they have a little job they can do until they get married because the world is the way it is. I'm not saying I don't understand the situation we're in, but I think it's a horrible idea. 95% of women, they go to college, they get bullshit degrees and shit I'm just gonna like say interior this. design, 95% of all people do not belong in exactly. college because they are mentally, yeah. well, I can't say the word, but they're not well. Um, but let, wait, so the, the issue I think that she was bringing up when you when she was asking you about the rights is mm -hmm. people don't understand that the minute there's a right, there's also a corresponding duty on right. somebody to enforce and allow that right. Mm -hmm. And so actually I think most rights are total BS, male and female, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I don't, I'm not, and I, I think you might have the idea that I'm in a prescription that, that somehow uh, women should go back to being a second tier citizen or something, which I don't know that we were. I wasn't around in that time to say that we were. Um, I don't necessarily agree that women shouldn't be educated because if women are going to raise children, they should be intelligent enough to know how to raise those children and shouldn't raise morons. Um, but I do think that there is a push on all fronts for everybody to go to college as if they need it. And this is just a Ponzi scheme. Yeah. To I think get intelligence and education are completely separate from Agree. college sure. and university. Sure. Yeah. You were raising your hand. Did you have something you wanted to uh, add? Uh, someone kind of already like said it. What, it was, what was it? I was just going to mention like they were talking about how like people aren't having kids or aren't raising families and someone already mentioned the cost of living and I was going to say that yeah. that's a here's, here's, the, here's the other part hold on, on hold on degree. here's exactly. the other part okay men do not want to assume duty because they are getting free sex right they do not want that they don't even men don't even want this that's what I'm saying men don't even want it they don't and do you know they what don't I want think what they don't, don't want, want what free sex they, yeah men don't want free sex they want a they, high well, they think women. they do think they want it well, though th but that's because women are making it they want it short term women are making it's so easy. Women I think are it's both. I don't pictures on Instagram. They're I think it's it both, man. I think it's both. I think men have this idea that they have to rack up. I mean, look at this. Men, they're they're freely telling you I have triple digit body counts, like he's bragging, instead of looking at the fact that he's lost all his morality and has subjected well, women to nothing that he's as an object. His morality. A hundred percent, it does. No, you're just using another human being no, for your own sexual satisfaction. Sexual satisfaction is much different for men and women. For women, sexual satis, you know. Having, Please tell us, Dr. Ruth, what is the difference? <laughs> having <laughs> sexual relations as women, uh, as women, sorry, blah, 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 having sexual relationships as women <laughs> is emotional. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, but seriously, having sex 
as a woman is much different than having sex as a man. For men, it's not emotional. It's purely their evolutionary descent. You know, it's it's instinct. It's built into their brains. Well, there's a lot of men it's emotional. But I think it takes a certain like moral it like to be a man and to choose not to that's your carnal instinct. That's your most basic instinct. Right. Yep. So to be and able to don't have you think the self will No, that? but but for the don't men you think there's probably a reason. No, for, for the men there's probably a reason that, that we want to kill people when they piss us off. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's hold normal. Hold hold maybe hold 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 It's your most basic carnal physical uh, what's that brain called? Your, uh, you know, your reptilian brain, right? I'm just going to act on my instinct. I'm going to do what mm-hmm. I desire. And that is, there's no higher calling. There's no self-control. There's no it's any of these values. It's for reproduction. I, but that's still, yeah. yeah, but that doesn't, well, that yeah. doesn't change the point. It's still your most basic instinct. It takes exactly. a lot, it's a lot harder to actually control yourself. But who cares about that? Wait, Isn't there a reason why they have what? those instincts? Well, let's just put it this way. The societies where the men just follow their impulse to breed indiscriminately yeah. do not produce the best offspring. How and do you be, know that? Because who, you can just study most, it. Who has you the can most just study children? It. It's you the can, high value men. No, people like Elon Musk. Uh, okay, listen. So I know you have to justify why your boyfriend's cheating on you. But okay, it's not. <laughs> my boyfriend is not cheating on me. It's I know. We can call it whatever we want. We can <laughs> label things different ways. That Isn't man that will always be a man, no. even if he cuts off his penis. I don't care what the labels are. The yes. truth of the fact is what it is. Now. The, the fact of the matter is, if we follow these base instincts to just reproduce indiscriminately, it actually does not produce for the best societies and the best raised children. That's why you, you don't follow it indiscriminately. You that. get a third world country. There's a reason that Western Europeans, which have the highest correlation for morality, also produce the most civilized societies. Can you explain what highest correlation for morality means? Sure. If you want to take a look at who actually has moral prescriptions, like um, you don't cheat on people, you don't steal, you don't kill, these sorts of things, it is the highest in Western yeah, European but who civilizations. Says those are the correct morals. Okay, so you're going to go into moral are relativism, you rel- are you a right? Okay. In which you can decide. How about this? If somebody just brutally kills somebody you love, are you going to say, "Oh, that was part of their culture and that's okay"? No. No. All right. So that, that lets you know. So there is an internal instinct about what is moral and what isn't. We can get into the communist moralist relativistic position that says oh every culture has different morals but then when you actually apply it practically we all agree that children shouldn't be made to be child brides or child or get married or have sex right so we do have a, an agreement on morals so well, where do you find like how do you find out about that moral system because clearly people aren't following that's that a very deep system. and theological question as well yeah but there have been a lot of writing on how you find out about the moral thing i think some of the things that we can start with is a lot of people do actually have a natural uh, reaction to immoral behavior yeah and that's one of the key indications that actually morality is in innate as opposed to taught right, right but i mean people still go against it and people still yes they do yeah. i've gone against it yes yeah. but people um justify it as well so how right. can we live in so, a society that doesn't justify immoral behavior well you ha- you have to have moral alchemist leadership alchemist underscore xp donated 200 dollars. hey thank you alchemist why can't women comprehend men created the civilized world electricity paved roads governance plumbing health care and women think they are equal since they feel entitled well, to an a opinion. Well, a woman created that man, so... <laughs> well, also, Wait, a lot of what? those men made that for women before when they had to actually work for sex, but that's a different... ...perception, and then uh, people have to actually live with the consequence of what they do. That would fucking make it go down oh, in the long damn. term, but in the long run. Oof. <clears throat> I bet I bet women would suddenly lock their fucking legs up real quick and men would keep it in their pants real fucking quick if they had to live in the consequence of what sex was. But they don't. I mean, so, per- personally, yeah. I, I could say I've, I never got pregnant unless I tried to get pregnant with my husband. And I, you know, I personally say that, but I, yeah, I don't know. Fred, Greetings. Think. How's the panel? Yeah, doing? well, I personally have to deal with the consequences, too, because birth control doesn't work for me. Well, birth control also fucks up your guys' heads. Yeah, I've never. Well, I got, no, I've, I don't. I, I worked for OBGYN for almost ten years. I I strongly disagree with uh, hormonal birth control. I've I've personally I took it for about three months and had a lot of side effects, and then realized that honestly, this is a serious thing we're doing to our body. It increases 
uh, your risk of cancer. No, it, no, it no. It hormones. helps. It helps with safe sex, Ashley. <laughs> right. And, and, oh, and also, and we, have to, uh, we have to educate also, people. You got to educate people. It also increases uh, your risk of stroke and heart attack because it's uh, somewhat of a blood clotter. It has somewhat of a blood clotting effect. Anyway, it's just hormonal birth control is just in no way, shape or form good for anybody i do not agree with hormonal birth control i well, don't it's agree like, with birth, birth control either and i'm not on birth well, wait, control but wait but wait an entire an entire generation of an entire generation of women their teenagers as soon yeah, as they get generation. their periods or they whatever they get yeah, put on it about 14 years old pills to, to, to to high schoolers you know What's the big deal? Are, that's what happened to me. You gotta be there saying. are health benefits to it, but that's questionable. There's still but the thing is, what's, I don't, what, yeah, I don't, what health I don't benefits? Agree. That they don't have they'll their have period for a while? The, the no, it's, a, it's okay. Or, Look, it's fine. Like, you can have an entire generation educated to take birth control, which they were. That's Michelle's utopia. To coom. Because if you don't let them coom, then they're going to coom. You see. This is the logic. If you don't anything. let people coom, if you don't let them coom, they're going to coom. Yeah. Oh. By okay. Way, great. Great, great logic. Fantastic. Say congrats on your 4K subs. I didn't know you were already there. And yeah, thank you. I was trying to congratulate you from the chat, but apparently I'm still shadow banned, so I was unable to tell you congratulations. So uh, maybe your mom. Uh, you probably did something. I five. No. Probably. I probably I said words. You probably it's, did something. You're right. Yeah. But anyways, I just wanted to personally tell you congratulations since your mods won't allow me to do it through chat. Well, well it, hang on. It's a covenant you. community. This is your libertarian utopia. So of course. It's, a, it's a covenant community. With our voice. Yeah, and we, discri we d you can discriminate in the covenant community, and you've been discriminated against. So, like, it's I fine. There's oh, hi, Andrew. Chat, um, I, somebody in chat good talking job about talking to Dave, by the way. Somebody in chat talking about uh, talking about birth control for men being tested. I've seen I've seen a lot of stuff about this too. Uh, that's yeah, nobody cares about that. Actually. Fucking weird. Anyway, so uh, Andrew, I want to <laughs> congratulate you on your second round with Dave Smith because uh, the first round went pretty well. Yeah, who cares, dude? You're going to be on someone else's channel talking shit about me in 15 minutes. Like, why do I care about your <laughs> phony baloney? Congratu congratulations, dude. Your phony. Ass Ass fucking oh Andrew, I wanted to say hello. You're fucking just another backbiter. Just fuck off, dude. What what am I backbiting about? I you'll be on a, you'll be on another asshole's fucking channel talking shit about me like you always do. Oh, I've got my own channel for that. I don't have to go. Yeah, on. so I don't know why you're congratulating me. Why you want to be buddy buddy? Right? We're not friends. You're a backbiting piece of shit. I think it's, so I, I think don't it's know. progress because you won't argue with me about libertarianism. <laughs> so at least you'll hear Dave Smith. Out. I've I'm wrecked you on libert. I've wrecked you on libertarianism so many times. Not even funny. And on top of that, you won't put your face behind your words, and so you're not. I know I'm a coward. Having, I, I refuse yeah. to show up to to debate, and <laughs> mm -hmm. I know I'm just a. a Spineless coward, you got me there, bro. You are. Well, okay, let's get back to our conversation because we were talking about like what we could do. Um, by so I, I appreciate uh, it up again. I appreciate you coming up here and congratulating me. Thank you. Um, no, don't worry, don't worry. You'll be on based Oracle's channel uh, talking about how your PDF file adjacent uh, in in you know five days, Glenn, or two days, or maybe two days. But he's going to come on here and tell you congratulations. You're doing a great job. Right. Uh, I can speak for these, myself. These, these fucking these okay, these fucking people. These people are so fucking duplicitous, dude. Totally duplicitous. Talk out of both sides of their mouth, and the more anonymous they are, the more often they do it. Mm. Again, Glenn, I I can talk for myself if you want me to. Andrew doesn't have to talk for me, but that's okay. I'll wait until he's well. Done. Tell Glenn about how you go and you fucking talk shit about him on other people's channels. Tell him about it. Okay, okay, Glenn, since he wants to talk about it, I guess I could go out into the panel verse and tell people to like shadow ban people that talk shit against me, like Grid One Sports or something like that. You know, I could like tell him, don't allow anyone who talks shit about someone else on your panel. Mute that. Yeah, well, I mean, this is obfuscation. This is obfuscation. You're not actually answering to the charge. Why do you go to other channels, talk shit about Glenn? Why are you going on You're a guy's right. channel? Why, do you, why are you going on a guy's fine. channel? Who's it's saying anyway, that he's a PDF file? He said they're saying he's a PDF file. He's PDF file adjacent. You're going on his channel and you're sparking those flames. You're totally duplicitous. Oh, but congratulations on your 4K, Glenn. Shut up, dude. You saying that? Because I you told me <laughs> you, you didn't you didn't you don't align with that. I yeah, they do I was run a with regular that. Regular member of Glenn Lawrence channel. <laughs> I, I frequently come on here and talk to him about all kinds of things. 
and you frequently go on other people's you frequently go on other people's channels and you stir it up and you talk a bunch of shit and that's what you do (laughs) it's it's very i brought up on this panel glenn dude you were you were you were over you were over on a panel with so uh jake from project vo pod yeah, that's a perfect me. example of another channel <laughs> I'm not allowed on anymore because of Yeah, you. because you're duplicitous, because you're duplicitous. And you, what you did was you set an ambush up against that kid, and you were doing everything you could to stoke the fire of these ridiculous allegations that Glenn Lawrence is PDF file adjacent. Oh, but is congratulations on your 4K. I don't remember saying anything about <laughs> Glenn on, on Jake's Oh, channel. bro, they were, they were going at it about this, and you were completely agreeing with based Oracle on this. Yes, you were. I disagree with based Oracle all the time, dude. We very rarely agree on shit. Well, you we certainly agree on that. You were, you were trying to convince everybody Saturday night to suck his dick. Shut up. I told no, you. No, actually, already. I was trying yes, to convince you, you to debate him, Ashley, since you're always yeah, talking super, shit about him. No. Super, super duplicitous, man. You just, just that's super duplicitous. What do you want me to say? That's why I, I don't have any respect I for you. I debate, like, you know, like adults and shit. You know, <laughs> that's not no, debate. You le- that's no, not, you know what I'm talking debate. about. You legitimately were trying to convince that that star girl to like based Oracle and talking him up and blah, blah, blah. And then Well, yeah, were- sometimes I like it when people share ideas. I think they should get together and be friends. That's true. Yeah. That's yeah, why I was I saying, mean, like, Andrew will listen to Dave Smith, but he won't listen to me. So I encourage Dave that Smith. Discussion. Dave Smith's not running around going on channels where people are saying I'm PDF file adjacent. That's Did you, I buddy. That? Did I yeah, say no, that? No, you're on, you're on those channels, and you're definitely stoking the flames. You're stoking the fires to try to get people uh, uh, stirred up and upset. But anybody who would make such an allegation against Glenn Lawrence, why would you even waste your time with them anyway? So, Glenn, are we not allowed to be on channels that where people say bad things? Is that what I'm hearing? Well, I already said before, like, um, anybody that's going to be aligning with somebody that's going to be stealing, spewing that rhetoric, that um, that's where I draw the line. I don't have nothing to do with them. Like, what kind of rhetoric? Like, fresh and fit rhetoric? No, like, the rhetoric that basically rhetoric. saying, like, saying that the lies that he's spewing oh, that about me. And, you know, the other nonsense that I already said that that's why, I mean, that's why I even messaged that to Ashley and I I know um, and I I tried to get Ashley to talk to him, but she won't talk to him either. I even got her on Sarah's. I literally messaged him for weeks and talked to his moderator and he claims he didn't read my messages, then goes around and screen shares them. He says he's Again, not interested, this, this, then goes on and makes like hours long shit talking streams, making all these crazy allegations. Last night, he said that that Glenn and I called him an actual PDF file. We never did that. He, I clipped it, Glenn. Like, literally, this is bullshit, I fi You're so full of shit. Okay, well, I promised Glenn I wouldn't mention a certain person, so I'm not going to talk about him anymore. So if anyone has a beef with someone else on another channel, I suggest you go to him and fight yeah. him. Yeah, okay. yeah, if, yeah, if, if anybody has, well, a, well, he if anybody has the most bad faith. He on Discord last night, so, yeah. yeah if anybody has the most bad faith analysis of what's actually going on, then, I mean, I guess we can just go with that. We'll go with your bad faith analysis. We'll just do that. Because what's actually happening is we're saying you can't go on channels where people disagree with you. Not saying that it's pretty duplicitous to come on and congratulate a guy while at the same time stirring up shit on other channels where people are calling that same guy a PDF file. I'm Did just I saying it doesn't shit, seem Glenn? doesn't Glenn, seem that consistent to me. Video and see if I stirred up shit, Glenn. <laughs> you should. You should go back. You should go back and watch what happened with Jake's Project Video Pod. Anything. I always <laughs> watch a bunch of channels that you're on, so I don't know what you're saying on channels that I don't I don't frequent. I'm talking um, about this channel, Glenn. Did I stir, did I stir up shit on this channel, Glenn? Did I come in yeah, here? I, I only I only do it I only do it not to your face, Glenn. I only do it not to your face. <laughs> I only hear one person stirring up shit in, on this panel, Glenn. Is it me? Oh no, I, no, I, most most, I hear... most certainly I'm pointing out that you have a duplicitous nature. That's why I don't like you. Thank you, sir. I do try. Yeah. I've learned yeah. from Weirdo John, the master. He taught me well. All right, well, if I um, <laughs> I'm gonna get back to our regular conversation. Yeah, but yeah, I do yeah. appreciate your kind, or what are we talking about? I, I appreciate um, uh, your your kind uh, words and your congratulations. All right, that's all I wanted to. Like I said, I couldn't do it from chat, so please allow my chat to t- be turned back on, and, and maybe you know, know Grid that. One and Project Veopod will turn my chat back on as well, since I'm not allowed to talk there either for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's some 
common element that we, we you all share. I don't know, but anyways, yeah, the common element is I five. Um, yeah, the common element is you, you dummy. <laughs> oh, you're the common me. element. Oh, they're they're, they're <laughs> all banning me it. because of me. It's not someone else. Yes, yeah, so they're all banning you because of you, stupid. Yeah, it's not me. Oh, are you saying wow. that they're banning so they're banning you because of me? Is that what you're saying? Not because of you. Uh, well, moving on, better conversations. Um, because I really wanted to continue talking about like what you were saying about like uh the grassroots movement, like um, like uh, uh counter campaigning against the leftist agenda. Like, so let's say I wanted to do that. Like, what what, what would I be what would I be trying to do? Like, by going to L.A., by going down to like the the colleges. When they're doing a rally and then just kind of like trying to count, well, like speak against it, like what does that well, look no. like? Well, I mean, right now, uh, I mean, conservatives have been doing that and it is somewhat successful, but uh, right now uh, there's not much you can do anymore because this election cycle is basically done. Um, yeah, but you can you can kind of begin to do groundswell organization coming up for the midterms and preparing for the midterms and preparing to do counter canvassing. That's very localized and it's very small. But it doesn't take a lot of resources, and it can get really big results. So, I would just start there. Okay, um, I got a five dollar super chat from the Raging Patriot, good friend. Uh, he goes, "I fi, YT is here now, and you see what happens." All right, I don't know what YT is. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know. YouTube. That's what I thought, at least. Um, so, like, we would do, we would need funding, right? We would still need funding to do the same, like the counter um, to counter, like the um, uh, what is it? The, to counter the liberals, uh, like okay. yeah, but that's argument. super that's super easy to get, right? There's hundreds of Republican PACs and super PACs, and you can just go to the super PACs and say, hey, look. Uh, we're requesting funding for a canvassing effort. We're going to be in this area, right? This is a person who you endorse. Um, and we're going to pay some volunteers, you know, not a lot, maybe a hundred bucks a day or something um, to assist in canvassing and getting your, getting the message out there. And mm -hmm. those guys usually will assist in those, in, in the funding. That's what those packs are there to do. Mm. So like, do you have to like find a pack or connect with the pack or the packs find you? Like how does well, that so so in in politics, libertarians do this, Republicans, Democrats, all of them. They have kind of these meet and greet, um, you know, social dinners and things like this. And it's really easy to pay five hundred dollars for a plate, right? That's one of the ways they raise money. Go in, introduce yourself, and explain that you have a plan to um, to do localized canvassing and organize localized canvassing. And those guys will, you know, once they know you. Um, they, they usually will assist you in that effort. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very good. Um, I got a $2 super chat that I missed by King Blackout. It says, um, you know, uh, aren't we uh, men or are we not men said uh, discount? I fi get the fuck out. All right. We got that one covered. Um, let's see here. Do you have anything more? Nope. Good. So when are you coming to the West coast? I know it's like in a week or so, right? Uh, yeah, like a week and a half, two weeks right in there. So when you come out here, um, I can meet up with you in SB. Uh, cause I got a cigar to smoke with you, bud. I got a cigar to smoke with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We can do that. Well, look, I'm going to, I'm going to get rolling because, um, I'm really fucking tired. And, uh, yeah, you should uh, get some rest. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for yep. coming by, Andrew. As right, always. Thanks for thanks for having me. Have a good day, man. You too, bro. Bye. Bye. Um, Uncle Fatty, uh, comes. Just put that money in the chair. They're starving kids 6, in Africa. Six thousand nine hundred and sixty-nine. Blah blah blah. Sixty-nine Tough donated crap. sixty-nine was, dollars. Was. The only reason Josie wears panties is to keep her ankles warm. 
Josie out here gargling nuts like I feel bad for my my, Be honest, is that what it sounds like though? No Uh, Shit, okay All right (laughs) <laughs> I mean, I feel like, I don't know. How are you going to, how, what, you, how are you going to, they're starving kids in Africa. Why are you going to get some fake titties? Thanks for watching. There is hope in Jesus Christ. He will never leave you or forsake you. Like and subscribe and join our Discord for friends and more. Bring him in. Yo, what's up, Andrew? Hang tight, guys, for just a sec. Yo, yo, can you hear us? I can. Can you um, hear me all right? We can. We can. We had a, uh, I don't know if you were watching for a little bit there. We had a, uh, a doozy of a stream. I uh, know I wasn't able to catch a lot of it, unfortunately. Well, you caught were you, you caught the tail end? Uh, well, I, actually, I caught the first part. Oh, the first part, okay. Yeah, I see my biggest fan back there whispering about me. Look at you I, back she, there. She, she, no, she I asked who you, you were. I was trying to me. hype you up. I was trying to hype you up. She's hyping you up. She's hyping you up. <laughs> <laughs> she was just smiling. Anyway, how are you? It's nice to see you again. How you been? I've been great. How are you? Yeah, see, I knew my biggest... All I had to say is my biggest fan. I knew that she would know it was her. <laughs> it was me, obviously. Yeah, of course, of course. All right, so uh, I think we're going to we're gonna tap you guys out. Then you guys are going to be in... Surprise. It's, there's going to be a surprise, but... <laughs> uh, so why don't we get... Actually, well, one of... Hmm. Let me think how I want to do this. Yeah, we'll tap you guys out. Let's bring the other girls back in, same mm-hmm. seats. Mm-hmm. And uh, Andrew, why don't you introduce yourself real quick? Yeah, my name is Andrew Wilson. I'm the host of The Crucible. I'm a political analyst. Take your a book. Political, yeah. A political Sir, satirist. Yeah. And um, I also like to engage in a little bit of debate from time to time. All right. Welcome, Andrew. Sorry, guys. We're playing musical chairs here, so we're tapping people back in. Wait, where did the other two go? Wait, did they leave? Who? The... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Didn't see you guys. Okay. All right. We're tapping people back in. She's coming. Huh? What's up? I think somebody's in the bathroom, maybe? Yeah. She just walked in. Okay. Good time for the bathroom there. Um, this gentleman's name is Andrew? Yes. This is Andrew Wilson. I mean, gentleman might be. It might be a little. Andrew, might be you, a got, little far. You, got a, you got a little fluff on your microphone, Andrew. My OCD is going to go crazy here. Look at that. You got a little, a little couple fluff? of white specks. You got white spec. Huh, An- Andrew, how are you gonna? <laughs> how are you gonna do that? Your OCD, to me? your OCD's going nuts. I can't. Yeah, we got. We got. Can't do that. it. Is it gone, Brian? Did we get rid of the? Did we get rid of the white fluff for you? Uh, I think it's good. I think it's I good. I think it's good. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed Charlie Wilson. We've just tagged in. We Charlie tagged- Kirk. You, mean. Charlie. you guys are related. <laughs> Shit, yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. Shit. That's crazy. Um. We've tagged in, excuse me, Andrew Wilson uh, in place of uh, Charlie Kirk there. So uh, once nice we Nice get... to meet you all, by the way. Hi. Okay. Except Sorry, for guys. you. Except for you, the pilot. Yeah. Except for you. Everyone else, they're good. Uh-oh. Yeah. Just you. Uh-oh. Just you. I'm gonna, I got a feeling we're going to... I just got a feeling. I got a gut feeling. Why don't you guys... Okay. This evening. Well, why don't you guys start tangling on whatever you want to uh, tangle on then? What did, I do? Yeah, so, what did I do to you? Well, what's that? You don't. Okay. What? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just wondering if I could ask you a couple of Change questions. Change the split color. And we start with um, at the beginning of the podcast, and I only I, I was only able to watch about forty five minutes, but uh, but I did hear a little bit of your backstory. You're kind of um, a gold digger by your own admission, right? I mean, it's tongue in cheek. It's a, sort of a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of a joke. I get it. But what was interesting is you said you were in a relationship with two different men for 18 years. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. But then you said that you were in a relationship with somebody else, and you put those relationships on hold. Yeah. As it got more serious, I tried to make that work as the only relationship, and then it failed. And then how many years were you with that primary relationship? In total, it was like between five and six, I think. I'd have to go back and and look at the old calendar. And you did drop those other men, right? Correct. So then you weren't really with those men for 18 years? In total, yeah. Well, I mean, are you saying that it was 18 years split? Yes. Well, how old are you? 47, 48 at the end of the year. Okay, so 48. So 
this would mean that you took, um, what, uh, 20, 20, 24 years you've been dating these two men? On and off? You just said it wasn't, right, because of the one in the middle, so no. Yeah, but you, but you claimed that it was concurrent, so that means back-to-back. -back. So you weren't with them for all 18 years, or there was a split, or what? what like, tell me the deal here, so Con I understand. Concurrent means at the same time. Back-to-back -back is in serial or tandem. Yeah, so you were dating them both at the same time. That would be concurrent. So anyway. Correct. So, so back, yeah, correct. So back to the, you're dating these Are you trying to figure out when I started dating? Same time. 18 years, right? Are you trying to figure out when I started dating men? No, I'm trying to figure out if there was a gap between this 18-year mark that you dated these two men and the six years that you had with this other guy. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out, was it 18 years straight? No. Right? No. Okay. So then there was a gap. So in this gap, does that mean that that those six years that you weren't dating those two guys, that actually is going to lessen the years. So you're only really dating these guys for, for what, 15 years or 14 years? Repeat yourself. What are you talking about? You're talking about the math? Yeah, I'm just, try I'm just trying to figure out Why? how long you're actually with these two guys. Well, because you said it. So I'm just trying to figure it out. Yeah. So yeah. 18 in total. In the middle, there was someone else. You got it. Okay. You can do math. Twenty-four, right? There you yeah. go. Yeah. So you, so you've been dating these guys on and off for twenty-four years. If you include the off. Yeah, that's what I'm including. Is the off? I just want to make sure I'm clear. Yeah. Happy? Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to make sense of, of the story. That's it's, all. It's not confusing. I mean, it was kind of confusing, right? Because when you say, "Well, I was with these two guys for eighteen years," right? And then, but I was dating another guy for six years, and then I dropped those two guys. It is kind of confusing. So that that okay. that could mean, well, wait, it was 18 years with these two guys, but then six years where I wasn't with those two guys, or it could mean it's 18 years in total, but in the center I dropped and that off. What you know would, what I mean? What would be the difference to you, one way or the other? Well, if let's assume for a second that you started dating these two guys 18 years ago, and then in the center of that, wrong. You, yeah, I know, but I'm just saying that that would be the difference. Is let's assume that you did. Then 18. That's that's why you I was would confused. be trying to gotcha me because at one point there would have been three, which is not the case. But that's what you'd be saying is, well, actually, for six years there was three. No, that I'm not even saying that there was three. I'm just trying to make sure that it was actually 18 years. That's all I'm trying to make sure of. It's odd that you care so much, but cool. Why would it Why would it be odd that I'm trying to make sense of the story you told? Because it's super not important. <laughs> I mean, I think it's super important if you're on a dating podcast and you're giving a descriptor for the relationships that you're in, and then you get the year mark for those relationships, and then you throw in a curveball. I just want to make sure that I'm clear on, on what's going on. Like, how would I know if I don't ask you? Gotcha. Yeah, I'm glad we're clear. So. Okay. So, but I'm still not clear. So I just want to make sure. <laughs> just want to make Sorry. sure I get this right. So, so the, the grand total, the grand scheme of things is like 24, 25 years, actually, that you've been dating those other two guys. No, because there were years in between. So no. That's yeah, wrong. no, no, no. I, I get it, but I'm just saying it on and off again. Sure, sure. Okay. So then, <clears throat> at that 24-year mark, after the six years were done. How did you approach those dudes and ask them to come back in your life? I did not. They did. Both of them? Yeah. Well, how did they know? People keep in touch. So you were talking to them the entire time you were in the six-year relationship? No. Well, then, well, who contacted who? Did they like find out through social media or something, or did yeah, you tell when you break them up, people find out. You you have mutual friends. You go out to dinners. You do volunteering. Your people talk, right? It word gets out. Yeah, I'm just asking about the particulars there. Like, how did the word get out to them that you were no longer dating this guy? I'm sure gossip mail either on or offline. Didn't ask. Don't know. Well, who contacted who? Don't remember. You don't remember if you contacted them? I'm sure I didn't. I wouldn't have time for that. So you think they contacted you? Fairly sure. I don't remember. I don't have a lot of time to reach out to old friends. If they, ans if they do, I answer. <clears throat> okay. How far, how far spaced apart around the country are these two guys? 
Uh, next, far enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't have to give me an exact geographical area. I'm just saying, are they 1,000 miles? Are they 500 miles? Are they really far apart? That's all I'm asking. Far enough, and it's not your business. Well, I mean, again, I'm just asking for the particulars. You don't have to right. answer. I'm just curious. Thank you. I'm not going to. Okay. Well, then I, I guess we can't get anywhere. We can't get in, into any of the particulars. So have you ever been in, like, a committed, just monogamous relationship with, where it's just you and one other man? Yes. And is there anything specific to those relationships that you've been in which is making you want to date two people at once for the past 18 years? What I want to do. Yeah, I'm asking if there's, like, anything specific that prompted you to do that rather than spend your life with one person. Not just, like, specific? oh, like, because I want to do that, but, like, yeah, what, what prompted, like, what made you want to do that? Because I want to. Okay. That's what, that's the specifics. That's all. Just because you. So feel it's like, like it. um, why do you want that candy bar? Because I want it. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you get you get that you want it. You want the candy bar because you want it. What she's asking is the underlying, like like maybe you like chocolate, or maybe there's uh, you have a sweet tooth, or maybe there's some like underlying reason. That's all she's asking about. I'll I'll think about it and get back to you. She felt like it. She felt like it. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any other questions for any other of the guests, Andrew? No. That was also that was really unnecessarily combative, like in, in a strange way. Sorry. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't feel like I was asking anything that was way. I was like hardball or anything. I was just curious about the story and trying to make sure I got your story correct. That's all. When I said hello and you said hello to everybody except the pilot, then I didn't like you anymore. I'm sorry. That was a great joke. It was a great joke. Not this is why so women great. can't be comics. You have no sense of humor. Every, you, by the way, did you realize that every other woman at the table laughed at that? They were giggling just I a little didn't. bit. They were like, just a little bit, except you. You know. Now, if everybody had said at the table, now let's, let's pretend for a second, I came in, and they were like, hello to everybody on the panel except Andrew, I would have laughed. I would have thought that was kind of funny. Just saying. I don't know. You seem you seem kind of butthurt about it. I'm, I was it was just it was just a joke. I was just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, that was just funny. But see, 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 see. That's what people. No, laughing. it's just funny because it's a dating <laughs> podcast, but people don't like to talk about dating life. I'm back. What did I miss? Sorry, we're getting a couple things. Uh... They had a little back and forth. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this would be a good time to ask the question from Stifler. Ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of <laughs> one to 10, and you can't pick seven. Starting with you, go 7. ahead. 7.4. You can't, you can't even, can't pick up seven point, you can't I can't, it. no integral. It has seven. to be, yeah. Mm, okay, eight, it's four plus four, 10. 10, okay. Eight. Six. Eight. Wait, hold on. Okay. You two switch seats, please. Okay, uh, give your answer first, please. Ten. Ten. Three on a good day. Four. Eight. All right. I give myself a five, Andrew. Four. Four. Okay. So let me ask, um, wait, wait. if you don't mind. The, the, okay, go ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Really quick, Nick, can you pull up the current viewer numbers? I just really quick, since I should have done this sooner, really quick, we're going to do Twitch. Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow and a prime sub. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow and a prime sub. Well, we got 2,000. This is a record for us over there on Twitch, 2,200 people on Twitch. If you're new to the channel, drop us a follow. If you Guys, it's been 43 minutes since a prime. Can you guys test out? I think our prime is bugged. I think it's broken. Can somebody drop... That's a new one, haven't seen that. Uh, can somebody test out the Twitch Prime? Guys, I don't know what's going on. I think our Twitch is bugged, twitch.tv slash whatever. We're gonna be doing Madison exclusive streams on there, so be sure to tune into those. Um, and uh, if you're watching on YouTube, oh Nick, can you pull up the thing in the middle here? Guys, we got 12,600 watching on YouTube, 2,000 on Twitch. So uh, f one, like the video, and then two, Hop on over to twitch.tv slash whatever. We are going to be doing some really good streams over there, too, that are not going to be on YouTube. So thank you, guys. Really appreciate all the uh, support on that. Now, we're not yet. I'll, I'll lower it in a moment. 
Uh, Andrew, we were going around the table on the rating thing. You had something. Go ahead. Yeah, I was, uh, was going to pick on the pilot a little bit, even though you know now it's in good fun, right? It's in good fun. I was just going to ask, do you think that you're the prettiest girl in the room? Absolutely not. Who do you think is? This one in the hat. Facial, in the facially, hat. in the, just face, the, you, I forgot your name. Appreciate it, Madison. Now, she rated herself an eight. This means that she must disagree with the gal in the black who rated herself as a 10. Why would that be? Well, my opinion is only my opinion. I know, I understand, and I'm only asking about your opinion. Since it is your opinion that Madison over there is the prettiest girl in the room, but the girl in the black rated herself as a 10. Yes, that one you're just looking at. Why would you rate her as less than Madison? What are the features that you would pick out that you think are less good than the features that Madison has? I certainly think she's gorgeous as well. I don't think there's any yeah, other I'm, people Yeah, I'm sure here. you do. I'm not just you and not Brian you... either. I think you're all pretty. Um, my personal taste, I think her long straight hair is really pretty. Not that yours is bad. I just think hers is prettier for me. But whatever. They're both, they're both hot. They're both great. Hmm. So you, it's also just the length like of the hair. That's such a weird question to ask. Like, oh, pinpoint what you find uh, prettier. What, what's what's a what what is a weird question? Uh, I just I, I just told you what the weird question. Oh, was. I think that's a weird question. I didn't ask a question. I told you. But your if question. you do, I think whatever future questions you have are weird. Then I mean, the, saying it's a weird question is meaningless to me. Um, but perhaps you can tell me instead, instead of giving me your emotional state. Tell me instead uh, what it is that you think is problematic about the question. Um, I feel like it doesn't really get anyone anywhere. She has a certain standard that, mm -hmm. like, just like everyone, everyone finds everyone differently attractive. That's how it works. That's how attractive no works. That's how shit is. So it why does would seem you like it's a stupid question. Then. I agree with you. What exactly? Like, where does that get you? Well, so let me explain. If you and I agree I just feel like it's just a that really even odd question to ask, you know? I thought you wanted an explanation. No, I didn't. No? I just wanted to let you. Oh, know you don't that. want an explanation. You just want to vent. Yeah. You just want to vent your emotions. Okay, okay. Well, go ahead and vent your emotions. I'll wait. I did miss this guy. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll give you the explanation. I didn't need uh, The explanation is, it, is that if it's afraid. if it is a if it is a subjective standard, and each individual has a subjective standard, and I agree that they must. Uh, then when you're rating, when each individual is rating themselves, it, it occurs to me that it could be possible that they're not telling the truth about their rating. And one of the ways that I've found that I can test that is by simply asking them to rate the person next to them. And as it turns out, suddenly they have a much more objective standard as to what beauty is than when they're rating themselves. So it's possible that their subjective cue, they're not being honest with it. So that's, that's why I asked the question. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. So I guess it's not a weird question after all. All right. All right. So you're a 10, and then you two gave yourselves a 10. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, into the mic, please. So uh, do you have lip filler? Yes. Do you have lip filler? Yeah. Have you guys had any other cosmetic procedures done? No. no. Just the lip filler? <laughs> yes. OK. Were you a 10 before the lip filler? Always. You too? <laughs> yeah. It didn't make that much of a difference, to be honest. Yeah. But if you were a 10 before the lip filler, why get the lip filler? Because I had one unsymmetrical lip. So you weren't a 10 then? No, I was a 10. <laughs> well, you just stated you were not perfect in some dimension. Yeah, OK, but that just made me 11. The lip filler made you 11, so you went over the the rating scale. Yeah. I don't know if math so, works that way, but. So yeah, so let us pretend for a second that 10 means perfect, absolutely flawless yeah. in every single dimension you can think of. Yeah. Everyone, be by beauty, brains, whatever it is, right? You're a perfect 10, that means flawless. If you were to work on something you considered a flaw, then how could you logically also think you were a 10? Because flaws are still like beautiful, like everyone's got flaws, everyone's got. Then why change them? 
Because you feel like it sometimes. Oh, you feel like it? It's not because it's a flaw? No. I mean, okay, I so then it's not a flaw. <laughs> so then why do anything about it? It makes no sense. I mean, it's because some flaws actually do make you less or more confident, regardless of the fact. So if you know that one of your certain flaws will make you more confident if it's no longer a flaw, then you might want to change it, even if it's temporary, like filler. Like, they don't have to have filler for the rest of their lives. It's such a temporary thing. Okay, I agree with you. So I think that your argument here makes sense. You can have flaws, which can increase your confidence, and you can have flaws, which, um, you know, do other things for you. But then you consider them flaws if you fix them, right? I consider them flaws either way. But like okay, said, so, you can so have then, so then, perfect. Them. If perfect means absence of any flaw, which is what it means, then how can you be a ten in perfect if you have a flaw that you need to fix? Because if you're using that skill of ten perfect, there's no one human that's perfect without any single flaw. So why even have that be an option? You know what I mean? So what, since what, it is, you an don't option, think that there's any people who have no who flaws? have a, like a perfect beauty standard? No, there's definitely people who fall into the perfect beauty standard, but even them will themselves tell you that they have some flaws. They can name some, them for maybe, you. Some, maybe, but maybe some won't, right? And I'm not going to just concede that all people who you would consider a 10 would say that they're flawless. But let's ask this then. Maybe, assuming that now you all know that 10 means perfect without flaw, how would you rate yourselves then going back around the table? Shit. Do you, do you only want answers from the girls who said 10? No, just all of them. Okay. If 10 means flawless, without flaw, that's mm. what perfect is. Then How I'm would you zero. rate yourself soon? Then I'm a zero. I have so many flaws. What do you mean? Okay. Honestly, I don't know. That's such a hard question. I don't know if to say nine or also say zero. It's like, I don't know. Like, how do you rate your flaws in that way, you know? Mm, like a six to eight. Same, six. Um, I always tries to say I always try to stay confident, so I try to you know embrace my looks and whatnot. But I'm whatever you want me to be. What does that mean? Like I'm just I'm just looking for uh, a self assessment. If, if, if ten meant flawless, if ten means f without flaw from a beauty perspective, not personality, nothing else, just pure beauty. Yeah. Where what would you rate yourself? Would you say ten flawless? Nothing needs to ever be changed, or some other standard. I haven't planned on changing anything, so, so I don't need to. Yeah. So you're flawless. Yeah, I'm flawless. So there's nobody. So then I just want to make sure I, I understand this correctly. There's nobody in that room who's prettier than you. I mean, the, these beautiful women next to me are stunning. Like I love their looks. They all suit their looks. I know. I know you love them. But 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 if you're without flaw. And you're the standard of flawless. I rate everybody in here a 10. There can be no woman there who's prettier than you, right? I rate everybody in here a 10. That's it. But don't you agree that all of you look different? Yeah. Then how can all of you be without flaw? Would you rate a 10 who has an ugly personality a 10? Yeah, I'm just talking about strictly beauty standards. That's it. I mean, but... Not what's on the inside, what's external, not what's internal. But what, what's on the inside oozes on the outside, so we can't just have, like, a one-sided Yeah, but let's assume for this. a second I'm just walking down the street. I don't know anything about you. I'm just looking at the externals. I'm not looking at the internals. I can't talk... Or I'm not talking to you. I don't know anything about you. I'm just purely looking at the visual aesthetic. That's all I'm after here. From the visual aesthetic of 10 being perfect and everything below that not being perfect... What would your self-assessment then be? Why? Well, because, because again, I think that often uh, people can be very dishonest, especially women. I'm not going to lie. They, they can be very dishonest about their actual self-assessment of their own beauty standard. And so often what they'll do is they'll all claim that they're tens, but then when we get into what is flawless and what is not, they quickly change their assessment when they have to point at another girl's being prettier or not as pretty as them. You can tell pretty quickly that they're not exactly telling you the truth. Okay. Can you move your... Does that, I mean, does that make too. sense? Sure. Am I way off base? No. no, no. The, what, what did you Scoot want? Let's get it this way. I got Just you. edge of the... Go ahead. got you. No, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's all. That's all I'm asking for. Same thing that... Um, 
Same thing that we answered, right? We're just looking at the aesthetic. If there was a, a 10 who was a perfect man, right? Like the perfect aesthetic of the most beautiful man on planet Earth, I'm definitely way below whatever that threshold is. So that's all I'm asking here, right? That's all I'm asking here is the same thing. So she says that, no, she's without any flaw. However, every woman in there must then be also without flaw because she's not the prettiest girl there. Do you think that that's honest? Doesn't that sound somewhat dishonest to you? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't care, but Love that. the answer to the question is, does it sound dishonest to you? Yeah, but that doesn't make her yeah, like a liar. That's it. She's not I'm not liar. saying it. I, well, dishonest. doesn't it, though? I mean, if it sounds dishonest to you, like that means not telling the truth, what would you call that besides a liar? An exaggerator. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I'll grant exaggeration. Uh, maybe hyperbole, right? Maybe we'll just go with hyperbole. We'll go with hyper. Okay. So she's being hyperbolic when she says a 10. So that means from your assessment, not a 10, right? She's not a 10. Because, I mean, you're not, without hyperbole, without hyperbole or exaggeration, is your assessment she's a 10? I'm not an aesthetician, nor do I do medical assessment on people's ratios what? on their Medical. face. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just well, asking for I mean, your subjective opinion. That's it. I think if she feels like a 10, she's a 10. Good for her. <laughs> yeah, I know, but, but from your subjective opinion of the aesthetic of what you see. So so my, my perception of beauty is a little bit different in terms of I would rather hear what a person has to say and then I can determine whether or not they're pretty or not. Yeah, I know, but assuming you can't hear what she has to say, you can just look visually and that's it. Yeah, she's What's the 10. assessment then? 10. That's the assessment then is a 10. So then every woman in there is a 10, including you. Or are you saying you're less pretty than she is? I didn't say that. Well, then is every woman there a 10? Sure. Okay, so then why didn't you rate yourself a 10? Because um, I didn't feel like it. So, so you were just being dishonest? Um, no, I was just being very honest and vulnerable in the moment of my... Honesty. What? <laughs> like, what? I was being All right, we can move on from the question, but I just wanted to uh -huh. kind of get that out there. Hmm. You can see why, from my perspective, it would seem like eh, a lot of women might be dishonest about this. And when put to the question, it turns out they have wildly different answers than the ones that they actually gave initially. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Hmm. All right. Um, so still... I don't know if there's been any adjustments. Still 10, 10, 10. Then I'll keep myself. Uh, that's forward. literally a question that just was asked. Still? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's how I view myself. You guys are entitled to, entitled to your own opinions. Like, if you want to knock my confident boost, then go for it. I don't really care. I don't take that into consideration. Still 10? Yeah, but, but just so you know, um, the, the intent here is not to make you less confident uh, or to in some way insult you. That's, that's the opposite of the intent. In fact, the intent is just to see if, if when we're talking or discussing this, if you can have a realistic perspective or not. Okay, end of discussion. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, are you really that? What? <laughs> I just want to iron on me. Let's all it. just rate ourselves once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That and help? then you'll be happy. Why don't you rate us? Why don't you go around you, the table so, and rate us? I mean, question for okay, you. Okay, I rate myself it's a one. Yeah. So, yeah. question yeah. for you on this. I mean, do you think there's some degree of, do you think beauty is, at least to some degree, objective? No. It's purely subjective. Yeah. I think that everybody, like... Do you think you're... Go ahead, I go reckon ahead. by the, your confidence, you're automatically a 10. I reckon everybody so, in this room is oh. a 10. I think Okay, so, so if a woman has oh a God, big God. hump on her back, and she's 90 years old, and she's decrepit, and she answers the door and goes, what do you want? All right, what that's a fuck? 10. Really? Because yeah. she's confident? I just, want, I just want to hear your honest answer 
Yes. She has a hunch on her back. She has a unibrow. She's 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 bald. She's literally bald from age. Literally. Bald. That's a ten from your perspective. I just want to make sure I got that clear. I think my hundred and two year old grandma cauliflower is a ten. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're being honest, right? Yeah, I'm being There's honest. There's no reason for us to, in know, any way, I wouldn't doubt make anybody that you are than being 10. honest with us. That you actually would think that. Okay. Well, I wouldn't rate anyone lower than a ten. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't see why. Well, then it means nothing. But then perfection means nothing. Oh, your opinion is a one. If everybody is perfect, then guess what? Then I'm a 20. I'm a 25. In fact, in fact, I'm the most handsome man who's ever lived on the face of the earth because perfection means nothing. There is no perfect. Everybody's a 10. Yes. Yeah, okay. So tell me I'm the most handsome man alive. Yes, you are, but you're... Yeah, I know. I knew it. I knew I was. But your Thank opinion you so is much. a one. Yeah. Very, very kind of you. Yes, but your opinion is a one. You're, you're handsome. You are handsome. No, 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 no. I'm the most handsome man who is in existence. Yeah, I'm you are. I'm perfect. I'm without flaw. Yeah, I'd get on my knee and propose to you. <laughs> you are, yeah, you I are knew, I knew, I knew that you were. So, but hang on. Brian is also a 10 and perfect, right? Yeah, he's a 10 too. Yeah, he's a ten of perfect. In fact, there's no man you could think of who's not the most I think gorgeous is man you've ever seen, they... right? What? There's not a single man alive who's not the most gorgeous man you've ever seen, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Have it's you ever like turned a man down? Sometimes my type is very questionable that... too. So. Have you ever turned a man down? No, who actually, wanted to date you honestly, because, no, I haven't. Because because you didn't think he was good looking enough. No, I actually never have. Never. Never, I swear. So the I ugliest men on planet Earth who ask you out, you're going to go out with them? Yeah, I would. So that he has like... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, Andrew, why do you question the honesty of some of these women? Well, case in point, that's why. Come on. Really? Nick, lower the volume. Really? It's peaking. Um, really? What? what really? Was I wasn't even listening. What did you say? <laughs> you weren't listening. I, I, I was saying me. that you've never turned a man down because he wasn't handsome enough for you? I mean, I've actually never even, like, I don't even talk to many boys, so I haven't even been, on, like, asked on a date, so. Would honestly. you turn a man down because he wasn't handsome enough for you? No, I actually wouldn't. No, so if a 95 geriatric humpback with unibrows man came over to you with a filled up diaper and he was wearing Depends and said, would you like to go out with me? You would say yes, right? I mean,. I guess so. Oh, I guess <laughs> that I makes guess you so happy. Too. Okay. Whatever you want to hear. Total honesty from the women on this panel. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, whenever, whatever you want to hear. Oh, later, <laughs> later, later. But thank you for reminding me on that. I'll write that down. Um, uh, you know what? Let's do the Luis Guzman and the Francisco. What's his Francisco Lachowski or whatever? Let's do comparison really quick. Uh, if you can get those pulled up, Nick, I'll pull up these chats while we're waiting. Thank you, guys. Luis Guzman and then Francisco Lachowski, Francisco Lachowski or something. Uh, all right. Thank you, Eric. Greg, thank you. If everyone is a 10, then no one is a 10. Guys, we did lower the TTS and read to it's 100 for read. TTS is now 200. We lowered it now. So if you want, get some in, boys. Let me know when you have that, Nick. I'm going to trigger this. Lol Paladins donated two hundred dollars. Forty-one year old man. I've had three hundred plus sex partners, but only six relationships. I would love to have another relationship, but it's hard to find a woman worth it. Even I would not date a girl. Good for you, Lol Paladins. Did we just lose Andrew? Um. Do you have it ready, Nick? Yeah, it. Okay. All right, we're going to show you two men. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's not why it's hiding Andrew. It's not a huge thing. Uh, okay, so this is Luis Guzman. Okay. Um, actor, famous actor. Scroll down a little bit. Let's see some of those other photos. Okay. All right, pull up the other guy. And this is Francisco Lachowski, male model. Um, are you prepared to state that they're equivalent physical attractiveness? Yeah. Okay. You're ridiculous then. Okay. They're both just as attractive? 
Yeah, actually, like honestly, I find the first guy more attractive. Because You're the, the one, the one, that, the second one looks too nice. Yeah, low key. Yeah, he looks the too nice. He looks too like he yeah. he looks too clean. Yeah. Okay, so person. hold on. Yeah. So okay, here's the question. I'll ask the whole panel. Would you prefer to date guy number like to date, marry, and have children with? Date, marry, have children with. Guy number one but or guy number, number two? Go ahead. Depends on his personality. Let's assume they both have good personalities. Let's assume they're both not psychotic. Yeah, let's just assume they they both have good personalities. They're both, I, Okay, then both. I don't know. No, the, okay, one. Fine, number one. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> How would you feel if you didn't eat breakfast this morning? Um, like I'd have low blood sugar and hungry and tired. Okay. <laughs> okay, the, you got to pick one. Point? You got to pick one. Okay, I, I didn't get the point for that. Yeah, moving on. Sure, yeah, one. Yeah, it's all good. Sure, one. You got to pick one. one. You pick the first guy? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Or the second, it doesn't matter to me. Like it doesn't matter. You have no preferences when it comes to looks. When it comes to physicality, no. It's they like could let, be obese. Let me. N Can no, they be obese? No, because then you're not taking care of your body and your health and that, yourself. So the first guy, the yeah. first guy, he's that's not insane. he's not obese, but he is chunky. He's fat, right? He's yeah. he's a little chunky. Okay, that's uh, you. Okay, obese is an overstatement then, because that man is not obese. He's one yeah, he's closer. not he's not obese, but he's chunky. Yeah, we can manage his glucose intake. What about you? Um, I'm not really attracted to men at the moment, so. If you, you've you dated men before, though? Like okay, that's, a, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. What about really, really, really fat women? Would you date one of them? Mic, Scoot. Can, you, can you scoot your mic this way? And scoot into the table, please. Well, um, no, because my type is women who look like me, so. Mm. Okay. So then there's, there's some standards, some beauty standards that you have then. Yeah. I'm not saying okay. that, that, I, that I wouldn't find her attractive, but I wouldn't want to date her because my type is, you know. All right. Which yeah. do you pick? One. You, you pick one. You pick the first guy. The, f yeah. the first guy, Luis Guzman. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with her. I'm lying. I don't think that the second guy is attractive at all. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't think the second guy is attractive? He looks so like, looks, yeah. yeah, he kind of looks like a lady boy. Like, not that I'm against them, but that's not why. He's perfect, perfect, right? Can I ask, like, can I just, someone that you guys think is really attractive so we can have something Chris to compare it to? Okay, well, um, who? Who? Michael B. Jordan. Mm. Michael B. Jordan for you, too? No. Yeah. Wait, can you scoot your mic this way, please? I honestly don't even have any celebrity crushes to like share with you right now. The amount of so. cope, the amount of cope that's going but on. But you know right what? Now men are more fucking crazy. Men are more visual, anyways. Like Y'all women, that's why crazy. we're more about feelings and yeah. how. Yeah, assume both of those men is. will give you good feelings. Okay, whatever. Your answer to the question. I which was, I was getting a drink. Forgive me. No, you saw the two guys. Oh, which one? Which of the two guys would you rather date, marry, have kids with? One of them looks way too young for me. Okay, um, assuming age him forward a bit. How about that? Yeah, he's you physically. The model is better looking. That's why he's a model. Yeah. Um, I don't know how cool or fun or nice or all that the others are. So I'd ha I'd have to meet them and see about personality. Uh huh. But but okay. physically, the model is better looking. Which would you rather date? Number one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. There we go. I, I want to <laughs> congratulate you for not going along with the herd, not going along with the sheep mentality here. Go ahead. Um, number one. <laughs> number one. Number two kind of look like a boy, and I want a man. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> what if I told you he's, uh, I think that guy's 31, 32. Yeah, yeah. but he still but has he like a boy so mentality. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you don't know anything about his mentality. Assume they're like the same. Personality wise. Just look different. I look like I weigh more than him, and I think I do. <laughs> number, yep. I'll, I'll give you all this. Number two is more attractive, for sure. But number oh, okay. one, like. Okay, fair enough. What about you? I would go with number one because I've dated guys oh. that looked like number two. <laughs> well, let me give you my reason. I'm out of I have dated crazy, guys that bro. looked like number two before, it's and I, so I much prefer like the dad vibe. <laughs> 
I don't know. It. Guys, guys with the muscles are, are too hard For to sure, lay on. Two. And yeah. they're also the soldiers, show of hands. Well, Paladins donated $100. Oh, what the hell? So much cope. If he slid into any of their this DMs, they'd love to hit it, no problem. It. Saying the model isn't hot is ego protection because they assume they'd be rejected. Mm. That's a good... Uh, sorry, there's a mix-up there. He's making a living out of it. Law Paladins, weird. appreciate it, man. I also am not a huge fan uh, of that, guys. Oh. Two? I two? Didn't, I didn't look. I don't know what they look like. Okay, sucks, no sucks to be you. Um, suck a lot, indeed it does. <laughs> uh, what were you saying? I'm also not a huge fan of white guys. What's your pref preference? Black. Is your ex-husband oh, okay, black? Cool. He is. Right. Was your ex-husband black? Mexican. Oh. You ever dated a white guy? A couple. Hmm. I mean, I, I did go. I did go to school in West Texas. So there's a lot of white. There, there were a lot of white guys. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I don't know if we're gonna figure anything out with the whole rating thing. Um, what would you prefer? What do you mean? <laughs> if I was gay. Yeah. If I was gay. Mm -hmm. That's a, no, like, seriously, think about it. I actually want to know. for one, you'd be if a top, were, and for the other, you'd be a bottom. I feel so. like you'd be number one, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just not really even, I'm not, an, I'm not answering this question. That's why. I why not? I ain't answering that you question. That's to. crazy. Brian, I'm, I'm also skipping. curious to see what you and Andrew would rate us. Like, what do you think is more attractive? Like, you don't have to be gay, we, but, like... Oh, well, okay. Yeah, so what I, would I, you I want your son to look like? I feel like number one, because he kind of looks like Drake. He feels a bit older. Yeah, no, I think that's totally fair. With, like, so a if, you, if you really what? want me to do a rating, I'll do one. Uh, as long as the counter is true, too. Let's start with you guys. Go around, do rating on me, and then I'll go around, do rating on you. That okay. seems fair. Oh, God. Quickly okay. to answer, so quickly to answer your thing, though, like just objectively, yeah, number two is more physically attractive. Really? Yes, I can objectively look, look at different men and make assessments about this guy's more attractive than this guy. Yeah, you could okay. be a casting director for that. That's sure. Say. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he made a living out of it. But also, really. when you're dating model types, they're, I mean, so one, they're yeah. workout obsessed, and two, like, they don't let you order what you want to oh, at no. dinner. What? Which is good, right? <laughs> oh, no. uh, that sounded okay, really so, personal. <laughs> so, I don't know if we get into that, but you were suggesting that. You wanted the guys to rate all the girls? Yeah, uh, to see what your perspective was. I don't make it a habit to do that. I would only do it if the girls were fine with us rating them. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. So I'm just going to leave that to the girls. I don't care. We be okay. beat this horse dead, so yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You can opt out if you want. Do you want to opt out? Do you want to opt out? Oh, sure. Fine. Yeah, you can write me. Fine, fine. <laughs> I'm going to grow. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, I don't care. You're fine with being rated, OK? Yeah, I'm fine. You're fine with being yeah, rated. Fine. fine with it, fine with it, fine yeah. with it. So it's just, is it just you who's opting out? Oh, no, like I'm fine with it. She said she's fine with being rated. Oh, OK. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you guys want to rate Andrew first? I think he, he wanted to be rated first. I think you're an eight. Can we still not say seven? Yeah, eight. <laughs> no, I think you could say seven. Okay. <laughs> oh, six. Seven. I think you're a ten, but your opinions are just not valid. Okay. Um, given that we're like not the same age and you're not someone who I'd go for, probably like a five. A ten for sure. <laughs> Five. I'd say like a four. Yeah, I agree with your own self-assessment. Okay, go ahead, Andrew. Um, so uh, well, I'll start from right to left, and I'll do it from my own subjective kind of uh, viewpoint. So I would say three, two, five, two, 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 <laughs> two, two. two. One. That was so Wait. hot. <laughs> Starting here, right? Yep. 
that made me like oh, you even good. more. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so attracted to you now. Yeah, yeah oh, okay. that you, now that you rated me a two, it just made me so much more attracted to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. She's turned on. Uh, oh, I don't yeah, think we that's just, hot. I mean, if we're, if we're gonna just troll, then let's just troll. I love a real. I think she's yeah. so serious. No, yeah. like I'm actually yeah, serious. Too. I love men that don't oh, like me. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it's so yeah, I'm hot. actually she serious. I'm actually serious. Yeah. I'm so serious. I, I, you know what? I need a diamond ring. Can you go buy one for me? Can you get on that? Hmm. Yeah. I would never get yeah. on my knee. If I send a PayPal account, will you send me some money? Who are you talking to? You. <laughs> oh, you're talking to me. Do you want yeah, money? I'm a 10. I'm beautiful. I'm gorgeous. I'm everything you ever wanted in a man. Yeah, if can I send I you my PayPal account, date? will you send me some money? Here, I'll send it to you. What's your... What, yeah. I just want to make sure you're going to send me some cash. Yeah, you ready? Okay. I'll send you 0 0.1 cents. <laughs> oh, got it. Oof. That <laughs> it doesn't sound like you're as into me as you at first... Kind of alluded to. It seems, it seems like perhaps your trolling has um, backfired here a bit. Backfired. Backfired. Okay. Uh, and I, I don't really feel like rating the girls. I'll just say those of you who said your tens are not tens. I'll just leave it there. <laughs> what do you rate yourself? Uh, five. Why do you rate yourself five? Uh, let's see. I need to lose some weight. I got. I'm rocking a dad bod right now. Not perfect skin. Not perfect facial symmetry. Uh, there's probably I could articulate it further, but yeah, I can. You have great hair. Eh, it's starting to go. You need a fade. You're fine. It's starting to go. Actually, what? You should get a fade. It'll look good. A fade? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fade <laughs> 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 that oh, good? Yeah. Um, yeah. We need a sea booster for Madison. I'm gonna grab one because I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. Perfect. All right, let me read a chat. We have Killer of Cereal. Killer of Cereal. Would the Sistine Chapel look just as good if it was covered in spray paint tags and littered with garbage? A picturesque city looks same with heroin addicted homeless and tents? Question mark. A 10 is a 10. Delulu Lemon. <laughs> Delulu. Delulu. Delusional. Thank you, for Killer of Cereal. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for your uh, message there. Appreciate it. Well, thank you, Stifler, for that question. We're going to go into some of the pre show notes here. So let's get right into the pre-show notes. Hold on just one moment here while I just check over a couple things. You studied, who was the one who studied socio sociology? Is it you? Yeah. Is it you? Actually, wait, I did have a question. Hold on. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll wait till Madison's back for that one. So starting with Imogen? Imogen. Imo Imogen? Imogen. Iwo Jima, what? Yeah, that. Just that thing. Over. All right, so you said that you... Uh, you disagree on people not accepting sex work and judging us for it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you disagree that people don't accept sex work? I mean, everyone has their own opinion, mm -hmm. but like, doesn't mean that you have to like say it out loud sometimes, kind of thing. Mm hmm. Okay. And you object to people judging. You yeah. For it too. Yeah, but like, I don't really give a shit either. Like, say what you want to say. Okay. I'm chill. I don't really care. Okay. Do you object to men? Let's say a man doesn't judge a woman necessarily, but would you object to a man refusing to date a woman because she does sex work? I mean, it's like that's like, that's like your opinion. Like. Would you object? I mean, to I think it, it's though? stupid. But you think like, it's stupid, right? I think it's stupid. Yeah, but. Like. Do you yeah. think it's insecure? Like a guy who wouldn't date a sex worker, it's probably because he's insecure. I think it could be that, but also because he doesn't really want a girlfriend that's going to be like online mm -hmm. and like naked and stuff, which I do get that side as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Okay. What about you? Do you agree? Um, yeah. I feel like any man that loves you will love you no matter what. So if he wants right, to be so, in Right, but so the question is, do you object to men... Who would not, who refused to date a woman who's a sex worker? Ah, uh, no. No objection there. Uh, you're a sex worker too. Uh, I do you object, have any? Though. Huh? People should date who they want. If he doesn't want to, okay, cool. Okay, no objections. Okay. Uh, you're not a. You do OnlyFans or no? No. Okay. All right. Let's see. Moving on to shy. Um, you had an Instagram story that I thought was interesting. You said. You have an Instagram highlight that says, come see why my family hates me. <laughs> oh, that's just like, that, yeah, no, so, pardon? No, 
I didn't post that. I had like managers on my Instagram running my accounts. Like I run my OnlyFans account, but I had managers on there and they were just trying to get traction, like viewers to the story to go and subscribe to my OnlyFans um, at the very okay, start. So your family yeah, no, it was like, hit you. no, my family actually like don't care what I do. Like they don't care. They have an opinion, but like they know if they were to diss me for it, then I'd still do it anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and your father totally cool with it? Yeah. Father totally cool with it? I mean, not really. Not really? No. But what does he say? Pardon? What, is, what does mean, he say? I mean, at the start, obviously, they were upset. But then again, like, I'm an adult and I can do what they want. Obviously, they're not happy about it and they're not going to, like, tell me, like, oh, yeah, like, do it. But, hmm. yeah. Not happy okay. about it, but, yeah. All right. We have Leah Welch. Leah Welsh? Leah? Leah. Leah. I'm looking to one day get married. Actually, I'll come back to that a little bit later. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Caitlin. Uh, you said the only unique story I have is that I go to UCR and you're dating a guy from UC Riverside and your parents who are happily married also met at UC Riverside. Yeah. Okay. You said that... You think dating in this generation is hard because it's really hard to find genuine people nowadays. And you think it's, that's on both sides, both men and women, they're hard to find genuine people? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what's like an example of somebody not being genuine? I mean, somebody who's using you for, I don't know, sex. Mm -hmm. That's disingenuine. Somebody who is not loyal to you. That's Not also aware. disingenuous, so... Mm hmm Okay. Is wearing makeup disingenuous? No. <laughs> like it doesn't change your physical appearance at all? I mean, I think it enhances it. It doesn't change it any or at all or nothing? I think certain types of makeup can change. Okay. Just quite, I know a lot of people, I, sent, I showed you the two photos of those two different men. Uh, would you feel deceived, for example, if a guy, you thought a guy had a full head of hair, but he actually wears a toupee? Would you feel deceived at all? No, I like bold men. Only if he's like, hey, this is my real, real hair. Yeah, like he, if, he, if you guys are like lies. six months in and he's never once shown you the toupee and you find it out, I would honestly be a little hurt. But like if he starts off the date by like, ha, look at my toupee, and yeah. you're like, okay, that's cute. I mean, but at six months, like if you didn't notice the toupee, yeah, that's true. very true. Okay, so you guys, I mean, when it comes to the makeup thing, you guys don't think like makeup can be uh, disingenuine? No. No. Never? It's like a beard. How is it like a beard? You shave, some men will shave off their beard and they completely different person, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was looking at your Instagram account before I came, and I seen you without a beard, and you actually look so different. Yeah, yeah I look different yeah, you look like a with baby. and without a beard. Yeah, you look like a baby, but now you look like a grown man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, so it is kind of like makeup. You're hiding your face a little bit. <laughs> I feel like that picture was really like a long time ago, too. What's that? Like you were a lot younger. For, for yeah, a lot of those, a lot of my, uh, hold on. <laughs> Nick, I'm gonna send you something. I'm gonna show you two. I'm gonna show you guys two comparison photos. Nick, you're gonna have to open image, new tab on both of those photos. Uh, and I'm gonna show you two photos before, after makeup. Actually, we have a bunch of tabs open still for the makeup stuff, right, Nick? Pull, pull up the one I just sent you too, please. If you can. Is it still kicking Andrew off for, for some reason? It's not a big deal, but. So you're gonna have to like open image and new tab on both of those. Let me know, know if you see both. Okay, get those pulled up. Also, this one came through. Grid 2 goes, did I read this one? The ladies who rate themselves a 10 are lying to themselves because their embrace of pride has prevented them from being honest. They are saying confident. What they really mean is self-deception. Okay, Grid 2 goes, go-kart sports. Thank you, bro, appreciate it. It's showing the Reddit thing, that's fine. If it's showing the Reddit shit at the top. Okay, F11, make sure it's F11, though. Oh, that's strange. <sighs> Hold on. I might have to save it. Yeah, just save the images to uh, file and then just get them pulled up. 
Uh, so we are going to show you guys two different images. Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever and drop us a follow on the Prime sub if you have one. And Nick, try to get those as quickly as you can, please. Uh, so twitch.tv slash whatever. Also, speaking of that, we did lower the read and TTS trigger. Read is 100 and up. TTS is 200 and up. If you want, get some in. We'll, we'll uh, get those pulled up momentarily. Like I said, twitch.tv slash whatever. And uh, that, thank you. Do you have them? Uh, Sorry, guys. One moment. Pulling up some photos. And then remind me, Nick, we'll go through the other ones too, okay? okay. We'll just go through all of them. Sorry, guys. It's still bad? Just, oh my god, okay. Let's just do the other ones. Just do the other ones then. I don't know why it's doing that, but it's annoying. Oh well, go ahead. I'll look, we might have them in the drops. Just pull up, pull up the other ones. Uh, so is this just like enhancing? That's a Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, well let's assume you could achieve this, and I think you can achieve this through makeup. You don't think this is deceptive at all? No, you can clearly tell she's like really beautiful even on the far right yeah. picture. Yeah, but it's not. And her not... lips are different. Like her lips are a different shape on the AI. Oh, that's true. She doesn't yeah. have the Cupid's bow anymore. The nose yeah. is smaller. Yeah. yeah and her, her face is like blurred. <laughs> yeah. I think she's really pretty on the right side though. Next one, Nick. Like AI wasn't even needed. Okay. Her nose is totally different. Um, I mean, that could be achieved through is makeup. Is that even the same person? It's not. No. She has contacts. Then. She's contouring. Yeah, why is she in the same top? She's but where did her earrings go? She has blue her eyes now. <laughs> How did her eyelids appear? Yeah. Mm. You can use it's like. You have to show us like real it, pictures, not Next. AI. So, yeah. That's not. Her this is, cool. is a real picture here. Um, this is a real picture. I don't believe so. I actually yes, it's hate real. Her makeup, but. <laughs> She looks, she, she, looks, she looks beat up for sure, but like. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> you should okay. show the video of the old Some lady. Nah, nah, she doesn't look beat up. She's a 10, remember? She, she needs Rude. She needs um, Definitely okay. a 10. Next. Okay, that was a good one. Okay. She yeah. looks pretty. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Next. Oh, that one's really good too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Whoever's the Next. makeup artist. I yeah, I was know. just about to They're say. They're getting better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Next. I like her before. Uh, we can play this. Fuck it. <laughs> what the? Oh shit. Okay. Next. Is there? Is there next? Oh. Okay. All right. There you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Not deceptive at all? Not disingenuine at all? No, because you can just wipe it off. It's not like they're mm. like. Okay. I feel like the most deceptive part was the AI and the Photoshop, which it could have been done by the person who got the picture or it could have been done by the person who posted the picture. Who knows? It doesn't really make a difference, but I feel like that's the most deceptive part. Okay. So you guys don't think makeup changes somebody's physical appearance for the better? It enhances it for sure. Right, so they're more attractive then. Yeah. Okay, so you're changing your physical appearance. That's not how you genuinely look. Is a blank canvas ugly before the painting? That's not what I'm arguing. I'm just saying, is it disingenuine to like blast filters, blast makeup, etc.? But to who? Disingenuine to yourself, well, to your partner, to God? Yeah, who? this is it. So we... within a dating context, if you go on any dating app, and you like look at the women. Mm -hmm. their oh, you first shouldn't have photo, any filter. You shouldn't have any. Their filter. first photo, filter, makeup. They might not even have one singular I, photo. That's why I disagreed with the fact that AI and the filter and the Photoshop, that is deceptive because you wouldn't, even if you're using a picture from let's 10 years let's ago, that's no deceptive. AI. You should be using current pictures of what you look like and sure. what you, yeah, present yourself as. That's it. If you look like that on a day by day basis, if you do bridal makeup every single day, yeah. then why would you not post a picture of your bridal makeup? Because then you're gonna, if you post a picture of you with no makeup, and then the guy's like, oh my God, you're so beautiful, sees you in person with bridal makeup, he's gonna be like, what the hell? Yeah, who is this? Yeah, so what's really more deceptive? Between what? It's about presentation. What's more deceptive between what? Did you just hear what I said? I said posting the picture of what you genuinely look like on a day by day basis or posting the picture that, like you said, your bare face. 
if you wear the bridal makeup every single day. So you're saying you'd be more deceptive to post a picture of you without makeup if you wear makeup every day? Yeah, because you... But that's what you actually look like. No, but if you wear makeup every day, that's what you present yourself like. So why would you want a woman tell, showing you that this is what she looks like? You find her beautiful, but then every day, every then day... Then she's doing a deception every single day. Yeah, but like, <laughs> why wouldn't you want if, to see that well, from the start? If you don't, if you like don't believe it's deceptive, basis. then I'll make a deal with all of the women at the table who think that a beard like this is just as deceptive as the makeup which is worn. I will right this second go upstairs and shave this beard don't off. Do it, if you, if you guys will take the makeup wipes and wipe all of your makeup off yes, right here. Please. I'm sorry, okay, I, have to veto, I have to veto this. It's going to be way too disruptive. Okay, to okay but why did, like we away. why did we receive a message to wear makeup? Hold on. That's literally not true. That's true. No, it's literally not. It said we told you makeup to, and hair. We it said, no, 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 no. We too. said B makeup and hair ready that's not exactly. that's no that's not telling you to go ahead and wear makeup that's assuming that if you do opt to wear makeup don't come into the studio and take 10 minutes in the bathroom to put it on here oh okay well I'm be not, more specific because the new people wouldn't know that like when what? when i seen the I message don't object i thought to women i wasn't wearing even gonna makeup. i wasn't gonna wear makeup here and then i seen the message and i was like oh okay i better wear makeup the reason we say be makeup and hair ready is so that women don't show up and spend 20 minutes in the bathroom getting ready when we need to get the show yeah going. that's like a show business term that's like thing, super normal it's not i don't care if you show there. up with makeup cool if you show up without makeup totally cool but that's not me saying you have to show up with makeup mm. check me i mean she's australian man she doesn't speak English. <laughs> what are you trying no, to say? It's, it's they different. don't speak English. It's different there. Here is all about showbiz. Yeah, but there's a difference between saying if you're already going to do something, make sure that it's been applied prior to you arriving. Then, anyways, that's not a major thing. But we don't specifically instruct people you have to wear makeup. That's just what it looked like. But I mean, would you guys agree in this? This is um, this is one of the largest IRL podcasts in the world by the way, would you guys actually agree if I shave my beard to grab the makeup wipes, then my, and he has the makeup removers right there, to remove your makeup while you look at the camera for the rest of this podcast if I shave my beard? Because I'll make that deal with you. I would, for sure. Okay. I, uh, it has to be a consensus. Would all of you do it? They all have to do it? Yes. I Andrew, it's going to be... It. I think it's going to be a little too disruptive, to be honest. I Unless just want to hear their the answers. Would you do it? Yes. Yep. yep. I would. Yeah. See, I think Brian fucked it up because because you said yeah we could have called their bluff, Brian. We could have called their bluff, but okay. I don't think any of you would, honestly. I don't think that you guys would actually yes wipe your makeup off that. right here yes live. Okay, if how I about shave this? My beard. What if I don't we think each show a picture of us without makeup? Would you still shave your beard? No. But what I'm asking is in, in a consensus, right? Like. Some of you can be uglier than others, so if you have your makeup off, it might not mean anything, right? But some of you, I think, have second faces on. So I think that many of you would disagree with this assessment and would not actually take your makeup off while you're on this, one of the largest IRL podcasts in the world with all those eyes on I don't, I don't believe it. Would you take your makeup off? Yeah. Would you? Yes. Would you? Yeah? Yeah. No. No? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm only wearing mascara. No makeup? Yes. I mean, but I... Nine times out of ten, I'm not wearing makeup. Yeah, I was also no. going to say, she's, like, not even wearing any yeah. makeup. Yeah, she's, she's not wearing any makeup. Could be interesting. You know what? It could be interesting, but, Andrew, your beard, I need to keep you with the beard, man. I got to veto this because I need the you with your beard. The beard grows back, but what they actually look like lasts forever. What the fuck? Well, <laughs> I mean, does, like, lash extensions count as makeup? Yes. You have to take all that shit off. I'll shave the beard. You got to take off all the extensions, all the eyelashes, all the makeup. You take all that shit off, get right back on camera so everybody can see what you actually look like. See, the thing is, this is an interesting thing, right? So I was talking with my wife who was recently on whatever, and I, I, I would tell her I would come home and I would be baffled. I would say, I go back and I watch these videos, and these chicks don't actually look anything like this when I'm in front of them. What the hell is it? And she was like, what are you talking about? Till she went herself and she was like, you're right, they don't. Like, imagine what they would look like without all of that makeup and all that shit on. Um, it, it's almost like a different person. 
So I'm happy to do it. I'm happy. I'll, I'll literally go upstairs right now. I'll shave this whole thing off right down to the bear if you guys also do the same exact thing. And by the way, by the way, we can make a deciding factor here. Here, I can bribe Brian. Somebody send in a champagne prop, and then he'll do it. You know my weakness, Andrew. I know your weakness, right? Send in the champagne pop, and then if all of, all of them already agreed, we'll do this shit. So to be clear, we get a champagne pop, Andrew will shave his beard, you'll do it, you'll do it, you'll do it? Yes. You got me? How many makeup? I might not have enough. All of them will do it. They all agreed, except for the pilot, right? She was the one, but we'll leave her out. Fine, that's fair. I got five. Right? I got five makeup lights, so we would do... We would do you, you, you. She doesn't want to do it. Uh, and I guess you, too. Yeah, we'll do, I mean, just because that's the only one now. I mean, all of them said yes. So we get a champagne pop. All of them, minus the pilot, said yes. Let's do well, this. I got baby this. wipes. Wait, what is the champagne I got baby pop? wipes. I got baby wipes. What is that? Uh, maybe those will work. Ooh. Anyways, we'll it's see. Like we'll, see. we'll come back to it. If anybody wants to send one in, we'll come back to it. I'll read a couple chats here. We have, actually, Maddie, can you read these? The Australian girls are so hot. I think their names are Emmy and Shy. Ask them what their type is. By the way, Andrew, you're an ick. <laughs> Andrew, you're an ick. They're, they're giving the ick. Okay. I mean, that's, that's fair. Okay, there it is. Um, what, what's your, what are your guys' types? Um, my type is tall, muscular, tattooed, mean. I like nasty men. Um, and I also like... Yeah, that's about it. What about you? Same. Wait, <laughs> hold on. We share but the like, same wait, face. Hold on. Think that like, so <laughs> basically, you can so everyone's a ten out of ten, but that's our preferred still, type. But that's like our preferred oh. type. I wait yeah. because I was gonna. You said tall and muscular. That has a lot to do with your physical appearance. I thought everybody's kind of everyone's a ten. And yeah, everyone it wouldn't is a be ten. A factor. But look, you would have a preferred type, wouldn't you? Do you so not? that that means you're creating a hierarchy. Someone can still be a yeah. Type, but no, but I don't okay, know. let's look at binary, right? So if we do binary, one or zero, okay. So tall, muscular dude, short, obese dude. Um, I one's a yes, one's a no. I just want so the meanest. But you're Honestly, creating a hierarchy. Okay, okay, okay. Any of them, but I want the meanest. I want the mean one. Yeah, the criminals. Just the mean one. I like the mean ones. Yeah, criminals. Yeah. Oh. You'd like criminals. Yeah, I love criminals. <laughs> uh, maybe, do we get into that? Um, you, what do you mean when you say you like criminals? Bad boys. Like yeah. felons or? <laughs> huh? Is that like felons or? <laughs> yeah, that. Like people who commit murder? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe not that far. Yeah, but not yeah, that far. Just like stand. gun charges and like the small yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about scammers? Um, yeah, I like scammers too. I used to be. Do you guys one. relate? What? You relate <laughs> well to the joking. scammers. I mean, no, I was only joking. So you're, you're okay. You said you guys are attracted to criminals. Like, what kind of crimes then would they have committed? Well, I actually haven't dated anyone, so. You I find them attractive though. So yeah. Like what kind of crimes would? They've committed. Um, probably like, I don't know. I, I don't know, but not as far as murder yeah. or rape or anything like that. Nothing like that. But I think like maybe, I don't know, maybe just defense. Just a what? <laughs> defense within themselves. <laughs> their, def their crime is defense? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they have that. Apparently like a battery that. charge? Like yeah. they assault somebody because out of defense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that wouldn't, if they... <laughs> It wouldn't be a crime if it was. It wouldn't be a crime if it was in self-defense. Okay. I, they could still be put into jail for at least a few days before. Yeah. They might, well, they might be arrested, but in terms yeah. of the prosecution, like nothing to do, yeah, nothing to do with hurting anybody favorite. or anything like that. What about like white okay, color? So crime? drugs? Is it drugs? Yeah, drug drugs. Yeah. They're hot. Yeah. <laughs> they always about, hot. What about people who defraud? They've always got the money to like look after themselves. What about people who defraud elderly out of their money? Oh my god. Wait, what was that? They defraud the elderly out of their money. What was that? What is defraud? Elder financial abuse. Like they, they steal call money some... from old people, basically. Oh, that's me. Oh, mm. that's food. Nah. Nah. <laughs> that's not an immediate no. You have nah, to think about I, it. I, nothing, nothing to do with like robbery or anything like that. But drug dealers are hot. They've always been hot. Okay, drug yeah. dealers cool. What if they sell drugs to children? Um. Well, honestly. Still fine with it. Well, this is a kid's decision. 
Like an eleven-year-old. <laughs> well, it's the kid's decision. Well, I mean, that's not attractive. What do you mean? He's a drug dealer. Yeah, I know he's a drug dealer, but like drug dealer to an extent, like. You ah, know, okay. There's you, limits. You know, like from like eighteen above at least. Mm -hmm. Why would I? Why would I be okay with him selling drugs to like eleven-year-old? You think somebody who's inclined to be a drug dealer is going to make that? I mean, sure, there might be some drug dealers that make that. Uh, Distinguishment. Is that a fucking word? Distinct? I think it is. Should be. I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. But there's probably drug dealers who have no qualms with uh, selling to, uh, like, high schoolers, for example. Mm. No, I don't agree with that. But I honestly, if I had to describe one, I'd okay. probably say Pablo Escobar. He's hot. <laughs> yeah. Didn't, he he murdered hot. people. What? Oh, Pablo Escobar murdered people. Oh, well, maybe not that, not that part. Obviously, I'm talking about the drugs. <laughs> I'm talking about the drugs where they've all got tunnels yeah, and yeah. stuff. That's okay. hot. All right, she, she wants the cool stuff. All right. Yeah. But all right, I don't. I don't even do drugs myself. I just find yeah. it hot that they sell it. All like, right, detective. Hot. He says it's the equivalent of a man walking around with a banana stuffed in his pants. Okay. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. True. It's also look. I think it's also would be the equivalent of a guy who had like inserts in his shoes that made him like three or four inches taller. Or a guy who just lies about being six inch, or uh, six inch, <laughs> six feet, six feet, excuse me. On these dating apps, they'll, they'll actually be five nine, five ten. Mm. Uh, can you, uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry guys, we have uh, birth control alarm go off there. Oh, no. mm. One sec guys, I need to pull up my notes on this. Uh, I would say that like wearing makeup is the functional equivalent of a guy who works at McDonald's saying he's an attorney. That's not <laughs> no. at all. That that's like the it's literally not at all. It's literally literally no. figuratively actually figuratively <laughs> the equivalent. Figuratively no. the you're, equivalent. You're confusing catfishing with being a sociopathic liar. <laughs> like wearing makeup doesn't make you a Well, do you, do you, do you guys it have consequences the same way that lie would? So, do you guys agree that men are primarily visual in terms of what they're attracted to? Sure, 100%. Okay. And yeah. can we manipulate the visual for men to like us more? Sure. Mm -hmm. Some women do more than others. Sure. But yeah, some women wear minimal that makeup. Make it some criminal. women wear a lot. It w I don't think it would be criminal for a man to lie and say he's an attorney in the dating context. I think that's literally. No, no, no. Okay, crime. so yeah. if he was. That can disbar on. him if he was, forever. No, no, no. <laughs> if he was actually practicing law. Yes, that would be illegal. I, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't. But get just telling to, okay. some chick, "Yeah, I'm a lawyer." Okay. I think it's wrong. Uh -huh. It's not illegal. Okay. It's wrong and for it's, sure. It's moral. The moral equivalence of wearing makeup for a woman. I didn't say moral equivalent. <laughs> I said in terms of impact. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 Okay. You're welcome to disagree. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, you know what? You're right. It's not the equivalent. Makeup has a way bigger impact <laughs> than some dude lying about his job. On a man's way ego? big. No, makeup makeup will make a guy who otherwise maybe wouldn't be as attracted to you mm -hmm. or attracted to you at all versus the lawyer lie might help out a little bit. You know what I mean? And mess him up in the long run. Mess, what do you mean? If he wants a relationship with her. What if he's just trying to hit? Oh, great. What if the woman's just trying to hit, so she wears makeup? You only have to see that Is for that, one night. Do most women want that? We're just trying to hit? Hypotheticals. <laughs> hypotheticals, hypotheticals. Anyways, I gotta move things on. Thank you, uh, detective there, appreciate it. You almost got me. Hypotheticals, hypocritical. Hypotheticals, hypocritical. Maddie, can you read this? Training the suits in the back for the draft so they can vote. Do the ladies know what Western feminism is? Eastern fe feminism was not about voting or property rights. Comrade Drew, can you enlighten? Who's Drew? Oh, Andrew. <laughs> I think that was for you, Andrew. No, I don't. I don't know what he means by Eastern feminism. There, there. To my, to my knowledge, when I say feminism, uh, we're talking about specifically the rejection of patriarchal systems. If you're saying Eastern feminism, I think we're talking about, and you're saying it's something different than that, then we're talking about two things which aren't alike at all. So I wouldn't even call them feminism. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, I have a question for Maddie and then you two. Uh, would you, do you, 
Do you, I already know you what guys? you're going to say. <laughs> you should have just let me answer the question before you were fi- finishing it. I've never dated an Asian guy, no. That's, yeah, that's racist, so. Just kidding. Uh, do you date, would you so date racist. an Asian guy? Uh, I've dated a Filipino guy before. Yeah, that counts. Yeah. And you're dating an Asian guy. Yeah. yeah. What do you girls think about Asian women who refuse? <clears throat> I don't refuse. To da- okay, fine, fine, fine. What do you think about Asian women who refuse to date Asian men? I Thoughts just on prefer that? It's like white con- guys. I mean, I mean, she just says she just prefers, so that's her. No, but I'm... I'm yeah, sorry, uh, I'm Brian, s- he did clarify on the super chat. I'll get, um, he was talking about Bolshevik feminism. My bad. Okay. Um, so, but the question still stands. What do you think about Asian women who refuse to date Asian men? Any thoughts there? Uh, I mean, personally, like, I'm not super attracted to Asian people. They have to be, like, a specific... Type of Asian? Yeah, like, a specific look, I guess. Like Vietnamese guys? No. Like, not a, like, a particular, like, like, race or ethnicity, but... You only date, like, how is it? Hmong? How do you say it? Yeah. You only date the Hmong? No, just, like... If I think, or you're more of a like, like, a like Laos. if you're if you're like you Asian and I think girl? you're cute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Like if you're Asian and I think you're cute, like it doesn't have to do if you're like Korean, Chinese, or whatever. I just oh, okay. think you're cute. Oh, okay. Yeah. But also, like I'm, I think I'm more particular on the type of Asian guys that I think are cute. <laughs> the type of you, and you don't mean like different type of. You just mean like type of who, who they are as a person. Or do you mean like type of Asian? Like or type like, of Asian. Not like type of Asian, because I don't like necessarily have a type, or I wouldn't say I like I'm drawn to certain Asian people. It's just like if I think you're attractive, then I think you're attractive. Mm-hmm. What about you? Your boyfriend is—is is he Chinese, Korean, Vietnamese? He's Chinese and Portuguese. Chinese and Portuguese, okay. But what do you think about the women who refuse Asian women who refuse to date Asian men? I mean, that's their choice. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I think sure. they're really racist. What's that? I think they're really racist. You, you think they're racist, Maddie? Yep. You think they're race traitors? <laughs> yeah, sure. But I thought you've never done. Okay. You're wrong. Oh, my bad. Okay, cool. You just assumed that. All right, cool. Moving on. So we have. Oh, Andrew, did you want to address the chat? Go ahead. Uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, so so when he was. When he was referencing Eastern feminism, he was talking about the distinction between Western feminists wanting like land liberation and Eastern feminists being against that. They were they're two different things. But when I'm talking about feminism specifically, uh, in the case of this panel, I'm talking about a rejection of patriarchal systems or modern feminism. Mm, okay. Moving on in my pre-show notes here, going to Amy. So Amy, you're a pilot, a model, and a high high end companion. Uh, so do you con- you consider yourself a sex worker? So it's a funny thing. According to the sex work community, I'm not a uh, totally one, but according to the general public, I am. So I guess it depends who you ask. Can I have you just scoot your mic to the edge of the table, like that corner? What? Perfect. Good. Thank you. Thank you. When you say the uh, the general public, I'm assuming that you mean more people when you say general public? I mean, I certainly haven't talked to anybody, but I sort of, uh, yeah, I date, I am only attracted to wealthy, generous men who provide for me. That's all I've ever dated in my entire life. It's all I ever would. I'd rather be single than split bills. Um, Hmm. So, yeah, that is how I like to live. Mm -hmm. But, um, like, like, right, like, escort type of women have told me that I don't qualify as one, so I'm not sure why. Do you you not consider yourself an escort? No, they tell me that I don't qualify because I don't do the same stuff and live the same way. But I am I well, very much I think sex work ask, should be um, decriminalized. And I I think um, even if you hate it, the way we handle it in America is harmful. And But that's a different discussion. So, um, Well, I'm happy to get into that discussion. But before we do, um, you, you are, I'm, I'm just curious, what are you bringing to the table besides your body to these men who are taking care of you? You'd have to ask them. I'm asking you. I don't know. You'd have to ask them. They're the ones who want to date me. So from your perspective, what do you bring? 
Me. So what does that mean? I mean, you'd have to ask someone who loves me why they love me. I'm not a mind reader. No, I'm not asking you to be a mind reader. I'm just asking, you're, you are on the other end of this relationship. I assume you know what you're bringing to the table of the relationship, right? If somebody loves me, then, and I love them, then I keep dating them. I don't really worry about the why. So you don't know what you bring to the table? I don't really give it that much consideration. Well, if you had to guess, if you had to take the attributes you think that they're after the most, what would you say they were? Don't know. I'm not a mind reader. <laughs> You've never even asked? Never. Nope. You've never asked, why do you love me? No. Why would I ask you that? You never asked, why do you like me? No. That's an You never asked, ask what that. are the things about me that you, you adore? No. You never asked any of those questions? I have not. So then, essentially, you're just giving them sex, and in exchange, they're giving you money, and that's it? Hopefully not. This? Well, then what else is there? I don't know. You'd have to ask them. I mean, if you don't know, then... <laughs> I mean, I'm asking you. You're on the other end of the relationship. That's that's a that's kind of an odd answer, right? So, if, if okay. uh, somebody were to say, "What do you bring to the table between you and your wife?" You say, "Well, you can ask my wife." If they say, "Well, but I'm asking you, what do you think you bring to the table?" I think I would have pretty good answers for what I think I bring to the table. You don't have any. No, not for you. What does that mean? Not for me. Does that mean you have answers for somebody else who's not me? No. No, you don't have those either? So you just don't have any answers at all? Correct. Okay. Very good faith, by the way. I'm a little confused, though, because... So you said you're a high-end companion, um, but you don't... Just so I have this correct, you don't consider yourself an escort? I sort of thought it was similar with very much longer relationships, but in, this, in the sense that I like men who provide for me. So well, I thought I was, kind of, but with extremely long and deep relationships, but, um, okay. but people in my industry say that so, I'm not. So. Yeah, so I don't know what you would call me. Um, I don't really it, think about it a lot. So you have a, a website. It says world's most exclusive model. All of that was written by my lawyers for SEO. I've never actually read it, so I don't know what it says. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> So, I mean, if a guy contacted you and wanted to go on a date with you, uh, aside from, I guess, paying for the meal, I mean, would you charge him for your time to, like, go on the date? I would never date a guy who didn't provide enough for the vacation, the outfit, the wardrobe, everything else, too. For a first date? I mean, yeah. I, I yeah, so, like, you, a new guy comes into the picture. He's asking you out for the first time. I guess, what does he have to do for the date to actually occur? I mean, it's been years, but many things. I've got to like him a lot. I've got to want to. And yes, he has to be very generous. Yeah, so when you say very generous, though, I'm looking for something a little more concrete. Like, so you mentioned, like, wardrobe. He has to pay for clothes. Even on, like, first time meeting, he has to pay for your clothes? It depends what the plans are. I mean, again, uh, it's He's years. taking you a nice steak dinner in uh, New York. Yeah, I'm going to expect... An outfit. I'm going to expect shop. Like usually, you know, they send you to their personal shopper, and then the car picks you up at 7:30, and you know, all the standard stuff. It's pretty normal where I live. Well, can I ask this maybe a different way? <clears throat> Let us assume for a second that you met a, an attractive man in an age bracket that you thought was fantastic, and uh, he said, "Listen, I want our relationship to be purely material. I just want to have sex with you, and in exchange for that, I'm going to take care of whatever it is your material needs are." Um, you wouldn't date him? No, that's vulgar, and the answer would be no. Well, why is it vulgar? You said purely material. Yeah, it's purely material. Yeah, that's not for me. So then there's something additional to the material that is valuable, right? Yeah, so what are those things about you that are additional to the material that are valuable? For me to agree to go out with him, I've got to like him, and hopefully if yeah, no, I know, I love I know him, you like again, him, all been... that's established. But if the material itself is not the thing, if there's additions to that from your perspective, what are those additional things about you other than your body, the material, that you think they're interested in? I don't know. If he's asking me out, I assume he's interested. I'm more concerned with whether I want him or not. By the way, Andrew, I sent you a text if you could check it really quick. Okay. Um, Wrigley so Gold Digger. Thanks. Yep. <clears throat> I'm so... I'm a little confused, though. 
Um, maybe it's just a question of definitions here. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get my notes pulled up, but they're not coming. Um, I mean, so you, you don't have clients? It's been years. So did you, you used to then? Like you don't, are you, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but did you, you, did you used to escort? I thought that was sort of similar, but I've been told by that escort community that that is not what I am. Okay. Um, okay. So there, there's no, like, let's say you go on a first date with a guy. Is he ever just giving, like, here's a thousand bucks? No, that'd be a bit reductionist for me. I'd say, I'd say no to that. But you've never, like, you've never been on a first date where there was, like, a, I'm not talking sex here. I'm just talking, like, going out on the date where he just gave you, like, here's 5,000 bucks. Here's a thousand bucks. I've had men send me more than that and never meet me. Tons of them. So all, all things happen. Okay. Um, I have one, uh, one quick follow-up I was just curious about. Um, <clears throat> I have a, a close friend of mine. He's in the, uh, the chat on my end right now, uh, who's a pilot. And he was just wondering if you could walk us through how you land a plane. What kind of plane? Um, any kind of plane. Well, they differ. The over-the-gate speed is yeah, different well, based on the one, type of one, aircraft. Just pick one. Yeah, pick whatever Piston, one. turboprop, jet, like Whichever turbine? Whichever one you want. Whichever one. Well, so you, Pick any. you set up 45 to the downwind, you set up, turn base, turn final. There's things that happen during that. And then you touch down, wheels first, then set the nose down. There's, yeah, it, but I mean, whether you like, do. Let's pretend, pretend for a second I'm on a plane, whatever plane you pick. Yeah, just and I'm you. like, I'm the passenger. Hang on, I'm the passenger, right? And, and I have to land this plane because the pilot like, had a heart attack and he died. Then you're walking me through it. What's the first thing I do? First thing you're gonna you're gonna need to find where the push to talk is. Declare mayday. They're gonna give you progressive okay. instructions. You might be able to land it. That'd be tough, but yeah. First, okay. first you're gonna through, need to talk to tower. Through it, mayday, mayday. I, the plane's going down. What do I do? What's the next step? You're gonna have to talk to tower. All this is gonna come at you pretty fast, faster in turbine okay. than it is in piston. Um, but it depends on the type type of aircraft you're in. If you have any other if flight you just crew, I would an request. Aircraft. Doesn't I, matter what it is. No, uh, it, it uh, does matter. Cessna. It matters a lot. I don't know. It's Cessna. It matters a lot. Okay, whichever, pick one. Doesn't matter which one. Well, the reason it matters a lot is because every, all the variables change to pace, depending I upon agree. make and model. So let's pick one. Let's pick any of them. Whichever one you want, pick one. Okay, so like I said, are you in the pattern? Are you at 10 miles out on final approach? Are you talking to center? I, are you talking to I don't, tower? I don't know any of this. Well, I don't you just know. asked I'm, me, I'm so I'm telling guy. you how you fly a plane. I'm just a guy in a plane trying to land it. I'm terrified. What do I do? A bunch of stuff, and you're going to need progressive okay. instructions to try to live. Okay, so what do I do? What's the first step? It depends where you are. So uh, is there Nevada. retractable gear? Is, there, is the gear not retractable? Um, the gear is retractable. It, okay, so it's at a certain point. It's after you 45 to the downwind. Before you turn base, you're going to have to put the gear down. And uh, you're going to declare mayday, so they're going to yeah, give you the run. Yeah, but it step Dude, by step. Dude, you don't listen. Though. If you want me to talk, you listen. Wait, when a, I talk, a, you listen. Andrew, are you, uh, are you thinking that she's not telling the truth about the pilot thing? I'm pretty sure well, I, I'm this just, all sounds I'm, legit. Yeah, I'm not saying was. anything. I'm just wondering if you could walk me, because th this pilot buddy of mine, yeah. he's saying, just he ask her to walk one. you through right. how I land this plane step by step. I mean, that's it's all, all it all sounds pretty legitimate to me, Andrew. I'm know. not saying it's not legitimate. I'm just asking the question. Right, but I mean, I every time it. I tell you how to fly a plane, you interrupt me, though. When I speak, you listen, Andrew. Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> Great. So first, you're going to have to talk to people because you don't know how to fly a plane, so you're going to have to get instructions, otherwise you're going to die. Then you're going to get a bunch of things to do in series. There's speeds you need to be at. There's pitches. There's attitudes you need to be at. If you can get them done fast enough before dying, you might get it on the ground. It ain't going to be pretty. They're going to have the foam and the ambulances out. They're going to give you the runway, which is what Mayday does. If you're further out than that, you have more time to set it up, but it depends where you are, how close you are. They're probably going to extend your downwind, you know, give you lots of time to try to save your own life. And then after you land, you know, if it, it depends if it has like reverse thrusters or brakes or what the, what the plane has, they're all different, kind of like cars. And so you're gonna have to slow down and taxi off if you're not dead by then. So, uh, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a procedure. They'll walk you through as quick as they can and you'll try to live. So there you go. <laughs> Andrew, I don't doubt her bona fides here. So, I mean, what's, sure. what's the... That's uh, well, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm just going to be completely honest here. I, I don't feel like she said anything. I feel it's like if I was going to explain to a person in a video game, 
how you play a video game. It'd be like, press X, then Y, then X, then Y, then this, then that, right? I'm just wondering if you could just walk me through step by step, whatever scenario you come up with. You can come up with whatever scenario you want in whatever demographic you want, in whatever city you want that I'm going down over, and how you would instruct a person to land a plane. That's Why all. Why is this man so mean to me? I've done nothing to him. I am not mean to you. I'm just curious. I'm finished talking to you. Okay. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Oh, there's a sound. It's too late now. <laughs> oh, good. All right. There you go, folks. Uh, you know, we're talking about aviation here. It's the well, welcome to the Whatever Aviation podcast. Uh, really scintillating. You know, uh, I, I'm, me personally, I, I'm not a big fan of flying. No offense. I get headaches. The altitude. Altitude. Anyways, all right. We just learned how to freaking land a plane. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, I, because like, Anyways, going back to this, so I saw a clip on your Instagram, like you were on another podcast and they were asking you like something about money and you're saying, well, I got like 20K from this guy and 30K from this guy. And, but were the, these were like men you were dating over the uh, period of time or even some, I think you said, uh, some men you weren't, you haven't even met in person, they're just sending you money. Yeah, that happens a lot. It's weird, but that does happen. And like how, how do they get, like they slide into the DMs or? Yeah, or um, your website or your socials or your YouTube, you know, all the stuff and they want to give you money. It's, it's uh, interesting. Of the guys who you've never met in person, what's the biggest amount that a dude sent you that, that you never met him? He's just like, I love you, Amy. Here's some money. <laughs> it's weird, right? Um, you know about Findom, their fin subs. This is their thing. Oh, you're doing like the Findom thing. Okay. Not formally, but it happens oh. anyway, I guess. Um, okay. And it's super weird. They'll send you uh, the uh, biggest. God, I gotta think. It's a lot. It's a healthy six figures. S wow. Six, like in one transaction. Yes. Some dude sent you like a bit, like two Bitcoin or some shit. Any uh, Bitcoin? You ever received crypto? No. No crypto. No, I wouldn't be against it, but no, it was. You're US, open to crypto. US fiat, and have the government got half of it because it's income. <laughs> Hmm. Mm. Okay. You're welcome, state and feds. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, so yeah, no, it's damn. income, right? I thought if you write it as. Do you know any like the gift exemption? I think this year is like twelve or fourteen grand. I'd have to look up with the IRS. So yeah, it's yeah, more yeah. than that. You're so, do, do you and I don't mess with tax fraud. Do, do I'm afraid of the government. Oh, fair enough. Do you know any like gay dudes that like just send people money without meeting them? Right. Because I'll I'll take some a couple bucks. You should, yeah. sir. Throw, so throw me a few a few. Dollars. You should. You as long as I don't have to meet them, like, shit. I mean, that's kind of what you're getting right now with the... <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> wait, <laughs> holy shit. That's kind of true. Very good point. There's a couple right? women. There's she a couple fans, women. Yo, ladies, they are ladies. Your fans, though. <laughs> I need a couple ladies to throw through a couple TTSs. Okay. How do you know it's not ladies behind the screen? There's some. There's some. We get some. It's yeah. just the names. Beat and Cheeks? Probably <laughs> yeah. a dude. Or Probably a dude. Ladies. Probably a guy. But, uh, okay, so... Also, I don't know if I can, you, you in your pre-show messages, you said you previously worked in two industries. Are we at liberty to mention those? I, or after undergrad, uh, I did my undergrad at Cal, and I worked in biotech okay. for a couple years. And then I did an MBA in LA, and I worked in oil. Okay, nice. gotcha. Yo, thank you, AB Check. Appreciate it. Like uh, oil, what, when you say you worked in I was in, in the investor relations of a Investors. small oil company okay. that we took public and then sold. Gotcha. Uh, huh. Wait, question. Really quick, going back to the whole, like, dude sending you money and stuff. What about like including the guys you've met? What's the biggest like one time transaction that you've gotten from a dude? I mean, the men that I've dated for years? Yeah. It's been tons over the years. I haven't counted. Wait, can you tell us like from from uh, total collectively from one the from one guy, what's the most collectively? I don't know. Like seven figures you Oh, think? sure. Any eight figures or no? No. Seven figures, though. Yeah, probably not eight, but seven, yes. Mid, mid or low? I don't know. I've got to I get back to you on get it. Get back to me. Okay. Uh, and then total, total, all men total. If you had to say how much you've made total I mean, from. Again, state and feds got half of it. But let's say pre, pre-tax. It's a lot. Eight figures to total. Yeah. Nine figures or probably no. not nine. That, I wish. That, 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 that'd be nice. I would not be here. I'd be on you, an island. You'd have somewhere. to send me a couple, a couple bucks there. Okay. I would have a bigger plane. Um, so you said that on some issues you're a bit more liberal. Oh, we should have gotten to this while Charlie was here. In any case, you said that some issues you're perhaps a bit more liberal. So like abortion, labor rights. Uh, on others like marriage and family, you're a bit more, maybe more traditional. 
Yeah, the, I think most people peg me as traditional because I like men to provide and women to stay feminine and all that. Um, mm-hmm. But I don't have any problem with people who don't want that. Uh, again, I like people to live the way they want. I'm kind of a libertarian in that way. Mm-hmm. And then when I said about abortion rights, I think abortion is a tragedy. I'd like to see zero of it, but I just don't think, like many other things, I don't think we can criminalize our way out of it. So mm-hmm. that's why I said abortion rights, not because I sort of love abortion. I think it's a tragedy. Sure. Um, I, I perhaps want to offer a little pushback here. I mean, you said you're a little bit on the more traditional side with marriage and family. Maybe this is like on the macro level, you, view, you do acknowledge that uh, marriage, family, that's best for society. But in your individual case, you said that like you're currently, you've been in like two long-term relationships for 18 years. I mean, I'm assuming you don't acknowledge, like those aren't, that's not a traditional dynamic. Yeah, I'm not married to either of them. Right. And so I guess how do you kind of reconcile that, the whole traditional thing, but you're dating. I right. suspect. Well, that's why so, I said some things I feel, I mean, I don't know what to, what, do, would you call it feminist? If I like men to provide, necess- I wouldn't call no. it feminist. So well, traditional so, roles though. You yeah, I, I enjoy my roles. femininity. I, I do some things that are sort of masculine, right? I shoot guns and fly planes and that's kind of ascribed to men. So, um, but you're correct. I'm not married. That's for some reasons I'm not going to discuss on this show. But um, oh, okay. Uh, but I'm not anti-marriage. I think if people want to get married, they should. What kind of what kind of guns do you like to shoot? Uh, I used to own a, a Glock 17. I don't I don't own that right now. Um, but I go to Tiro Segna sometimes in Manhattan. If you behave better, you can come. It's a private club. If you're ever in Manhattan. Yeah, Andrew. If you behave better, <laughs> she'll take you shooting with her. <laughs> Andrew, I was, Andrew's I a gun curious. instructor, I'm a, by the I'm way. A gun, yeah, I'm but a you gun can't go to Tierra Segna without me. I'm a gun enthusiast myself, so I was Excellent. just curious what I'm, type of guns you like to shoot. Yeah, I mean, I've shot all kinds. So, you know, Manhattan, the, the gun ranges limit you to a 22, which really sucks, except for Tierra Segna because it's private. But um, we can go over to New Jersey and shoot cooler stuff. So, But I've shot, like you know, what? I used to love to go to Oak Tree when I lived here in Southern California. It's a great gun range um, north of the city. And, uh, and you can shoot all kinds of stuff. They have skeet, trap, clay, pistol, everything. What's your, do you, have you ever shot trap? Badly, yes. Yeah. What's your, uh, what's your favorite trap shotgun? They give you a series of rifles, and I don't know much about rifles, so I wouldn't be able to tell you what brand they were. I mean, you're not shooting trap with a rifle, right? Uh, the thing that goes, well, the, what's it called? A squirrel that goes across the ground, and the thing that shoots in the air. That's not trap, skeet. No, that's ski, but Sorry. you're not going to do that with a rifle. Uh, I don't know what is that long gun thing that they give you at Oak Tree. I don't know what it is then. Yeah, I, I don't know either. No. Okay, well, I, whatever I, it was. Curious. Yeah, mm-hmm. fair enough. You also said I, I was just curious. You also said that you are a. You mentioned this during earlier with Charlie Kirk, an unabashed <laughs> gold digger. You like men to protect and provide. Um, do you think women should all women? should be unabashed gold diggers. Absolutely not. Ab- okay. I don't think all women should do anything I say to do. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, have you always been an unabashed gold digger? Like, even at, like, 18, 19? Or did you have... Yeah, the first uh, boy I dated at 18, yes, was wealthy and did was very generous. Yeah, it's yeah. sort of what, what, what I... It's a call it a kink. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Andrew, any thoughts there on the on the bashed gold digger thing? No, I was just well. I'm I I don't know why it's so adversarial. I'm just I'm actually just trying to kind of figure out uh, your positions on things, kind of what your history is that you're presenting. I'm not even trying to make it adversarial. I'm just trying to kind of figure this out. So, um, but I I really can't if if every question I ask you you just kind of don't answer. I don't I don't know I don't I don't really know where to go from there honestly. Hmm. You know, like if I ask you honest questions about the gold digging thing, are you are you going to answer them, or are you just going to be like, well, I don't know, ask them? <laughs> like, I mean, obviously you have some some idea of what it is that men see in you or want in you or something like this, right? Or you just kind of claim, well, I have no no clue. I've just never thought about it in eighteen years. I mean, does that does that even really sound reasonable to you? Or yes, it does. It does. Okay. Well, then I I don't I don't know what to do with that answer. Cool. Later. <laughs> okay. I don't like him. 
We'll get to that in a sec. Um, you. What the hell did I do? I mean, it just. I'm really just asking you very basic. I don't know why you're so upset with me. What the hell did I do to you? Next. You don't. You don't know. You just. Maybe, maybe it's the face. You just don't like the face. It could just be the face. Could Sometimes be. people just are like, I just don't like your fucking face, right? It could just be that, right? Could be. Who knows? I don't. I don't know exactly what I've done to you. I've been. I've been very polite. I've just asked you some basic questions. I might have been. I mean, unless, unless you can kind of point to something that I said, which was horrendously offensive. I don't. Remember in our DMs, Brian, when I said about seventeen times that I came here not to argue. Is he? You've been arguing, Andrew. Have you been arguing, Andrew? I don't even feel like I feel like I've just asked some basic. I don't feel like we've argued about anything. <laughs> Honestly, I've just asked a few questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, you wanted to talk about aging and dating. Did I say that? We don't I have think to. So. <laughs> I think you said that. Maybe. Can't remember. Okay. But we don't have to. Uh, and then in the DMs, since you brought that up, you said you, I'm trying to think if this is like disagreements. You said some of the enraged stuff is hard to watch. I think life's too short to be upset online. I tend to agree with that. Uh, you think being mean to people doesn't help the world, so I don't like any of the clips where people are being cruel Maybe that's it, Andrew. She saw, she saw some of your uh, cruel clips, uh, but that's just me. So you said you've seen some pretty cruel episodes. Some are a bit nasty. You said you find it very cruel and rage clickbaity. I realize that makes money, but it makes you sad. The juvenile rage stuff is kind of pathetic. It's a show that can be so very mean and cruel. The show is often very antagonistic towards the women. Um, I just, I guess I wanted to get a better sense of uh, what specifically, if you can articulate specifically what is cruel uh, or what you found cruel or mean or nasty. I can't recall. The algorithm probably showed me the most incendiary stuff because that's how the algorithms work. Uh -huh. But when I tried to, well, I had never heard of you and the assistant connected us. Um, and mm -hmm. then you... Ask me, this is Andrew Wilson, right? You asked me if I wanted to go on with Andrew Wilson, and I told you I don't know who that is. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and then you asked about Charlie Kirk. I also didn't know who that is. Now I do. Okay. Um, so I watched some stuff in, in before coming here, and some of it was, I don't know, just kind of maybe, you know, wasn't my cup of tea. But, like, can you be more specific? I cannot recall. It was just pretty, uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, clickbaity kind of stuff. But I understand that that sells. I'm, you know, no judgment. What? But I guess, oh, firework. Super. <laughs> like, because you said that you, okay, in the DMs you said you saw a lot of poor young women being verbally abused. Uh, that's, I mean, so I guess what specifically did I, or someone else say, in this case Andrew, say that you deemed verbally abusive. I can't recall. I'd have to go back and try to find it again. Uh, what was, you don't need to give it verbatim, but what was the general? I do not, I just, I do not recall without, if you had told me to save it or send it to you, you'd have it, so. Okay. Do you feel like Charlie Kirk was verbally abusive? No, I was shocked how elegant and well-mannered he was today. That was lovely. Okay. Yeah, he was he was kind of he was kind of simping a little bit. No, Andrew, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Um, okay. Look at her. She laughed. She knew. She was like, "Yeah, he was kind of simping a little bit." I saw you over there. You know which one I'm talking to. Jojo left here. There's no yeah, chance. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. No chance. Uh. Well, again, I mean, I would like to get a bit more of a precise answer. Again, like... <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have one for you. But I can try to go back and find it, send it to you next week. But I don't recall right now. Sure. We could do that. We could, like, post-show react to it, I guess. Uh, it's typically better to have these conversations in person, but... Uh, what, so I guess, what constitutes verbal abuse? You know, might have been hyperbolic to use that phrase. I was just typing in DMs, but mm -hmm. um, I just don't think that being nasty is cute or funny or edgy or interesting. I think being kind and helpful and looking for solutions and being positive is better for everyone involved. I think, I think being nasty is boring. I just think it's boring. So the tone, <laughs> is it the, like the tone? 
Maybe, I don't, and, and maybe the words and maybe the attitude, body language, a million things. I just don't, I don't think being nasty is sort of interesting. Well, I'm kind of, I'm giving you the, giving you the floor to air your uh, either real or perceived grievances no, when it comes fine. to, I, huh? It's, it's your show, you're the boss. Well, yeah, that, no, that's what I'm interested in talking about. I like to hear people's criticisms of the show so I can potentially... Uh, well, I am no one to tell you what to do. This is your project, and you should do as you see fit. You should not do what I think you should do. Well, I'm not, I'm not seeking advice, necessarily. I'm seeking out what your criticisms are so that I can engage with them. Yeah, I think some of the stuff that popped up first on YouTube was sort of ugly and... I don't know. Do you, you recall know. any singular... Again, I don't remember which you... videos. I'll have to go back and look at Well, my I don't history. need it verbatim, but what was the general... Give me something here to work with. Just cruel, you know? Okay, but when you say cruel, that has... Uh, I, I'm going to prod a little bit. I'd Trying like to know... Trying to make people angry for clicks and likes and money is sort of icky, right? It's icky. Well, my goal is never to try to make somebody angry, but... Um, What's, can you, what generally was said? Just a lot of trolling type of behavior, which I just don't, I'm, you know, I'm, I'll be 48 in a few months. I just, we didn't have this when I was younger. I, we didn't sort of, what a weird, why would the fuck would I lie about it? It's like 600,000 Americans who fly planes. It's not that special. (laughs) It's like literally driving. It's actually easier than driving. No, let them talk. They're talking about Andrew. I want him to hear it. Okay, so yeah. I thought it was going to be nice. I just, ugh, and they're just going to keep at it like all night till like 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Do I leave? It's boring. Do I leave? Um, we should be back. She probably is going to last. Sorry? Do people actually see I know. Who's been watching this all night long? All right. Sorry, guys. We, uh, yeah, you can recall him. Sorry, guys. Unfortunately, our. Lost a bunch of people. It's okay. Um, let me just check. I'm going to read a couple chats while that's going through. Uh, we had to switch it over to our backup internet, which I don't know what's going on with our internet recently. Like, we've never had this issue. Anyways, Maddie, I'm going to have you read a couple chats. Go ahead. Training the suits in the back for the draft so they can vote. We already read this. Do the uh, did we? Know. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Okay, hold on. You sure we read it? Yeah. yeah You're right. We did. We did. Is it really almost midnight? Sorry, guys, we're getting some chats in. Speaking of, if you want, read is 100, TTS is 200, go ahead, Maddie. My marriage was doomed to fail. The wife insisted on having the word obey removed from our wedding vows. Question for each lady. Do you believe that it is a woman's role to obey her husband? Do you believe that it is a woman's role to obey her husband? Go ahead. I think we already addressed this earlier when Charlie was here, Mm -hmm. and um, he brought up that chart. So if you want to bring that chart up, that's how I feel about it. Okay. Exactly. I feel like the fact that it was under God made a really, really important point. I didn't see the chart, but no. Okay. Do I think wives should obey their husbands? Yeah. Sometimes. Okay. Um, not necessarily. Depends on, like, the situation. Yeah, sometimes. It depends. Yes. It depends. Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Maddie, can you read this? High end companion equals wrinkly gold digger. Sorry, not my words. You do have wrinkles. I love Uh, them. All right. Thank you, Psycho. Appreciate it, man. Do we have Andrew back or? Okay. Uh, we'll read. I hit it. Maddie, can you read this one that's coming? Sorry, Andrew. Our internet's been. Oh, I don't the know pilot what's just got her license removed. Land the plane, rent a plane with the pilot to join the Mile High Club. What does the plane cost per flight Wait, per hour red? to rent Big L to rent a used aircraft? I believe her. <laughs> okay. Thank you, uh, Joe Murphy. Appreciate it. Uh, Kill of cereal. Thank you, man. Andrew, you should ask her what epistemology means. To the panel, would you date a homeless person who decides to be on the street and homeless even though they are rich money-wise? Okay, so to the for, to the start of that question, um, 
Do you, do you know what epistemology means? Who's this directed to? Uh, that would be, I think, the pilot. Oh, again? Is he ever going to leave me well, alone? It, it, I, it's yeah, not it's me. It's the search for knowledge. It it's things like statistics in. and sociology and social sciences. It's sort of the search for knowledge, as opposed to like m abstract math, like calculus. OK. It, it had nothing to do with me. I was just reading the chat. Yeah, enough. <laughs> she knew it. You seem you like you seem super upset with me. Yeah, I don't even been, know what we what I did that made hours. you so adversarial. Eight hours. Have we been here for that long? Yeah, I've been here since four. When can we go? <laughs> I'm joking. But what time do you guys end? I'm hungry. Yo, you guys asked to be on the show. Yeah, I want. Yo, to speak be. in the mic if you're gonna speak. I am glad to be here. I'm just hungry. There's pizza back there. There's chips back there. Okay. It's cold. <laughs> was there a second part to that question? Yeah, the second part was when you date a homeless person uh -huh. who decides to be on the street and homeless even though they are rich money wise. No, they're not rich in the mind. Yeah, also, no, there's something wrong with you in the head if you decide to live on the streets and cosplay a homeless person. Okay. No, come here. You want me to move over there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going around the table here. Okay. Do I need to really point at you guys each? Like, if if I point here, it's going to you, then to you, then to you. Like, guys, I don't need to, like, hand hold you guys all night. Boom, boom, boom. That's how we're doing it. I thought they were pilots, so you're commanding them. We're going around the table with a question. Where did we leave off? Right there, I think. I wouldn't. What was the question? Would you date a guy who's cosplaying? Bro, you gotta pay back? fucking attention. It's really not that hard. Would um, you date a guy who's homeless speak, but here, he was rich? Push yourself and into the table the so you can speak into the microphone. No, I'm gonna say no. I don't know what the question was, but I'm gonna say no. I'm not really interested anyway. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Uh, maybe. No. I would not. All right, well, getting into some other pre-show notes here. Bringing it to, uh, hold on, where do we bring it to? Uh, okay, we did all those. We're gonna bring it back to Heather, or, yeah. So Heather, you said you met your husband on Seeking. I did. Uh, what was the nature of the arrangement? Because the website used to be called Seeking Arrangement, so uh, what was the nature of your arrangement? So we never actually had an arrangement. Um, I mean, I was on Bumble, Tinder, Hinge, and I was really frustrated with, you know, not actually getting dates if people just wanted to Netflix and chill. Um, my roommate mentioned seeking to me, um, and she's like, it's a way to find a good high-value guy. Um, and at that point, I was making, you know, over six figures, and I didn't want to be the provider anymore. But I know on my profile, I said I was looking for a long-term relationship, and then his profile actually stuck out saying that he was looking for somebody to like have a life with and to build his empire with. So we were both looking for an actual relationship. What happened, Matt? The pilot talked shit while you were gone, complaining the show's too long, talked shit about Andrew too. Do you want to just restate what you were saying while I was not paying attention? Uh, I'm, I am getting tired. Mm-hmm, and? And I, I don't like Andrew. No. I got to ask you a question, though. Uh, this is an honest question. The seat that you're sitting on, is it broken? What? Well, is the seat you're sitting on broken? I mean, it's an honest question. Is the seat that you're, you're sitting on broken? And the reason I ask is because you're super butthurt and nobody knows why. <laughs> nobody, so nobody has any idea why you're so fucking butthurt. <laughs> but maybe you should just stop being <laughs> such a brat. That was and funny. engage in the conversation. She likes you now, Andrew. I know, that I joke know you're was 77 years old, but maybe you can just engage in the conversation. You got one point for her. I'm mm -hmm. so Keep at it. We like the corny jokes. The dad jokes got it. <laughs> so, okay, you met your Well, husband. I mean, for, for the love of God, I mean, something had to make somebody laugh. Holy shit. Like, you're so stodgy. Just relax. Nobody's, nobody's out to get you. I'm just curious about your backstory as you've been talking about it. That's it. I don't know why you're so combative. Nobody knows why you're so combative. Maybe you just relax. Did you not believe that she's a pilot? 
No, it had nothing to do with me. There was a chatter who was in the chat who sent in some cash and wanted to ask that question, so I asked it. Oh, okay. It had nothing like to do with what telling? I believe or don't believe. I was just, I just asked the question. Oh, okay. Because it didn't seem like you believed her, but... Well, I don't know what that means. It didn't seem, it seemed like I just asked some basic questions that were requested that I ask. I didn't say I believe her, don't believe her. I have, I have no fucking idea anything about her. I'm just, I just was following up on a question which was asked. Okay. Hmm. So going back to this, uh, so you met on arrangement, but... Uh, but she doesn't know shit about guns, I can tell you that. Nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing about guns. But I, I don't know on the pilot stuff, uh, but nothing about guns. Okay. Uh, what about you? Wait, about guns? <laughs> so okay, you met your husband on seeking. Yes. All right. And were what you was, had, had, so okay, had you dated other men on seeking or was he your, like the first guy that you met on there? I mean, I, I went on some meets with some other guys, but nothing ever really took off. And so what was the nature of their arrangements? Like would they pay you for dates? No. I just Isn't that out. like how seeking I don't know. Well, yes, but I wasn't looking for an arrangement cuz I made my own money. But like so why go on seeking? Because That's, I couldn't find guys that made more than me on Oh, okay. So you wanted to meet, like, a guy? Okay. Uh, and you said your husband had consulted with F Fresh? Yes. From Fresh and Fit? Correct. Like a 30-minute consult or one-hour consult? I think or? an hour consult to, like, redo. How much does he, how much does he charge for those? <laughs> like 4,000 bucks? No. It's a couple thousand. I'm pretty sure he charges, like... Four G's for an hour. I think he said he paid like four hundred. Oh, four hundred. Okay, then go. All right, he got the, he got the good deal from. Uh, like, okay. Unless he's gotten way up in the last couple of years. <laughs> sure. Wait, how long ago did he do this consult with Fresh? Two, three years ago. Okay, uh, you said he. So your husband updated his profile based on Fresh's feet, Walter. We're talking yes, about Walter, Walter. here. Okay. Uh, and then you met shortly after. Um, so the consult was four hundred with. Uh, with Walter? I think that's what he said. Okay. Wait, what does he do? Like, give it's advice? It's like an he image gives, consult. Uh, he, like, helps you rewrite image consultant. Profile. He, oh, I didn't know that. Has you, like, change your pictures if they're not good enough. Mm -hmm. So he, fi okay, Walter helped him fix up his, uh, his profile. Cool. You met, you met your uh, now husband. You said that he retired you when he proposed so that you could follow your dream and go to law school. Correct. Okay. Yes. So you were previously making six figures and you had a high level corporate director job in food manufacturing. That is correct. Okay. That's cool. And so are you, how, how far are you into law school? I started in August. Oh, you, you haven't started yet? Yeah, he proposed Wait, but if August he August last year. I, I'm confused, you said he retired you. He retired me from my job. To back go in into another August. job? I mean, he, I don't have to work if I don't want to. He is paying for law school for me because well, that's something that you I, want because right? I want to do. But I won't have to work like a crazy big law job working eighty to one hundred hours a week. I have a very little niche field of law that I want to go into. Oh, okay, what's that? Um, corporate food law. Oh, corporate food law. Okay. Do you know how much you anticipate to uh, earn, like first, second, third year? Once you. I mean, uh, the companies I worked for, we. Paid our attorneys fifteen hundred an hour. Okay. Right. Corporate food law. What's like? So an like if so like if companies go into like a recall for a product recall. Mm, okay. Um, you help deal with the USDA and the FDA. And right. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Uh, but you were already making six figures. Right. And I liked my job. I just I oh. needed I needed something more. I wasn't fulfilled. What about being a wife? Didn't you say you're a stay-at-home wife? I am a stay-at-home wife, and I go you're to the gym. Fulfilled. I you're go not to fulfilled. the gym, and I get my hair done and my nails done. Okay. And <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. You said you were previously married to a bum for eight years who had no ambition, and I made quite a bit more than him. Uh, you also had become obese while I was with him. When I left him, I decided to get my body back, and you lost over 100 pounds and bettered yourself. So why, why, what was the breakdown, or what was the cause of the breakdown of your previous marriage? I mean, I honestly almost left him at the altar. Nope. Um, and you stayed with him for eight years? Oh, you're a Roman Catholic. I was told that divorce oh, is not okay. an option. 
Um, and I just, you know, kept getting more depressed and suicidal and I hated my life. Wow. Okay. I um, yeah. ended up going to Uganda for a couple of weeks on kind of a humanitarian trip and it was really the first time I had ever been away from him and I felt so free. Was there infidelity? Nope. Oh, uh, wait, you said you went to Uganda? I did. Huh. I worked for with, human, I worked with some high school trip. girls and helping them work on college stuff. I went on safari. I floated in the Nile. Okay. You wanted to talk about roles in relationships, male-female equality, and how to attract a high-caliber guy. So what did you want to speak on when it came to roles and then male-female equality? I don't really remember writing that. Um, your name's but, Heather, yes, right? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, just I what just, you wrote. I know I've heard on we don't have the to... podcast sometimes that, like, girls think that men and women are, are equal. Um, and I, I really, I don't think so. I think that they each bring different qualities to a relationship. Um, and that there are things that each of them are better at. But we are not equal. Okay, Cool. And you said you wanted to talk about how to attract a high caliber guy. I mean, I think one thing that a couple of things that I've learned from my husband and a couple other guys that I've talked to that, you know, he networks with, but they want somebody who's in shape, you know, somebody who's friendly, feminine. Um, they do want somebody with intelligence, even though a lot of times they say that they don't care about their careers. Mm -hmm. um, I know I, I'm really good with all of his business centers and business contacts. Okay. Yeah, just playing the good life. All right. And then I'm going to move over to Leah now. Leah, you said that uh, you're single. You said you're looking to one day get married. And, when I, and what I'm doing isn't working, so I want to get other thoughts and opinions about what to do, what not to do, where to meet quality guys looking for relationships, common red, red flags to spot the possible red flags that I meet, may need to work to improve quality traits, skills that guys would look for in partners. Yeah, um, so basically, I grew up in North Carolina, which is Bible Belt, so I've been going to church my whole life, so I've been to church looking for guys. Not really the kind of guy that I want, necessarily, um, so I'm just trying to, like, find other ways to maybe better myself, or, like, maybe new ideas of where to look for quality guys, that kind of thing, um, so if y'all have any ideas, please let me know. I really want to be married one day. Um, but also, I'm trying to do stuff to, like, better myself, so I'm learning to cook. Um, I do own a home that I'm, like, it's really fucking old. But I'm working on, like, fixing it and making it better. So even one day, if I do get married and I, we don't live in that same town or whatever, I can then, like, provide a little bit more money, you know? That kind of thing. So that hmm. was basically what I was trying to say. And, like, that's something that me and my friends talk about all the time. Like, we always try to figure out, like what our types type would be and then how we can become our types type. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where else besides like the I church would you say us. you look for men? Like what other extra or curricular activities, I guess, so would you say you do that? Mainly like just hanging out with friends, so like trying to find like mutual friends of friends, you know? Mm -hmm. um, it's a small fucking town. Like you know 90% of the people that live there. Raleigh? Outside. Oh, you're outside of Raleigh. Yeah, okay. like we can go to Raleigh, but still, like I've been to clubs before in Raleigh and run into 15 people that I know, and then you get like caught up doing the whole like, oh you my just god, gotta move. Have you been? Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I want to. Yeah, yeah, you need to look for guys that are way outside your area. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Have you tried dating apps? I have. It tends to still just be a lot of the guys that I went to high school with. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. Okay, you said that, uh, now you said it seems like your audience, the whatever audience, mm -hmm. is made up mostly of the, of the type of man you want to attract for a, for a relationship. So I'm looking for some honest, constructive criticism for what I can be doing differently better. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, she, guys, she's open to dating a whatever viewer, a whatever enjoyer. So, but you didn't want your IG in the description, so that's going to be hard for them to like, Oh, slide into I, the DMs. Yeah, but. I didn't think about that. I'm just Rip. not really online most of the time. Mm -hmm. The only reason why I really have social media is because for my job, I run social media accounts. So I have to kind of have one to connect mm -hmm. so I can 
but I don't think I've posted anything on social media since like 2016. I'll tell you what you guys got to do. This applies to all the women here at the table. If you want to be really attractive to a guy, there's only really one thing that you can do. Well, there's a lot of things you can do, but this is the best one. You got to do a bow. You got to bow to the guy. Bow. Like literally, literally a bow. hit a full respect bow. Nick, pull up the bow clip. 90 degrees. Pull up the bow clip. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Boom. Huge bow. Did you see the bow? Did you see the respect? Did he throw this shoe at her? <laughs> Probably. Uh, look, but it was like a respectful. Look, he, and look no. she's, she's doing the laundry. She's getting the laundry all set up. She, the dinner, dinner is ready. Look at this. The dinner is ready. She's got my beer ready. Come home from a long day of podcasting. My noodles need to be stirred. Boom. Is the part where this she is wipes, actually my girlfriend, by the way. Where she wipes your butt? Is she there? <laughs> Shit. I mean, sign me up. <laughs> One more time with the bow. Boom. Nick didn't do the boom. What the fuck? Fuck. You you're supposed to do the boom with me. Uh, so, ladies. Do you think, what do you think about that dynamic? Like, I think that wasn't a 90 degree bow, so that wasn't respectful. It wasn't deep, it wasn't it deep wasn't enough of a bow? Yeah, that was What do you think of that? Above. I feel like even that wouldn't be enough for the men. That's too much? Or sorry, too said, little, too little. Yeah, but the type of guys that are watching this, they want you to fully, fully do fully. it. Fully? Like she said, the butt wipe oh, and like everything. Oh, like on the ground yeah. bow. Yeah, like she needs to be on her knees and head down Praise for a couple Lord. seconds. Shit, damn. You <laughs> got, even, you got some good. She looked at him in the eyes. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> You got some good crazy. advice. That's some good advice. <laughs> Shit. Sign me up. Okay, uh, what, what do you think of the clip? Like, that's, that's pretty... Would you do a bow for your boy? You got a boyfriend? No, I'm not bowing to him. In, into the mic? I'm not bowing to him. What? You should try it. No. He might, he might like it. I don't just, care. Here, just do it. Almost do it, like, in a funny way. I think you should try it out. Next time you see your boyfriend, just be like, oh, hey, Rupert. Boom, hit him with a bow. That's his name, right? Rupert? I told him. Cool. <laughs> just hit Rupert with a fucking bow. Can you do it? Will you do it? You promise me. Just try it once. Okay. You'll do it? You promise? He might bow back. I'm, Rupert. Oh, he for surely is going to bow back. Rupert, if you're watching this, if she doesn't bow to you, you're going to see him, what, tomorrow or some shit? Tonight, maybe? <laughs> Is he here? Hang on, we got you. We got you, Rupert. She's doing it. She's going to do the bow. She's Rupert, you, Rupert. If she doesn't do the bow, you fucking come talk to me. Come talk to me, man. We'll have you come on the show, and then you can talk about, you know, dating shit. Okay, Rupert? Okay. So you, you'll do it, though. You'll hit, the, you'll hit the bow? Just try it once, okay? One time. One time. It's not going to hurt, right? No. Nope. See how he reacts. Okay, what about you, Amy? I think that's fine if that couple likes it. You'd okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Were you gonna hit the bow? I think it's fine, like she said. But me personally, no, that's an ick. It's it's an ick. Yeah. Like I don't. I, to, me to, personally, I bow? wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. No. <laughs> what if he's like your perfect bad boy and he's just no. like bow? <laughs> perfect <laughs> bad just boy. Like, bow. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Definitely not. Def would never do the bow. No. No barks and huh. bows. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't think I would bow. Would not do the would not do a bow? No. You should try it out. It'll help, maybe. Can't no, I think they would be bowing down to me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is that what you want? <laughs> you want a little simp boy? Mm, you want a not, simp boy? Not a simp, because sometimes when they're too like affectionate, too, it's too simpy. Like, mm -hmm. You know? You want it? Like okay. a little hard to get, but like not playing games. Sure. I don't know. What about you? You want to hit the bow? No. No? All right. Nice. Yeah, sure, I will. Crikey. <laughs> Get some Vegemite on Me. that. I don't necessarily know. Or some know. fucking, some shrimp on the bobby? It's okay. Get some shrimp on the bobby. All right. Well, I don't yeah. necessarily know that I would huh? bow. Have you ever tried Vegemite? Fuck no. <gasps> try it. Are so bad. Just try it. Oh, well, make sure you put a lot on it. No, yeah, I'm good. I'm it's good. So tell you what, bad. you hit a bow? If you hit a bow for me... Uh, you're, you're coming back on, on Tuesday? Or yeah, did, the Are you guys scared off now? No. Um, yo, go find some veg, med, uh, blah, blah, Vegemite for me. <laughs> if you hit a bow for me on the show, I'll try some Vegemite for the first time ever. Okay, you okay. will take my Vegemite virginity. <laughs> Double V, what's up? 
<laughs> Don't do it. It's not worth it. Is it? Yes, have it you is. tried it, Andrew? It's, it's so. Good. Yeah, I've eaten veggie is so bad. Am I gonna like? I think you guys like. I think like you guys because you're like from a different state, state? and like. Country. Yeah, oh, right. country. Country. Sorry. A different country. Yeah, that was a bit of a bimbo moment for me. But I um, was okay. <laughs> I feel like you guys would put too much on. Like you yeah. only put the littlest bit on, and it's like and like a lot the of best butter. Thing ever. You'll be eating okay, it for no, breakfast. Wait, wait. You may not know this, but in the United States, we have the equivalent of a Vegemite sandwich. What is it? Though what is here it? we call it pimentos and cheese. Okay, but the thing is, what? is that yes, they're not really that similar. Right, except that they're both fucking disgusting. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, it's like, you know Vegemite is gross. The same way that Spam is gross and the same way that Pimentos and Cheese is gross. It's just gross. Just, just gross. just gross. Avocado with Vegemite's good. Oh, yeah. Uh, would you bow? Would you bow? I don't necessarily did, did know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know that I would bow, you should, but I do. Husband, but I do think out. that a wife should be submissive to their husband, and I do whatever he asks me to do. Okay, all right. So the bow gives you the ick? Mm. Yeah, no, like, for me to be doing that, that's an ick. Like, why would I give you a bow? I'd do OnlyFans. I, I got to ask a question, right? <laughs> have you ever, have you ever um, like, hooked up with a guy the same, same day of meeting him? Um, no. Be, be on, come on, bruv. I mean, come on, bruv. I have. Be honest, bruv. I have, I have, I have. Oh, wait, so hold on. <laughs> hold on, you're switching shit up. You're oh, switching really? shit up. Now, no, I just was trying to see where you were going with that before I agreed. <laughs> which one, you got, bro? You guys wore the same shit. Which one of you is shy and which one of you is Emmy? Me, you're I'm sh shy. You're shy. Okay. I'm Emmy. So you guys are like trying to do some twin shit right now. You guys even relate? Are you guys related? No. Nah, but we're known as like the stepsisters. What the oh, fuck? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Hold on. So just to be clear, like. Uh, on your Instagram, it says you do GG and BG content. Yeah. Also, like the. I've only yeah. I've only done one BG, and that was to someone who, like, I was talking to him. He was a another OnlyFans guy. Another. He did OnlyFans yeah. himself, so Word. I wouldn't actually go and do OnlyFans with random men. Like, oh yeah, like you. Okay. Let's say you. I would never like. Sorry, <laughs> but like no, like I'm just not like that as a person. Like, like you're only. I have with to guys like you. I have shoot. to like you to have sex with you. I'm sorry. Oh, Didn't you like? Okay. Uh, you have to like the guy to have sex with him. Yeah. I, who was the? Which one of you said you? Oh no, it was you who said you. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play this shit for myself. Hold on. One of you said you like guys who kind of tr uh, treat, treat you like badly. Shit. Who yeah. was that? I think probably both of us. Both. Yeah. I thought you. So oh, but you do like guys who treat you poorly. Yeah. Like they've okay. got to. Yeah, it's got to oh. be like a bit like cheeky, but yeah. like a bit like. Like no, so like I, I like know. a I like a guy to yep. like stick up for himself, but like be cheeky towards me, but not cheeky, not cheeky don't don't you. disrespect me. Right. Like that's not that. That's not. So that so actually. here's what's crazy to me, right? Like a lot of y'all, you won't like if a guy asks for a bow. Yeah. It could be your boyfriend. Like you won't cook for a guy. You uh, won't clean for a guy. You won't bow for a guy. I love cooking. Okay, that's fine. I'm not saying this is the and case I for clean. all of you, but like there will be women who have qualms with some of these things. I won't yeah. cook for a man. Put a ring on it, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's like husband treatment, whatever. Won't cook for a guy, won't clean for a guy, won't do laundry for a guy, won't do X, Y, Z for a guy, won't bow for a guy, but you'll fuck a guy on the first date and let them blast all over your face. Mm. Whoa, did I just say that? I'm sorry. Yeah. Right? That happens, though. That does happen. And it did happen. So. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like see, right? You didn't see what I'm talking about. But, like, before... Before, like, so you are confirming that he did, like, with the other men that I've had, I haven't had sex with them on the first date, I don't even kiss them or mm -hmm. whatever. But this last one I really liked, um, you, I did. We you, came back from a nightclub, and then, yeah, y'all had carnal knowledge, yeah, had carnal knowledge, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought, why not? You That's crazy, you like won't, you. like, you, you say bound to a guy gives you the ick. But you'll like hit after you just come from like a pop in Sydney. You don't see those it's moves on the like best I... dance floors in Sydney. Yeah. Gold Coast. It wasn't Gold in Coast Sydney, it was in Gold Coast. Yeah. But... Um, Brisbane? We where, used to live where, in what's, Sydney. What's the big city? Melbourne? Go, um, um, Me Sydney, Melbourne, Melbourne Gold Coast, Melbourne. Brisbane. Uh, 
I feel, I don't know. I feel like you guys are, I think you guys kind of like give me Perth vibes, to be honest. Perth, really? Perth. Yeah, you're both from Perth, for sure. No, from Gold Coast. Like, Goldie. I was born in Sydney. Just so be honest, moved you to guys Gold are from like no, Western like, Australia. Okay, so we were... Just be honest, just say you're from Perth. No, we mm. legit weren't. Like, okay, I swear to whatever. God, like, I'm legit from Goldie. Legit from, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Goldie. Sorry, Gold Coast. Yeah. Where's Waratah? I don't huh? even know. Waratah. Waratah? I've never heard of that. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Never oh, okay. <laughs> but so, but you wouldn't even do a bow. I don't know. Just try it. I'm I mean, trying. no, I would not do a bow. Well, I don't know. I, I can't see myself like, oh, hello, baby, and bowing. Like, <laughs> no, I, he would get the ick and probably put my head in the wall. Yeah, literally. No, like, they wouldn't. Yeah, no, Australians are so much different yeah, than you think. It's so Like, funny. if I was to bow to a guy and he's like, let's say my boyfriend of four years, he'd literally put my head in the wall and I just know it. I, he would I, literally I, do domestic violence? Yeah. yeah. Like, I would too. If he was to sit down and bow at me, I'd put him in a wall too. Wow, yeah. okay. That's such an ick. I'd get the ick. I'd just probably ick. break up with him for bowing at me. Okay. But like, I'm ick. not against it. Like, yeah, it'll, give you the, it'll give you the what now? The ick. The ick. The ick. Yeah, the ick. The ick. It's the ick, Andrew. The it's ick. the ick. <laughs> it's an ick. Gives her the ick. Everything's an ick. Can't, t- can't take the ick? No. no. Can't I, take the ick. No, I get icks a lot. Yeah, same. Like, our icks are literally like so like out of pocket weed. Out of pocket icks. Yeah. Why would you get like that? Really? Going around the table, I want to hear. So, so then, so then, if you get the ick from a man, is he still a ten? Um, I mean, if I love you, yeah, yeah. If you're still like, a ten. You really like someone, like you get past the ick. Yeah, I know, like, I know, but I know, but no, you don't love him and you get the ick. If you don't love him and you get the ick, is he still a ten? I know. Mm. Let's put it this way: I literally, I like someone. And he'd, he'd do stuff that would usually give me the ick if it was any other person. But because I liked him, I just, like, kind of brushed it under the carpet. And yeah, I got, yeah, sure, sure. I, I got yeah, over yeah. it. I, I'm just going to grant all that shit. And I'm just going to ask you again. If it's a guy you don't really like and he gives you the ick, is he still a 10? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the so, ick is, like, no, very, like you're... very, like, it, like, really, like, Damages. Okay. Yeah, and I know, no, I know, but like, let her yeah, answer. Like, honestly, so, probably so let, would so make you so buy not a 10. So, hang on, so hang on. So let her answer the question I asked her. If you get the ick from a guy who you don't like, is he still a 10? Okay, now listen here. <laughs> listen. Okay, so I feel like everybody's a 10. Everybody is naturally just a 10. But when you get to know them, and if they give you the ick and stuff like that, you like... You go down the scale, of course. Like, I don't feel like you no, always... So they're not still a 10? No. <laughs> so then earlier when you said every man was a 10, you were kind of fibbing a little bit, you think? No. I feel oh, like... So every man is a 10 except yeah. the ones that give you an You're ick? You're a 10, and look, you're giving me the ick by having a guitar in the background. I mean, you're like what? giving me the ick yeah, because you have a stupid ick. accent. <laughs> so do you, do you think that we can get I'm back to the conversation at hand? Do you know what? I get the uh, ick. Like, I can't podcast. even understand what you're saying. You're from a fake country. But anyway, back to where we're at... <laughs> Can you explain what? very quickly, very I, quickly, my Vegemite eating friend, is it true that if a man gives you the ick, he's no longer a 10, or isn't it? Um, I don't know. We'll have you to don't see. know. Suddenly, don't know. suddenly, if, like, suddenly your like, brain doesn't work. I mean, I mean, right? if, it's, I, if, it's I, amazing. if I like you and I don't love you it's and you do something that's the ick, I will get the ick. But if I love you, I won't get the ick. But if you're yeah, a no, random, but, if you're, if you're, the, if you're a random yeah. person, I would not get the ick because, like, you, I don't know you. Okay, so but, let us assume you don't love him. You don't know him that much. He gives you the ick. Is he still a 10, yes or no? Um, I mean, if you're my friend and you give me the ick, you're... I don't know how to explain it, but do you know what's an ick? Having, having to talk into microphones. Yeah, I, I know, I know, but do, do, do you think that you can just give me a direct yes or no to my question now? Um, but I don't really want to answer that because... I know you don't really want to answer it because it would prove that you were fibbing and bullshitting earlier. So do you think Do you think now you can answer honestly if a dude gives you the ick, he gives you the ick, <laughs> you don't like, ah, it's the ick, <laughs> that you don't actually think he's a 10 at that point? Do you think he'd be honest with us now? Um, he'd be a 9.9. Okay, got it. Not a 10. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> It's still kinder at 10. <laughs> I like playing around with you. It's fun. The 10. <laughs> well, I mean, it's fun for me. It's, it's, like, hot. it's like, what you should your do, though, is you should, go buy, you should go buy some, like, I don't know, some bleach and put it in your hair, I think. Bleach? Yeah. Do you think I should be blonde? 
No, I mean, I think it would suit your personality. <laughs> You'd be hot if you were bald. You're one of those chicks. You, you saw another chick. She's rowing a boat out in a field, and you were like, you stupid blonde. You're lucky I don't come out there right now and kick your ass, right? You're lucky I don't swim out there right now and kick your ass. That's the type of, <laughs> type of chick you are. Yeah. You don't even know what I just said. No, I wasn't really listening. Yeah, I know. I, know. I was just thinking. I was just thinking difficult. about if you were to be bold, you'd be so much hotter with your like attitude. Yeah, I know, too. I know. But if you were just hot, you'd be so much hotter. <laughs> okay. But it, well, you know that's the thing, right? Yeah, it is like, a bit, it's like if we're doing cold. tit for tat, it's when when somebody who's I don't know a three or a four says you're not. I don't care. Like, what do I care? You're sitting there talking into a mic, making me thousands of dollars. I don't give a shit, right? You can say what you want. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Make your money. For Go me. for it. You know, I'm you glad. would do a lot better though if you were. You know what? I'll tell you what. The audience, both on the whatever side and on my side, they would actually like you a lot better if you're just honest. I am honest. Are you? Hmm? Yeah. So if you're just honest, then let me just ask you directly. If a guy gives you the ick who you don't know that well, is he still a 10? Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, uh, no. He would he would have been. No. But like yeah. if if I don't know you and you do something that's ick, I wouldn't really say, Oh look, that's an ick. I I'd do it yeah. if like you're my friend. Like yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, so I mean if you're being honest then, if we're if we're just doing if we're doing like the honest thing. Not every man's a 10, and not every chick is a 10, right? I mean, come on. You're a 10. I, I know I'm a 10, but other than me... You thought. I mean, not every man <laughs> is a 10, not every chick is a 10, right? We're being, you're going to be honest? You're going to tell the truth now? Well, <laughs> are, are, are we actually doing that, or are we not doing that? <laughs> you don't know. I, wait, what did you say? Is is if I if someone gives me the ick, they're like not a ten. No, I'm just saying like in a, in a general sense. Like if we're gonna backtrack, we're gonna be totally honest with each other. Okay. You're being honest with me. I'm being honest with you. Not every man. I mean, probably most men aren't fucking tens, and not every woman, and probably most women aren't tens, right? Like honestly. Yeah. No, they're not. Yeah. But like, not. no, All that's a, that's right. only under one circumstance. And that's if you so then, so then, I gotta ask you this: like, how how could we not perceive that earlier? You were just kind of trolling, right? Mm. Why why did like why did you modify your answers so much? I don't know. But like, th no, everybody's a ten, and then now we're on the ick subject. So now, if you're gonna give me the ick, like uh, you have a what? guitar what in the background now. What do you mean everyone's a ten? You just got done saying they're not. <laughs> what? You just got done saying they're not all tens. No, but like only if you give me the ick, you're not a ten. Yeah, you know, no, but you just got done saying just five seconds ago in the conversation. Yes, of course, Andrew. Not every chick is a ten. Most of them aren't. Most men aren't. Right. So why? So like, why earlier? Earlier when we brought this up, like, <laughs> why? Why were you messing? Around? Like, you know what I mean? Why were you trolling? Was I it wanted... just because you didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings? I like when you argue. It's hot. Yeah, I know. I know it is. But is it you just that you didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings? <laughs> no, I love your reaction. I, slept, I, yeah, I, I, I know, I, but I don't love yours. Can, can I you just answer it. my question? You saying that you don't love mine is so hot. You have no idea. Yeah, yeah, I know. And you must be at least this tall to date Andrew Wilson, and you're not. And you must have an American accent, and you're not. So back to where we were at before you so rudely interrupted me with words I don't even understand. Because your accent's so thick, it makes no sense. Can you answer my damn question? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. I'm not answering your question. <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't think you would. You can stay there. It was still worth a shot. It was still it worth a shot. <laughs> I, thought, I mean, we were close. We were like, we we're about to have this I'll great, answer your question moment. if you bow for me. It was going to be a fantastic, <laughs> honest moment where there was if honesty you... between me and you, and then you just kind of Okay, between me up. and you, between me and you, if you bow mm. for me, I'll answer your question, and I'll give you the honest answer. I would rather drink turpentine and piss on a brush fire than bow, not not just to you, but to any Australian. I mean, why do you come hate on. Aussie so much? Yeah, but why he do doesn't you... believe it's a country. Why? Are you serious? I know, no, uh, of course not. Of course I do. Why? I don't believe in any type of big cartographic conspiracy. Okay. That's ridiculous. This is, um, this is a horrific allegation made against me. But anyway, back to where we're at. Um, 
If, if if we were, let's like let's pretend that you're honest for five seconds, right, and not just trolling and like being a jerk, right? Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, we're we're just gonna at least pretend that that's true. You know, if you bow for me, and, and we yeah, you bow for me. Mm. Oh, how about a cur? Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what. How you're about, the one how about that wants the honest answer. How about, answer. You, how about you do? A, how about you do a little curtsy? Do it to stand up. Do a little curtsy, <laughs> and then and then maybe I'll consider the bow. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, but you have to give me the answer. I mean, wait. Okay, I'll give, you the, I'll give you the answer, but you have to do the curtsy first. Wait, wait. I don't. Wait. Why do I need an answer? I don't need an answer. I got to answer a question. That's what you just said. You said you no, got to give me the answer. This is the this is the deal. You give me a bow, and I'll give you the honest truth. No, you give me the curtsy, and then I'll think about giving you the bow. No. That seems fair. No, I'm not doing that. You can. Why not? Okay. Keep arguing. I thought you just said I was the hottest thing you ever saw. You won't even give me a fucking curtsy. What the hell is wrong with you? Rude. <laughs> yeah, totally rude. Andrew, you're beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're everything I ever wanted in a man. You won't even curtsy. No. Yeah, the name of all that's wrong with kangaroos. What the hell? What you the would hell get the ick. You would get the ick if you see me curtsy. Oh my god. I'm getting probably... ick not seeing you curtsy. <laughs> what? Mm. Yeah. Is that actually an, is that actually an ick to not see a girl curtsy? Yep. Yes. Really? 100 percent Yeah. She does. Thousand percent. Yeah. But like we, we need do the you curtsy. Go up, need the curtsy. Do you go up and bow to your wife? Of course not. My wife curtsies to me. Oh my god. Are you taking a piece of being for real? He's being for real. What I've the seen fuck? It. Why? I've seen it. I've, seen it. I've, seen it. I have no never way. heard of that before. What do you what do you mean you, why? I think it's just the Americans. Because I do told that. her to fucking do it. That's why. I'd what give do my you mean? What kind of question wall. is that? What the hell? I want you to do a fucking curtsy. And she goes, okay. <laughs> what's wrong with that? You're so hot. What the no, what's wrong with that? Like what's wrong with that? Why is that problematic? You think, like you think I'm gonna give you a curtsy. Not I don't know. Curtsy. I don't know. You're so hot, but it won't give me a curtsy. I don't know. I'm starting to feel like you're a little bit disingenuous. Yeah. You very might not be right. being completely honest with us. Not on, not being honest. I am being so honest that oh. very, being very dishonest. Oh, it's such bit. an ick that I'm talking to him through a TV screen, and he's not actually here. Yeah, but I mean, I'll be there in um, what, like a week and a half. Oh, I won't be here. So then yeah, I know. I if know, you were here, serious. I'd give you a curtsy. Fuck. Yeah, you can't do it through the screen? Fuck. Wait, what? No. No curtsy through the screen? No, like, not Like, I can still screen. see it even if I'm not there. You realize how technology works. I can still see it even if I'm not present in the room Sorry, with you, you, right? Do I have a move? Mm. I don't think I got a move. No, not through the screen. I'm fucked. If you were here in no, person, if no only. Move. Well, Brian's there in person. <clears throat> what? we give him a curtsy? Who? No. I'll take I'll take the curtsy. <laughs> I'll be the proxy. I'll be the proxy. Yeah, he'll for the take curtsy. he'll take the curtsy on my behalf. Oh, it's very kind of him. That's bullshit, bro. That's no, it has no. to be okay. you, yeah. Daddy. That seems reasonable. Do you do you want to do the makeup wipe thing for the beard? Did we get a champagne pop yet? No, why would you do? No, why yet. would you do a champagne pop? What is that? Is we, it? We have a bottle of champagne and we pop it. <laughs> Please do the champagne pop. It's my birthday right now. Not worthy enough, sorry. Oh, shit. How come he's not here today? Uh, Is he like how, come you're, how come you're not here today? <laughs> no, but like, where do you live? You know why I'm not in... there today? Because I'm here instead of there, that's why. Where's he? It, somewhere that's other than there. Not Australia. <laughs> definitely he's definitely not. American, though. He's probably from, like, you know, New York. Probably. Do I sound like I'm from fucking New York? Does he okay. sound like he's Definitely. from freaking New York? Do I sound like I'm from New York? Really? Yeah. yeah. Desert I think you gotta get your American accent. Yeah. We you saw do. bricks and rock in the solitaire. Lols. Oh shit. Uh, my bad. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I'm I'm just I'm just having a ball here. I switched it up to Minesweeper. <clears throat> Any fucking OGs? Look at this shit. Look at how far along I am. On this fucking minesweeper shit, boys. Fucking. What's a minesweeper? Huh? What's that? <laughs> it's before your well, day. Well, it starts. It starts with a mind, which is a thing you don't have, and then it moves over to a sweeper, a thing you've never done. So I can understand Damn, the confusion. Bro, shit. This is the roast. This is the roast section right now. Shit. Getting roasted. Y'all getting roasted. 
Joe Murphy donated By the way, TTS is 69. TTS is now 69. In the spirit of aviation, GD pilot seems legit to land a dead stick emergency landing in a two-person oh, aircraft. Shit. It seems suspect with the transactional amounts just to enjoy a pilot's company. Huh? Red flag. Okay. Red flag, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I should get back to this. Uh, I do want to go around the table. Give, since we've been talking about icks, you get one ick. What's your ick? Um, uh, <laughs> I want more time to think about this. What's your ick? Not laughing at my jokes. Uh, that gives you the ick if they don't laugh at the yeah, jokes? Yeah, like I'm like all of a sudden uninterested. Like I don't even want to see you. Have, have you ever had a guy who you really fucking liked but he would never, like he wouldn't laugh at your shit? No, I feel like that only happens with like, like once they like start mids. getting, huh? Like mids? No, oh, like okay. I feel like I'll get that ache like with like my exes, like, like randomly, like I'll make a super funny joke and they won't laugh. I'm like, you would have definitely laughed at this. Like, why the fuck are you not laughing? It's like icky, you know? Okay, so not laughing at your jokes gives you the ick. What about you? What about some mix or a ick? Excuse me. They think they're right all the time. So you wouldn't date Andrew? Just kidding. I'm kidding, Andrew. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> he is right all the time, though. That's the thing. So if they're right all the time, is so is your boyfriend like, when you guys, when you and your boyfriend argue, like, do you win mostly? Yeah. You win all the arguments. Of course. <laughs> okay. What about you, Amy? Bad manners. Bad manners. Okay. That's a good one. Uh, <laughs> Australia number one. Okay. Um, you the egg. <laughs> when they act rich on social media and then you come mm. back to a nice night out. Collecting that donated $69. Brian needs to oh. apologize to JoJo and get on his knees and propose. Also, Brian on full passive aggressive troll here. Handy simping heart. Be honest. So many examples of her baby tantrums and of aggressive. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna get on my knees for JoJo. And well, Don't and also that. Brian can spell passive aggressive, and you can't. I just, I just wanted to point that out. Roasted. Go ahead. Okay. What were you saying? Your ick or whatever. <laughs> when they act rich on social media, but then you come back to his after a nice night out that I paid for, and his car got taken away by debt collectors for finance. That sounds so specific. That's valid. <laughs> That's valid. A lot of these dudes be on like social media yeah, flexing, but they're. Apparently, Broke. he's an influencer, which he is. He's a comedian, but, like, he acts, he acts rich, and then, like, I'm the one paying for the date, which is fine. Like, I don't care. I don't care that I'm paying for the date, but, like... Oh, I, oh. You know what the crazy finesse is? Is these dudes will buy fake Instagram accounts, and mm -hmm. it'll be anywhere from, like, they'll give themselves either 50K, or some of these guys are really brash, and they'll go, like, 10 million with yeah. Like, you ever like seen a guy with like 10 million Instagram followers and you're like, you Google this guy, you can't find shit about him. Like these fucking I fake usually, dude, like, huh? Yeah, I have. I did it with this guy. He has 45,000. But um, oh my God. I like went through <laughs> and they're like, they look like bot followers. I, I didn't yeah. Google him. Like he is on the internet. But these dudes will do this finesse. They'll buy the blue check mark. They'll, oh, buy like 100k fake followers 300k some of them will buy these like 10 million follower accounts i'm like who are you wow you can't find any info about these dudes it's i like should do that for my own fans and then they'll dm a chick and the chick some chicks will be like naive to it and know that like this guy's actually a nobody but here's he posing with some fucking oh here's me in dubai blah 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 but he's a fucking nobody that's an it's ick. crazy major ick yeah i get that i'm not even i'm not gay but i get the ick <laughs> if i see a dude who's like Fake flexing, that gives me the ick. Yeah. It's crazy, that is son. An that shit's crazy. All right, what about you? What gives you the ick? Um, like men at the gym that are just like grunting, like really oh obnoxiously, like <laughs> loud. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Like they're lifting heavy? No. Like, <laughs> like the like whole they're gym curling. can they're like curling hear like 10 pound you dumbbells. Out. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do when I'm like curling tens. I'm like, fuck. Can I, can I ask you a quick, uh, quick follow up to you on the gym thing? Go ahead. Why do you think it is that all female gyms fail? Why do you think that women always seem to want to go to gyms where males are and they don't seem to want to ever go to all female gyms? Because the men are hot. 
Well, yeah. They motivate us. The men motivate yeah, us. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's not a question for you. I was just asking the gallery. All female gyms don't have enough actual equipment. Yeah, and they're a lot more expensive too. Yeah. yeah. Come on, slates. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, if if all that grunting is the ick and it's <laughs> annoying and this and that, why why is it that you think that the, somebody hasn't cornered the market? Like a man, couldn't a man open a gym that was just for women? And just make a killing so you didn't have to see all those icky fucking men making all those evil grunting sounds. Well, I think it would be better if a woman opened up a gym for women that want to work out. I think it would be... Yeah, but, but how come they always exists. fail when they do? Yeah. It exists. Sorry, what was that? Yeah, well, it's really weird Boys. because uh, when, when, when people open these all-female gyms, the all-female gyms fail. It's almost like the women want to work out where the men are. It's very strange to me. I mean, I've never been to an all-woman's gym, so... Yeah, that's interesting, too. You would think that if all of these icky men were around who were trying to check out all these women's asses and, uh, you know, um, kind of coom all over them, and you were just, you know, the ick, you got the ick from the grunts and all of this, you would think that tons of other women would have that same feeling and you would just make a killing by having an all-female gym, but they fail. I wonder why that is. Studios everywhere. Rip uh -oh. Friction yes. Rare donated $69. The biggest tick is Fat Boy Andrew with those huge bacon grease titties. <laughs> you call other simps but marry his single moms and oh take care of God. other men's kids. Oh. I'll smack her fat simp titties as up. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess this is the so early. This. All right. So. Lucky Step Bro donated $69. First live podcast I've been in for. Been watching the clips for several months now. Yeah, thank you. As someone that grew up with no dad figure, this podcast is very beneficial to you. young men. I got you. Brian man. and Andrew, 2024. You, first off, thank you for tuning in for the first time. Thank you for the TTS. Appreciate it. I will adopt you. Uh, you know, I'll adopt you. Um, uh, uh, Charlie Kirk left his water... So I'm gonna sell this on eBay. It has his DNA on it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, how much do you think I could get? I mean, a thousand dollars. I could probably e eBay yeah. this. Yeah, one hundred percent. No, I'm kidding. Charlie Kirk, I'd never do that to you. I never do that. eBay.com/slash whatever. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, ick. Okay. We the the gym groaning. Yeah. What if it, what if it's like justified though? Like they're fucking squatting like four hundred pounds. I mean, I've seen people do it without like being obnoxiously loud. I mean, I feel like. Sometimes people might do it for attention that they're lifting like super heavy. Word. What about you? Um, I get the ache when it's raining, and then a guy pulls out an umbrella. <laughs> what? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> what? It's just an ache. Like, why do you have an umbrella? Like, okay, <laughs> I prefer to like get drenched than have an umbrella on top of my head. Uh, <laughs> Same yeah, to be honest. You guys are yeah. alone on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's such an easy Like, you just imagine, just imagine, like, like why do you have an umbrella in the first then, place? And then it starts raining, and then they just pull out, like, an umbrella. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, they're prepared. No, like, I hate that. Yeah. I think it's such an eat. Maybe he dresses well. Okay, gives you, that gives, like, the, a guy having an umbrella. Yeah. Gives you the egg. <laughs> okay. I prefer to get rained on. What if he has got a raincoat? Oh my god, is that's that even worse. Worse of an egg. <laughs> that is so icky. Because <laughs> I'm yeah. like, he get, takes it off, gives it to you. I don't want to get all wet. Yeah. It's like gentlemanly. Yeah. I prefer to get wet than wear a wet. Gentlemanly. Um, okay. What about you? What gives you the egg? Wonky knees. Oh wonky? my god, Wait, yes. What? Yes, wonky? yes. <laughs> Please, or like wonky ankles. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What is that? Does that mean not in oh. at least? No, when, the, when, so like, when you, you walk in inward. Like, oh. I think you see seen those. Yeah, or like that's like a just disease. Out or I'm pretty like sure. That. It's yeah. called club foot. It's like an actual oh, disease really? that people do are I born have with. Knees? Oh, I know some know. people, but maybe knees. people just do have wonky. Do it. Okay, Let's sorry, sorry. Like, I mean, like, the hey, so, like, sorry, all the guys out there with wonky knees. She's not dating you. <laughs> Mellow underscore Nova donated $69. The redhead in the corner is so cute and so feminine. Aww. I'm recently single and need Aww. to work on myself, but I hope when I'm ready I can meet someone like you. Heart. Wow. All right. <laughs> okay, all right. I like how he's he's ready to work on himself. Yeah, do you have wonky knees though? <laughs> if you do, if you don't have if you have wonky knees, it's it's a deal breaker. 
Uh, ick. What gives you the ick? Either somebody that's not intelligent or somebody who is intelligent that refuses to use it. Oh, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Valid. Valid. Madison, what about you? What gives you the ick? Like the ex-husband. Probably like, I'm like chewing in the mic. <laughs> like someone that like laughs really hard at their jokes when it's like not funny. Oh. Mm. Kind of like, yeah. hold on. Like I do it <laughs> Yeah, and then like everyone's that? just silent. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's awkward. I guess. Um, yeah, I guess a mix of all that. No, no self awareness or uh, self perception. Mr. Bullet donated sixty nine dollars. Lady Sky Pilot, good evening. Please describe to us the general purpose of a qualitative EMC checklist with respect to any aircraft. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Go ahead. A qualitative EMC checklist? You're talking about like, like. Emergency, like management, oh, the engine failure, IMC conditions, EMC. I don't know what a qualitative EMC checklist is, and they don't exist for every type of aircraft. I would know because I've flown a few, and we didn't have something called that. We have lots of different checklists. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about IMC conditions? Are you talking about emergency descents, engine failures? I mean, there's checklists, you know, fire in the engine. There's checklists for lots of different stuff, but qualitative EMC checklist I have not heard of that that wouldn't be in every type of aircraft it may be in something you fly hmm. word okay yeah. uh, what about so go ahead with your oh, thing. somebody who to. doesn't keep their word for the most part that's that's pretty standard what about like something weird that a guy does though I know I'm like thinking about it because mine is like so basic and like someone mm -hmm. should always keep their word but right i mean that will just give me automatic failure well like somebody who smells really bad oh fair enough yeah yeah i don't know i was gonna say uneven tans but i guess that doesn't hurt me too much i mean what about the surfer tan surfer tan actually it might be hot it shows that you're like outside so mm -hmm. that's gonna be like Especially neckline like, uh, wrists and ankles a blue collar tan Blue, that's blue. nice. Like that, that's tan. nice. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Andrew, yeah. what gives you the egg? Just, you know, no. Yeah. A girl that eats um, Vegemite. Well, so <laughs> I, I would actually, there are women who come on these panels, and uh, some of them are quite intelligent, and they have these kind of great back and forth because they've thought through all of the issues that they're talking about. I mean, some of them have been, I mean, Basically, in every single seat you've been sitting in, all of you women, there's been a woman there arguing successfully for her worldview. And I have a lot of respect for that. I think it's great. And then there's Australian trolls. And they give me the fucking ick more than anything else. Desert and it's only because, in my defense, dollars. because they're so fucking Brian, skilled. That's it. In my damn. defense. Go to a hardware store and buy some clips to keep those damned boards in place. Two. With cues to the panel, alternate which ends to start. Sometimes we never hear from the left side table. That's fair. Thank you for the uh, recommendation. Yeah, we need to do something about the, <laughs> the boards and then. You use uh, command strips. By the way, the Australians in chat are saying they don't claim you. Oh, you know, shit. Did you, did you have a response to that? Are they from Perth, though? Wait, what? They were saying find what? a different penal colony. We don't claim them. I don't know what that means. Sa Sally, thank you for the gift at five. Go ahead. Huh? What? What? Um. Okay. The Australians don't claim y'all. I don't understand. Neither do I. It's complicated. They don't want y'all to be from their country. Oh, okay. Well, they don't claim you. That must fucking. I don't want to be from your country. <laughs> <laughs> I like my country. Same. Oh, here, well, let's sing the. Yeah, I, I, know, I like know you like your country. country check this out. Your country you guys are Kiwis country undercover, seem to not bro. Like you guys you. aren't That's Australian. Yes, here, are. you ready? Australians, or oh, let us re You got not gonna fucking oh, join me? I honestly oh. forgot about it. How do you not know your own fucking? How does the American <laughs> know your ash national? Okay. This is this is a disrespect to Australia. Okay, I'll sing, sing the I'll national sing, anthem. I'll I know sing. the American knows the Australian national anthem better than you. Okay, ready? Okay, let's One, go. two, three. <laughs> Australians, <laughs> oh, let us <laughs> rejoice, for we, we are young, young and free. free. <laughs> we are golden soil, and so 
Holy fuck, you guys are terrible. What the oh, fuck? My, um, ha, ha, dude, you guys are going to lose your fucking citizenship when you go back there. You can't even sing the... No, restart. No, no yeah. Uh, it is. Our home is Mellow underscore Nova donated $69. I've had two surgeries on my right knee, so yeah, I think I qualify for wonky knees. That's all right, though. I can shoot my shot at some time that doesn't mind. Smile W Andrew. W Crucible. W whatever. Thank you. Thank you, Mellow Nova. You need to come back, get your knees fixed, and then you'll be exciting Nova. Right now you're too mellow, you're mellow Nova, then you graduate to... Ready? Okay, let's sing the rest of this shit. Okay. I only know it to an extent. Okay. Our home is good by name. Okay, three, A two. land of bounty, nature's gifts, um, of beauty rich know? and Wait, rare. Yeah. Know, yeah. Australians, oh, let us rejoice. Advance, how do you Australia know fair. How do you know? Australians, you know let us rejoice. rejoice. Advance. Two does, two 13 and 14 year old boys rubbing one out to you online give you the... What the fuck? Bye. Uh, damn, Wait, Gracie, why you gotta bring it there, son? Andrew, Andrew's not going to work with me anymore now that I've sang the Australian National Anthem, though. That's for sure. He doesn't believe in Australia. He, like, he doesn't think it's real. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, Andrew, but I just know, I just know that I watch too much rugby. So. Oh, is that how you know? That's how I know. Oh, there you yeah, go. You guys, do you guys, like, fuck with the wallabies or what? Wallabies, the animal. The, the wallabies? Um, the, the national... I honestly, yeah. No, Damn, I, bro, how do I... I know more about Australia than y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know the Reds, the Queensland Reds? Like, um, side of origin. Quade Cooper? Do you guys know Quade Cooper? No. <laughs> uh, you don't know Quade Cooper? No. I mean, maybe if you shared a photo, I don't really. The only wait, I don't really follow footy or anything, or like soccer, if that's what it is. The only. Do you guys know about drop bears? Huh? Drop bears. Drop bears. Yeah. You don't know about you know about the drop bears. I think so. In Australia? No. The bears that drop out of the tree. Yeah. The koalas. Yeah, no, the the... no, 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 not koalas. Drop bears. I've never heard of that. You don't know about drop bears? No. I swear we don't even have drop bears. You don't know about drop bears? We have koalas. What part of Australia are you guys from again? It's Gold Coast. Gold Coast? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Something's weird. Some, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you guys live in like um, uh, Christchurch, New Zealand. Cut the f cut the act. Be be honest. You guys are from are Kiwis, right? No. No. You guys are fucking Kiwis, Look, aren't you? No. You're fucking Kiwis. Wow. You you put on a good accent, but I I think you guys are accent. lying. Your your <laughs> guys accent. are you guys are Kiwis, okay? We're not Kiwis. I'll admit that. No, but I was talking to a Kiwi. So, well, hard. tell us about the drop bears. What, what's the yeah, deal with what's the drop, drop bears? bears? Uh, it's a bear that drops from a tree and the, attacks you. In Australia, you and eats the bears you. will drop out of the tree and it like, eats you. drop on I've you. I've genuinely yeah. never And then it will try and tackle you to the floor. It'll tackle you. And feed you veggie right. <laughs> uh, have you have you ever had to deal with a drop bear? Yeah. Do they come out of the trees at you? Yeah, and it landed on my back and I fell to the floor and it, it fed me veggie right. It landed on her back. Sounds right. Yeah. You should go to Australia so you can have a drop there experience. Australia, You'd mate. love it. Foster's Australia. Keep trying to get me to go to Australia. What's the deal with that? Calm Australia, down. Foster, Foster, <laughs> Foster's Australia. Uh, good time. You can visit the Opera House. Moving on. So, Leah, you also said that... Uh, <laughs> hold on. Let me see my notes here. Uh, you said that the worst first date I went on, the guy spent the whole time telling me about his friend who had passed away. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> and then he hit on the... Oh, he ignored the waitress. Yeah. Awkward. So it was like a two-hour-long first date. Yeah. And the whole time he just talked to me about his friend that had passed away like two or three years beforehand. And he just seemed like he really needed to like vent about what he was feeling. Mm -hmm. So he asked me almost no questions. I talked almost none. It was super awkward because like the waitress came over and was like, "Hey, can I get y'all drinks and like get your order and stuff like that?" And he just talked the entire time and like That's after like three minutes ick. of standing there, she was just like, "Okay." Gives me, oh. That gives me the ick. <laughs> so we he, ordered no food or anything. We just sat oh. at like, this table for two hours on like a Saturday night. Why didn't weird. you leave? He felt like I felt like he needed to just talk about. That's this, really nice so. of you. That's like community service. It's charity work. <laughs> That's good. Charity. I want to do. I do want to go back to the whole you dating a guy who did meth. Oh yeah. Thing. Um, uh, so you guys were on again, off again for a hundred, over a hundred times. Yeah. Probably. And he did math. Like, 
you got you must have seen some crazy shit, right? Yeah, that's why I, in my message I said there's a lot of stuff that I think is probably TOS that we can't talk about. Did did he ever, like, would he? Were you guys hooking up? No. You guys weren't having carnal knowledge. No. Oh, are you so, like waiting till marriage, or I'm confused? Uh, Into the mic. Yes. Oh wait, are, so are you, uh, are you a virgin? Negative underscore 69 donated $69. Brian, we need more respect for the panelists. We also need to fix the FING posters on the windows or put the uniform That's girls right. in front of each window. Was Bazooka Stan girl thick AF? Who's Bazooka Stan girl? Wait, who's. Oh, you. You're. Who's. Who's Bazooka Stan? That's a good one. Sans off liberty donated $69. Can he slide into the Respect to standing no, ladies. Okay. Any dating boundaries for the panel? My standards, no kissing for three dates. No sex for at least a year. First few dates very short. Hmm. No oversharing. W. Andrew. W. B. Yo, Sons of Liberty. Thank you, man. Really appreciate your uh, support there. Appreciate it. I'm pretty sure if I have anything... I'm just going to double check if I got through all my notes. And then we'll do like a roast session. And then we'll do couple things and then we'll wrap up Some here pretty soon been a roast session. <laughs> that is true some of these have definitely been roast guys you need to roast madison and you need to roast me i have i need some roast roast me a little bit it's been too much on you know the panel here i don't have you been roasted you didn't get a roast i'm surprised you sure you guys should roast her do you, do you have a sternum Actually, tattoo really do, you, do you have a sternum tattoo yeah yeah roast her on the sternum do you have this piercing the what's called the septum yes sir Ro 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 roast her on the sternum and the septum Sternum tattoo, septum piercing. You can roast her. Right? You want to be roasted? I never said that, but I mean, I could I honestly could care honest. less what insult you have to say about any oh. of us right David here. David Tuzekiak donated $69. Anyone else notice the whatever TTS banner what looks like a phallic symbol in Andrew's mouth? Uh, Are two genders? No. Her maths have diff chromosomes. If having boobs qualifies as femme, Brian late bloomer. <laughs> Look, bro, I got a dad bod. I, I, I gained some weight. I got to lose a bit of weight, bro. It's, it's in the works. Austrian's trumpet slayer donated $69. Holy schnitzel. Australia is no real country. It's only an island full of two-headed inbreeds. <laughs> also, damn. Brian's dumpy gives me the ick. <laughs> Australia's temper or the universo. See, I get the nasty comment. I get the comments, truck. too, about my... My dumpy is what did they call it? Dump truck. I have a dumpy. Dump truck. Is that a big Australia? Well, well played to the panel and also to Hector. And this shot is for all of you. It was a lot of fun. This fine. Not that folder donated sixty nine dollars. The Butterface <laughs> twins are my biggest tick. Oh, the Red shit. Hamburglar has a sweet personality, and I hope she finds a good guy. Maddie makes me go from six to midnight. Brian and Andrew, cheers for the great streams. Yo, that means six thank to you. Midnight. Mm. Six. <laughs> to yeah. I do want to. He's bowing for you. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe he's just bowing. He's bowing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's he's say that. <laughs> <laughs> Something's bowing. Madison, that piece of pizza is bigger than you. It's a giant for pizza. For everyone that thinks my head is big, this pizza is almost as big as my head. Do people say you have a big head? Yes, your fans. <laughs> oh, shit, okay. You remember how they used to always make fun of me? I mean, to be fair, it's like a Costco pizza, so I feel like it's not a really fair comparison. Anyways, you know, it's like not... Costco pizza is a good size. If we were like using, like, size. Rusties or, like, Domino's or, you know. With going around the table... Or wait, really quick before you leave, or have to get up. Going around the table on this. Have you ever had a roster? No. So you never? No. Have you ever had a roster? Stupid. I don't run a football team. No, like a dating roster and all. Like I get that. that. No. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Um, like when I was in high school and I used to like text guys all the time. Yeah, I had a little roster before I eventually found a yeah. boyfriend. How big was the roster? Probably like I don't know, like five guys I was texting, but like it was nothing five sexual, guys. nothing, you know, just like dating perspectives. But now I find that stupid. Ever had a roster? No, I've never had a roster. Okay. Ever had a roster? Well, you. I don't know what that means exactly. Oh, uh, like dating multiple guys, kind of. Like yeah. a rotating guy. I date two right now, so I guess it's a small roster. Have you ever had a bigger roster? <laughs> no, it's yeah. I Always been but two maybe, or less. There's never say never. Maybe that's what I'll do. All right. 
Um, Brisbane over here, tell us. <laughs> I'm not from Brisbane. Oh, whoops, my bad. Gold Coast. Anyway, um, yes, I've had a roster, and I still have a roster. I like my roster, <laughs> but it's not always the same. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Have you ever had a roster? No. Come on, you got, I, I feel like you got Riz. Me? Yeah, like, you got mad Riz. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Thank you, sir. Depends on the person. <laughs> but no. No mad riz? No mad riz. Okay. Uh, have you ever had a roster? Yeah, I always have a roster. I've got one right now. How? And, <laughs> and it rotates like every day. So like I'll get rid of one guy and then the next and then the next one will come and then it just like fucks off like that. And then the new one comes and that one goes away, then that one comes. <laughs> Wait, so how big is the roster? I think I have like 50 guys. <laughs> they all come and go. Yeah. I'm calling cap on this. Sometimes we share. You got a roster? Yeah, Wait, did you say share. you have a roster? Yeah. Oh, how big's your roster? We, we share a roster. Sometimes. You share your roster? We share yeah, like sometimes. It <laughs> 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 yeah, I like my roster. It's pretty good. You guys switch players? Yeah. <laughs> Trade in? <laughs> that where did come from? Yeah, that's so much. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Ethan Sonic donated seventy dollars. Benny here. Can we get the yeah, butterface Aussie girls to kiss? Also, Andrew, your Anik. Is that TOS? I don't uh, think so. I don't. Th- I don't know if I'll see it. <laughs> 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 Andrew definitely oh does. That's God. why he's saying no. Wait, so you guys share a roster and the roster is like 50 deep? N- no, like we don't share all the time, but sometimes. Okay, some, some of them you share. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so like how many dudes currently are you like seeing actively? Um, actively, probably. Oh, actively at the moment, probably around. I, I don't know. I actually lost count. Maybe 30 to 40. I can't really keep up with them. Oh my god, you've never heard that before, right? And like how many are you hooking up with? Um play about These two oh, aren't high value men donated sixty-nine dollars. You girls like skateboarders? They are guaranteed broke high value men. Um no I don't Andrew doesn't have any he's no, got no, no no this isn't the, hang on, this isn't true. So I was I was just just like two days ago on Tim Pool's show, and he has a massive indoor skate park, and that guy can fucking skate, and that dude is definitely not broke. <coughs> just pointing that out. Just, just pointing it out. Uh, yeah. You were about to say, like, how many people are on the... Um, right now on the roster, I'd say about maybe 25 that I'm seeing. Like hooking up with? Yeah. Okay. And what about you? Probably like 30... That you're hooking up Yeah, with. we try to, like, keep, like, the same number so we can, like, keep count. And sometimes, like, when a guy's finished with me, they'll, like, go to her and, like, vice versa. Like, it's, it's pretty sick. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Negative <laughs> underscore 69 donated $69. He is a roast for the black dress. Make her tell funny jokes so we can all laugh. You got this, boo. Okay. Do you guys want, like, a really... No, actually, it's going to be so bad. Okay. Never mind. You got, you got this. Do you guys want like a really really corny one? Cause like I don't really know any other like funny jokes. You got like, this. Like, really just off the top. We believe in you. Brian oh, needs better. Okay. Cox donated sixty nine dollars. Brian, this is Cox customer service. We apologize for your internet issues. May we recommend you get a bigger Cox to handle all of your needs? Also, Maddie is always a ten. Can't roast her legit. Frontier, please. You guys are laying fiber in Santa Barbara. Please. Exciting underscore Nova donated $69. You got through oh, to me, Brian. Oh. I'm exciting Nova oh, now. Oh, shit. Pilot, you're full of shit. Oh, Andrew shit. has been so fair to you. Very You fair. just can't stand having anything questioned about your degeneracy. Do you want to respond to that? It's an opinion. That's right. Exciting Nova. It is an opinion. Good job on the upgrade there with the name, bro. I need... You know what, though? That's technically true. It's an opinion. Hmm. Exciting Nova. I need you to update, upgrade to, like, Sublime Nova, okay? Exciting is not going to fucking cut it anymore. I need Sublime Nova, okay? Post-haste. Anyways. (laughs) 
where were we? Oh, your harem of fucking 30 <laughs> dudes. Let's talk about it. <laughs> All right, so you got, you got how many again? You're, you're Wait, sleeping with how many? Um, right now, like... Yeah, like 30. Th 30 and then... Wait, 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 wait. You're sleeping with 30? You didn't hear that part? Yeah. I just, well, I just want to confirm. <clears throat> yes. You're sleeping with 30? Yes, and sometimes, that, sometimes, like, he'll be in my room first, and then he'll go jump into Emo's. Oh, you're so full of shit. You've been trolling all night. You're Are full you of serious? fucking dog shit. Okay, believe what you you're want. You're full of shit. Shut up. You're full of believe shit. Believe what you want. I'm just a horny girl. Yes. Yeah, you're same. full of... Fucking shit is I'm, what you are. Totally I'm, full of you're shit. Telling you're not me sleeping that with 30. So you're hot. trying to do the most provocative thing you could you're do. You're so full hot. Of crap. Nobody believes you. You're so hot. Yes. That that's so hot. I can't believe he doesn't believe on. <laughs> you're a fucking liar! You're a fucking liar! <laughs> <laughs> Next person who sends in a TTS triggers a miss we're guys, the missile has we're sending the missiles, boys. We're gonna do an air strike. You do you did fly any military aircraft? Never. Never. Okay. Well, we're guys. We're we're gonna do an airstrike. Next TTS will trigger the airstrike. Okay. Because that's crazy. So you guys like. Well, hang on. I'm sleeping with 60 women. Did you know that? That's, 60. That's that's, that's, that's hot. crazy. Hot. Clip it up. Isn't that isn't that awesome? That's <laughs> hot. Ship it and clip yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Isn't it isn't it hot? It turns yeah. Me on so much. Yeah. It's so it's so hot. It's drop bear hot. Right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Vegemite sandwich. It's right. It's Vegemite sandwich. That's hot, so huh? attractive. Yeah, it's so attractive. I agree. It only started since like about five months ago. Yeah. So like, if we were to ask you to be honest again, I know that that's in the realm of impossibility for you. How many actual guys are you dating at the same time? I'm not dating with? any like, of them. They yeah. all come no, and they're go. Just, they're just having I literally, It's literally just catch and release. Like, yeah. They all go. I don't know. These Aussies go, go hard in the paint. Is that the saying? Hard in the paint? Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. That's the first time I ever used that. <laughs> I was kind of like hesitant, you know? I was like, hold on. Were, there was a little bit of second guessing. That's, uh, yeah. Joe Murphy donated $69. Right, Joe, you trigger the missiles. The Aussie twins should take some advice from the peers on the panel. <laughs> if you keep degrading your value with of, you both should consider marriage to the Island oh Boys in you FL. Hopefully boys? that works. That I love Island yeah. Boys. Yeah, you guys. Here we go. I'm I love Island it. Boys. That's ship it. My light skin then. <laughs> Fucking missile it. Missiled. Missiles sent. Missiles fucking Wait, sent. Wait, who boys. sent them? Like the subscription? The, the Australian Air Force did. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're no. like, we can't have these fucking chicks on this American <laughs> podcast. The Aussies came in with their um, like World War II era, because I mean, you know, it's Australia. World War II era jets. Boom, drop that shit. Yeah. I can also drop this. Hold on. Oh, uh, is it you that's doing that? Oh. No, no hang on, hang on. We'll drop the ultimate here. Let's just go around real quick. Oh, boy. If there is a woman who is sleeping with 30 men, um, not at the same time, but is sleeping with all of them within intervals, very close, back to back to back, on a rotation, it's not would you consider that woman to be a slut going around the panel? Yes. I'm just yes. curious. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm a slut. slut. Yeah, 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 no, I'm, I'm asking I'm an Australian not you, slut. But, Wait, but other people who aren't you. She's a slut so, and so she going around knows the panel. it. That's so me. Yeah, so going around yeah. the panel, would you consider that to be slutty behavior? Yeah, an Australian yeah. slut. Yeah, not you, though. Yeah. Back to the rest of the panel who's not you. Would you consider that slutty behavior? Also, we never got your joke. Oh. Yeah, we, got, we need the yeah, joke. Yeah, we need the joke, too. <laughs> Now, I, I really wanted to answer this question. Yeah, answer this first. Answer what? Oh, there you go. So they if, said, if there's a woman who's sleeping with 30 men... Yeah. Does that make her... At various intervals, uh, but she's dating all of them simultaneously. She's sleeping with one Tuesday, one Wednesday, maybe three Thursday, we maybe four like Friday. Three... Would that be... Wait, stop you... talking. Would that be considered slutty behavior? Are you all going, yes. around, going around. Oh, going around. I'm just curious. Okay. Yeah, that would make her a bopper. That's what we a call bop. What's that? A bop. A bop. How, do they, how do they say that in Russian? Oh, well. How, how do you say bop in Russian? I could say slut in Russian. Yeah, yeah sure, okay. Shluha. Shluha. Yeah, would, would, they be, would they be a shuha? Shluha. Shluha. Yeah, yeah whatever. Bruha, shuha, shuha, wuha. Would they be that thing? I'm Russian too. 
First time saw this pod thought Maddie was a lady boy. Only oh, when she extends shit. her arms and they invert no she's lady. Did a dingo eat the Aussie's brainies? <laughs> Skyrockets in flight. Oh, okay, I'll just send it again, just you know, whatever. It could be. Alright, thank you. Uh, well no no no. That was that was the start of a song, right? You, you know that, right? Scott She likes the the No green no no spray. the song. Afternoon Delight? You don't know Afternoon Delight? Afternoon Delight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that that's the lyrics to the song. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, there's a there's they talk about lady boys in the song? No, 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 no. Later. Later. Oh. Later in the in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so Austrian trumpet slayer donated sixty nine dollars. <laughs> These yeah. twin inbreeds from Noobs will make yeah. wanna smack my pee pee on the boardwalk until it bleeds. <laughs> Rather a dead pee pee than pee pee something oh, like that down. <laughs> Austrian Sortons. Austrian Strumpet Slayer. I love that. I'm gonna pretend like you didn't just make my dick go soft. Okay. <laughs> what the? My favorite <laughs> Wait, what was your favorite one? That was. The, the guy that's, okay. Wait, we need a joke. Let's hear a joke. Or do we? Do, are we doing the strumpet? The slur? Well, I want. I want to know. I want to know if it's considered um, skankish behavior. Show of hands. Show show of hands. Doing thirty different men. Just curious. Yeah. Show of hands. Yeah. Okay. That's what I aim for, guys. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, (laughs) when you're not aiming at trolls. Strumpets. Yeah. Strumpets. Very, very poorly done trolling. By the way, if I was in your seat, just to show you that a man could do everything better, if I was trolling in your position, I could do it way better. He could do way better. Just letting you know, I could do it way better. He could do do better. I'd be 10 times the troll that you would be. (laughs) Andrew, do you think you'd be more successful on OnlyFans than them? Like if you had one? Yes. (laughs) Boom. Roasted. (laughs) I reckon After you all, according to her, I'm the hottest guy who's ever lived. You yeah, are, you are. You are, you you are yeah. so hot. <laughs> did we Your get, attitude wait, makes you even more up. hotter. Nick, did we get any dating? Didn't some of the girls send screenshots of dating apps? Yeah, I did. Oh. I sent them. Um, Emmy dot Grace. Okay. I didn't even do that. Yeah. Uh-huh. My, my my Tinder dating accounts and like my promote, like, like my. Own, oh right, so. you. So you're on dating apps just to get more. Like simps or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Add them to the... Roster. But mine all got banned. Because, <laughs> yeah. So you just use the... You use the dating apps to find men? Yeah. To, to spend subscribe. money on your OF? Yeah. That's smart. So okay. All right. No, fair enough. All right. Not fair enough, mm-hmm. I guess. But sure. Okay, it so... It is fair. Word? I mean, it's only up there just looking for friends or something like that. Ooh. Okay. It's not like I have that under relationship status. All right. That's fair. It's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. Imogen. Mm-hmm. Imogen. Oh, no, that was shot at just <laughs> And my name's Imogen. Imogen. Oh, you're me, sh- shy. But you can just call me Imi if you can't pronounce it right. That's okay. Imi? Yeah. Okay. I have a question. Would you rather be the king's mistress or a peasant's wife? Go ahead. Why are you looking at me that way? King's Stop mistress. Stop flirting with me. What? King's mistress. King's mistress? Yes. Okay. Also King's mistress. Yeah, King's mistress. Same. Um, um, peasant's wife. What the? This <laughs> girl's just, uh, she's like, uh, what's it called? What's it called when you're... Yeah, the contrarian. 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 Thank you. King's mistress. King's mistress. Peasant's wife. Oh. King's mistress. <laughs> peasant's wife. Okay, so um, so just real quick, just as a very fast follow-up uh, with a raise of hands, if it was considered by almost all women on planet Earth to be immoral, to be the king's mistress rather than the peasant's wife, who would change their answer with a raise of hands? What are the consequences? It's just The immoral? only consequence is social shame. You get judged by other women. Oh, I That's think, it. Yeah, I mean... That comes with Who would change their answer? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna, gonna, gonna get judged. Nobody thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. Praised. <laughs> but you would like at least be illegal. taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. So if I'm going to jail, then yeah. No, no, okay. No, hang no. on. Hang on. Fair I enough. Really fair enough. Last follow up to this: um, If you are with a man, 
specifically because they are powerful and rich, but you're not interested in them for any other reason than just their wealth and their power. Are you a prostitute? Raise a hand. Wait, what? Nobody? Oh, wait, no, I'm not no, a... Wait, like is... Wait, no, that's transactional. Mm -hmm. being it, it sure sounds transactional, but isn't money, the though. king's mistress just transactional? Didn't money. all of you just basically call yourselves prostitutes? No, you <laughs> no, no, I'm saying being a prostitute is transactional. What you just said wasn't transactional. That's just power and money. Okay. It sounds transactional. It sounds like you just want thing. Does that mean... And so you're willing to, based on want thing, to sleep with person to get thing. That sounds very transactional. Does that mean men who want a submissive woman are transactional in nature? No, of course Say, not. In, in essence, all relationships are transactional. Right. No, not in yeah, essence, so all relationships are transactional. For... No, you, we can assume for a moment, for instance, if you loved the peasant and he became rich, you would still love the peasant, correct? Sure. So then what's the transaction? Yeah, you got nothing. GMD Jim you basically all just called yourselves dollars. prostitutes. Yeah. Australia it's is not a real country. No real country declares war on and sends its military after birds. No, just that. lose Google to the that. birds. W E Muse, you should uh, run that fake war. country. E Muse is scary. Uh, yeah. Google that, Nick. Find, find the Wikipedia. It was the Great Emu War, Australia or some shit. Weren't there two of them? Yeah. I, were there two? Were there two? Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, it's midnight. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Wait, what? Is that real? We'll do, we'll do a half off champagne pop if anybody wants. Please. 500. Birthday. 500 for her, <laughs> since she's the birthday girl. Half off champagne pop. All right, we got to do the half off champagne pop. I will get some vodka ready, Let's go. a shot Whoa. ready. I can't wait to do this thing. 30 underscore 420 donated $69. Happy birthday, Julie. I hope any of you who partake will have a shot with her. Brian, your OG prank videos inspired a lot of confidence with me back in the day Thank to you, go Brian. out and talk to PPA. Nice. Twitch IRL when? Soon. Very soon. I got the IRL backpack. We're perhaps going to do a little testing this coming week. <laughs> Thank you, man. Really appreciate Mello it. Melonova donated $69. I said sublime. I have Nova. ascended into Nirvana. I am now sublime. It Australians says Mello. Australians are so deluded. I want Andrew to hit pilot at full force. Wow. Nirvana wow. feels like logic and knowledge. I'm ascending to heaven. Goodbye, all. <laughs> I was nothing but a gentleman. She was unnecessarily combative. I didn't do, I didn't do nothing. Word. By the way, I'm changing the TTS for the next three TTSs to a French voice. So it's going to come in with like a French accent. Hold on, boys. One sec. Uh, where is it, boys? Sorry. Oh my, what the, where, where is it? Finish? Who did we do? We're doing Remy. Okay, Remy. It's going to come. The next three are coming in French. So if any of you want to, you know, write in French, it'll actually speak French. So you can do it in French. Pull up the emu war. Fuck it. Pull up the emu war. <laughs> ladies, would you, first off, ladies, scroll down a bit so we can see that photo. P actually, pull that shit up. Pull the shit up, it? Nick. No, just, just, just uh, click on that shit. Click, uh, click, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies, would you date this guy? 100%. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a catch. 100%. He's a babe, right? What is going on? Like, you imagine you're swiping on Bumble, right? And you see yeah. this dude. Like, you would definitely, like, smash, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. know facial hair. <laughs> Yeah, like this guy's a fucking legend. Yeah. I would purchase a bumble. X, X out of this. Let's see the details. Super light. Wait, let, look at the belligerents. Scroll down. Put us on the other side, Nick. Put us on the other side. Very important stuff here. Yeah, so this is no, uh, it lasted over a month. D d d December 2 to 10th of December, 1932. Um, outcome 900, uh, 986 emus confirmed. Confirm kills. Minimal impact on the overall. Min, had no impact on the overall emu population. And they had the Australian army. It was led by Major Gwynneed Purvey's Win. How many fucking names does this guy have, bro? Win Aubrey Meredith of the Royal Australian Art Artillery. This was like a really serious war, boys. And I'm just saying, like, um, fallow caused by emus. Look at that. What I don't know what fallow is. Scroll down, bro. Scroll down. 
Damn, this is, this has a Wikipedia article. Where's my Wikipedia? What the fuck? That's crazy. That's cra- okay. Anyways, cool. Um, would you would you date a guy who participated in like an emu kill uh, culling? Excuse me. Like they cull they culled the population of the emus. Would you like date a guy who did that? I mean, like well, he, why did they do that? Because of like the he crops? has PTSD from like the emu war. Because <laughs> oh, it was I, fun. It was fun. It was for, just, just, he, just, he just called them because it was hilarious. Kids? The culling oh, of huh. the emus. I mean, honestly, if he doesn't go 50-50 on the first date, sure, why not? Hmm. Okay. Good talk. Fuck those emus. Fuck you know? the emus, bro. Those bastards. Those bastards. A uh, couple questions, then we're going to do the rest session, then we're going to wrap up. Who's the primary victim of war, men or women? Humanity. That's beautiful. <laughs> Humanity, man. <laughs> Peace. Okay. <laughs> who's the, hang on. Who's the primary victim of Solstice? specific hypotheticals, yeah, men or women? Or I thought it was, it was the 21st. Or the day before. Solstice is the 21st. Hang on. I want to ask this. Yeah. Who's the primary victim of hypotheticals that are specific, men or women? Damn, that's deep. That's all. Austrian Trumpis, Leye Donatel, 69 dollars. 69. French guns are the best. Never use them on me, drop trons. Hashtag fuck the Maginot. Fuck the Maginot. Eh bien, c'est pas, c'est pas, c'est pas gentil ça. Tu dois vraiment, euh, tu dois vraiment euh, dire, euh, euh, c'est pas, c'est pas gentil. Quoi? Les Français, les, les, uh, les pis, how do you, how do you say gun? Baguette, excuse me. <laughs> That's fucking racist, bro. I'm just kidding. H X C D X 4 Donated 69 dollars. Ah merci beaucoup. Let's go aussi et Grain Maggot some cold pizza. Bring the three yappé in the back close to a mic. Wait, we're gonna do a pizza party <laughs> too. We're gonna do a pizza party. We're gonna pull out, pull up the pizza. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Maddie, Maddie, listen, listen. Brian can't stop this. What? Don't let him have pizza. Make them want it, but don't give him any of the pizza. The okay. girls. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Tease I don't him. eat pork anyway. What the hell is wrong with pork? No pork on my fork. Are you vegetarian? No, I just don't eat pork. Pork oh. is actually the closest, has the closest relation to human, um, oh. to humans, and their brain is very similar. Do you similar. eat other kinds of meat? No, yes. well, 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 first of all, that's not true. That is, you um, can Google it. No, it's not. Dolphins yes, are closer, actually. Well, we don't consume to, dolphins. When it comes to do we make dolphin bacon? No, we bacon? do consume no. dolphins. I don't know if you've yeah. ever eaten tuna, <laughs> but there's usually plenty of dolphin in tuna, so I don't know what you're talking about. Shit. Okay. Well, I don't eat tuna either, Rip so. But you know, well, do you eat any meat? I do, yeah. Yeah, so you don't have any moral objection to meat? No, just pigs. So then what the hell is wrong with me going out, blasting a pig in the face, and then eating its Damn. face? What's 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 Damn. the problem there? Well, you're American, Shit, so you can do anything you want to do. Yeah, I know, but what's the actual you problem? I just told you what the problem was. The no, I, I'm not really sure close. you did. What is the actual problem? I just told you that um, anatomically, they have the closest relation to humans. That's See, anatomically, I it's not anatomically. I don't I th- know what I think that I said means. Anatomically. anatomically. Where's the Anatola? Ana- Anatomic? 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 Huh? Anatomic? Yeah. Animatronic. Anatomically, yeah. <laughs> Which I think that's what you meant was anatomic. Okay, I thought I said that, but if you didn't hear that, then yeah. So fine. you said antatomic. Andrew has a I... He He struggles with... It's okay. He's you shot too many bacon? <laughs> pew, pew. I mean, he, pigs he didn't are wear really his dirty. Ear, hearing protection, yeah. so you got to speak clearly when... What the fuck? Anyway, go ahead. I'm just wondering what the moral objection is. What's... Yeah. Yeah, anatomically, they're the closest to humans. So, for how, that reason. How do we well, get you mean, you mean because they're omnivores? The way that their brains are. No, the way that their brains are not the closest. Oh, did you know humans. cannibals, um, people who eat people, obviously, when they you, try... Hang on, hang on, I just want, hang on, back up for a second. Oh, shit. Are you serious. saying that pigs are closer... As far as the brain goes, then like gorillas or apes? I had read that somewhere. Transformative wait, A wait. makeover donated $100. Is it problematic, especially for older individuals on the panel, to bringing someone home to perform 3D slash gun maintenance for a cosplay pilot event while caring for pets slash kids slash teen whom are home? Hang on, hang on, Brian. I, I, I got to Go finish ahead. this. Go I, I, I Go. got to know. 
Are you saying you think that pigs are closer to Sorry. human beings to get than apes and monkeys? I might be wrong on that. Word. Okay, so then, so then I would say that if you were to eat a monkey, that would be a lot closer to a human than a pig, right? Damn, that might be true. Deep. Yeah, so I think you're just talking about the digestive system, not the brain, right? I think I'm talking about the brain. You know what gets me? I might be you think that a pig, hang on. I just want to make sure I got this clear then. You think a pig's brain is closer to a human's than a great ape's brain? Um, in that comparison, I might be incorrect, but I think a pig's yeah. brain is closer than, let's say, a chicken. Do you think lamb. that we evolved from, like, I don't know, pigs? Or do you think that we, no. if you look at the evolution, would you say it's more of an ape like creature? Yeah, we definitely derived from. Wait, can we wrap this wrap it up? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We're almost okay. done. We definitely came we hang on. We, we definitely came from what type of creature? That's what, what I tell type? my ex girlfriend. We definitely came from what type? Most likely an ape. <laughs> yeah, so then <laughs> an ape would be closer to a human than a pig, right? Sure. Okay, great. All right. I just wanted to to but we don't eat that. apes. Relax, so. guys. <laughs> No, no, no. We do eat apes. I don't. Do? I don't know where you got the idea that people don't eat monkeys and apes, but they most certainly do. I don't, I don't know where you got the idea that they don't, but they most certainly do do that. Yeah. I think she's talking about like the texture, <laughs> not yeah, yeah. necessarily. What, what, is, what the fuck? What do you mean the texture? What like are you talking you, about? Like when you the eat the texture, power. the texture of a monkey. People eat monkeys. No, and they I, eat pigs. I know. They eat everything. But like yeah, evolutionary gross. wise, we're closely related to like apes but she's saying uh -huh. like pigs wait i know where this conversation like, is pigs going pigs are like would you guys fuck an alien <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what? <laughs> like a, a uh, like an alien i wouldn't say no to that i know where you're going with this andrew <laughs> would you guys fuck an alien go ahead actually i'm starting with maddie go ahead maddie uh if it like looked, a hot alien. If he looked like my boyfriend, yes. <laughs> like Avatar. <laughs> on some Avatar. I would you fuck an Avatar? Like Avatar? Have you seen Avatar? No, James I would Cameron? Not. Yeah, Highest no. grossing movie ever. Would you fuck an Avatar? <laughs> oh, yeah. Maddie? No. no. You're, so, would you, assuming you were single, would you If I were single, I would. <laughs> You'd smash it. Smash, I mean, smash an alien? Yeah. As long okay. as the knees weren't wonky. <laughs> the alien can't have wonky knees, good to know. Yeah, I'd fuck it. You'd, you'd fuck it? Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Would you smash an alien? No. Yeah. Avatar, not even an avatar alien? No. Um, yeah, I'd smash the alien. She'd smash it? And then smash its head against the wall. <laughs> Damn, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> hang on, hang on, Brian, Brian, what about seven of nine? Would you, would you, would you do seven of nine, Brian? Wait, seven of nine? Yeah. Has Deep Space Nine, you don't know who Seven of Nine is from Deep Space Nine? You're talking about aliens and shit? Andrew, I know your favorite fucking movie <laughs> is Starship Troopers, right? Would you this fuck... This is Star Trek, this is Star Trek. Star Trek, get out of here. Star Trek, Star Andrew, what the fuck? You, don't, you, you don't have... know Seven of Nine? Andrew, would you have carnal, to save the human species, would you have carnal knowledge with that final thing, the, <laughs> the, final, the final alien that... With the, with the, like, with the vagina mouth? Yeah, would you have carnal knowledge? What? To save I humanity. Would not. I think I think humanity's going extinct. Service guarantees <laughs> yeah. citizenship, it, it, Andrew. Yeah, that's right. But but Service. hang on. So I answered your hang on, Brian, I answered your question. I answered your question. Yeah. Brian, would you fuck a Vulcan? Oh uh, sorry. Would you what? have lo would you have logical sex with a Vulcan? With a boat? <laughs> with a Vulcan. A Vulcan. Oh. A Vulcan? a Vulcan, yeah, yeah. Live long and prosper, that kind of thing. Would you have logical sex with a Vulcan, who Brian? Who the fuck is that? Yeah, look, guy? they got it. They got it. Look, look right behind they you. They did the, the Vulcan picture. thing. Look, they're doing it. Is it a female? You... Is it a female? Yeah, it's a Vulcan? female. It's a female Vulcan, yeah. Just just cause? Like just cause? Yeah, just cause. Yeah, yeah sure, would you have not? logical? Sign me would up. you have the most logical sex ever with a Vulcan? Brian? Absolutely. What is Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, that's fair. Absolutely. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Okay, I don't know where we were. Uh, it's, you... well, I mean, it's illogical to do anything but that. Amy, honestly. what's up? Rich alien, do you fuck the rich alien? <laughs> Huge, oh, big, lots of money. Biggest not if he's a billionaire. Biggest no, planet. Billionaire, trillionaire, alien. Very do good impression, him? sir, but no. <laughs> no. Do, uh, you find out your boyfriend's an alien, do you continue having oh, carnal yeah. knowledge oh. with your boyfriend? Oh. Like he opens up, <laughs> here and it's like a little you know what I mean but like he still kind of looks like him 
But it's my boyfriend? <laughs> but it's your boyfriend. Then yeah. But it's also an alien. If it's my boyfriend, then yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right, what about you? Um, maybe like once or twice. Just once or twice? Like you'd hit it and quit it? <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, you shouldn't do that with an alien. Like you can't hit it and quit it with a fucking alien. Like, yeah, what's humans? the long it's term of... I don't think so. Bro, some of these girls, like, you hit and quit, they slash a tire. These aliens, they'll fucking blow up the planet. You can't be doing that shit. Like, an alien comes down, it's like the boss of the aliens, and they're like... Oh. How do you say your name again? It's, uh... How do you say your name again? It's, uh... Larissa? Larissa. They're you, like, you Larissa... You are never getting into the United Federation of Planets. It's not, it's not happening. Larissa, you can't hit and quit, like, um... I got to you just can't, the one time. Damn, bro, that's brutal. Okay, what do you would you smash? Super smash, super smash. You'd super smash in it. Okay, smash. I don't know. Where, I don't know how I got to this. Okay, for so for the pilot, for the pilot. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Let's right. hang on, hang on. Let's assume, nope. right? This is all good faith. We're having some fun. Relax. Let us assume for a second. You're like 500 years in the future, and money doesn't matter at that point because you're in this like United Federation of Planets, I'll get the and it's basically some big, massive communist super center. And only people by their merit are judged in this particular system, okay? Would you, would you date a guy if he had a food replicator? No idea. Damn, that's crazy. I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, if he had a food replicator, he's uh -huh. like the only guy who could create wealth, which is food out of nothing. So, so if he was the one guy who could do that, would he be the only guy you would date? I, what, food replicate? I don't know what that is. It's, it makes food? And so, it's, yeah, it just makes make food out of nothing, essentially. And he's just like out of air he'll particles. Be, yeah, he'd be useful. I mean, I don't know. Sure. Yeah, fine. so the guy with the food replicator, that's the guy you're going for. I don't know. Whatever, whatever will get you to talk to somebody else, I will say it right now. <laughs> oh, man, you're no fun. Literally yeah, no right. fun. Well, Not only are you a phony baloney, you know, person who fires guns, okay. but you can't land a plane. You just suck. Yeah, I do. All around. Damn. Damn. Okay, so guys, I paused TTS temporarily. A bunch are going to come through. Org 47 donated $69. I was supposed to be on the podcast tonight. Charlie Kirk was on. Love him. Carly is just so expensive and I don't have of money. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Bricks and Lol. You can't. See you all maybe soon. You were supposed hashtag to be on the Trump show. 24, hashtag Trump24 hashtag Iowa. Let me see. You canceled? Who, who are you? I don't know. Uh, Audi, you gotta do champagne pop. The Devil That's Slayer the donated two hundred dollars. Our Australian girls, even real bro, I've met quite a few with a huge roster. Just do you guys want to respond at all? Maddie, did these? Did we read? These, did these come through? These two? Sorry, another TTS is coming. Oh, go ahead. I might have gotten up like right when I saw that. D uh, are you guys even real, bro? Yeah. Okay. Joe Murphy donated $69. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Andrew, can you enlighten the panel on Eastern feminism, oh particularly the Bolshevik feminist movement? No voting or land issues. I'll have my people send you a bottle of vodka and Russia chocolates. Thank you, Joe Murphy. Appreciate it. Well, uh, considering that that's a very communist way to put that, I'll take the vodka and chocolates first before I give that explanation. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I feel in the sense of a good comrade like you must be that I'll never actually get them. I'll get the I'll give the explanation, but I'll never get the vodka and the chocolates. Hmm. So, yeah, we'll send those first. Durandy donated $69. Andrew, I love you, but 7 or 9 is Voyager, not DS9. I didn't say Deep Space Nine. I said Voyager, didn't I? Hmm. Maybe, maybe I didn't. Fuck, did I, did I make a, a Star Trek error? Is that a massive L for, is that the first L for Andrew tonight? I know it the pilot be. didn't give me any. That would have been fun if she would have, like, you know, been engaging and funny and all the things that women never are. But other than that, maybe, maybe I took an L Dion for the chat. donated $69. My sister fucked an alien. She mahe him come for a baby. What the fuck? He left with a green card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That was. Uh... <laughs> okay, Nickelodeon. Thank you. Did this one come through? This one? Did this? Did this? The Get Bulge donated sixty nine dollars. Question for the table: What is one piece of advice slash tip for young men struggling to find partnership in this generation? Only fans. Hmm. 
Uh, that's terrible advice. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's so bad. Be chivalrous. Ladies, any thoughts on this? How can stop tip consuming free? porn for one? Mm. Mm. That's good. Maddie, what you got? What you got for us, Maddie? You got something, Maddie? No. Maddie? <laughs> Nerd? <laughs> Nair? Uh, hmm. I'll give you some advice, bro. You need a four-tier approach. I got this written down. I'm fucking ready. Okay, first off, you got to min-max yourself. Any of you who play World of Warcraft? <coughs> damn it. RPR Aquatic donated $500. I don't know if the okay. champagne pop is now still five hundred dollars, but this is for Andrew for the shop and ninety zebras <laughs> on the crucible. <laughs> Hash W crucible. Did it work? Thank you, crew. Nick, can you All get right, me hang on, hang bottle? on. Before we do the champagne pop, though, Brian did say five hundred for the pop. Let me tell the woman, bring me down a shot, woman. She was like, I'm going to bed, but now she has to get her lazy ass up and bring me a shot mm. so I can cheers with you guys. While we're getting Rachel. that, you got to min-max yourself, bro. If you play World of Warcraft, you know, you got to you know, min-max. So uh, no smoking, no drugs, no drinking, eat healthy, minimize stress, exercise, clear mind, clear body. You got to min-max your approach. You got to be on the f dating apps. Terrible. But, hey, fucking farmers only, Christian mingle, if you're Christian. Uh, J-date, I guess, too, if, if you know, whatever. Uh, Bumble, Hinge, whatever. Tinder, you got to hit, hit everything. Thank you. Thank you, boys. And... Um, Got the champagne here. Uh, let's see. You could also passport bro. If you want, you could do the passport bro thing. Go to where you're, uh, go it's to dangerous. where you are appreciated. So maybe you got to go to uh, South America. Maybe you got to go to uh, Asian country. I don't know. Eastern Europe. I don't know. Whatever. Find out. Also, uh, this is like if just nothing works, uh, there's better things than pussy. No offense. There's better things than dick also, too, right? Also, also grow out your beard and get a really, and get Damn, a really bro. good haircut. Yeah, that goes so long. Like. That goes so long. Get so far, chin. I mean. I would have funny's that? always good. Like work on your sense yeah, of humor. Yeah, you gotta be. Everybody gotta likes be funny, funny. You know, be funny. Being funny helps. You know. And uh, yeah, well, maybe like are you ever gonna be funny? Have oh, a shit. positive That's outlook funny. on life. It helps. Positive mental attitude. PMA. Sorry. What was that? I don't know. Where I'm being, I'm being cringe. <laughs> I'm being cringe. Uh, okay. You, so my recommendation, if all else fails, dude, find a hobby, find a passion. Yeah. If after making good faith effort to self-improve, you can't find success, just start surfing, bro. I'm telling you, <laughs> getting, getting some, like, honestly, getting, like, waist to chest high, like, glassy ring con, I'd rather I'd rather get chest high ring con glassy, preferably no crowds than like like the the best pussy in the world. I'm telling you, bro, surfing's way better than pussy. No offense, ladies. You're not wrong. What was the last time you surfed? For sure. It's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look, save up some money if you got. I know geographically there's not waves everywhere. You got to hit the coast wherever you are. Find the fucking coast. Move to Hawaii, wherever you got to go. Take up surfing, right? I know it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you, you catch that first wave, you get that little, that little speed on the first wave, man. I'm telling you, bro, you're going to be fucking hooked, man. It's going to be fucking... <laughs> you're going to be fucking frothing. You're going to be fucking stoking, man. Get some fucking barrels. Left's right, doesn't matter. Just get in the fucking tube, boys. Not the, not the vaginal tube, the, the, the wave tube. I don't I think you're discouraging them at this point. I'm, I'm just saying, I, I, like, I would rather, okay, here's the crazy he thing. for women advice. Um, <laughs> nah, he was definitely asking me. Um, I'm just saying there's better things than, like, sex and dating. 100%. Right? You ever, you ever surfed, where, you no, live in I L.A.? Don't, don't. You ever surfed the boo? I've never surfed in my life. But you live in L.A., right? Yeah, I suck. You ever surfed Malibu? No, not the boo. The crowds are fucking terrible, but the, the waves, boo? the wave is good. The boo. You ever surfed Seco's? I've never surfed, period. Leo, Leo Carrillo? I've. Can, Are you more like your county line girl? I love like you prefer county line. I, I prefer swimming. I, I'm more like Leo Carrillo is a little better, but like the, it's a point break, so like that takeoff sucks, you know? Nice. <laughs> yeah. Just get pitted, so fucking pitted. <laughs> it's like wapa. You come out, do the fucking. And then you get back up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, Trust God. me, boys. <laughs> Head high, glassy ring con, no one out. 
Ripped Rich and Rare donated $69. Damn, bro. Fat Boy Andrew. Hey, be How does it feel to save single moms and take okay, care of other champagne. men's Sorry. kids? Oh, my God. Captain, save a single mom simp. Damn, Jiggle bro. them big old titties. <laughs> Jiggle them. I'll smack your fat as in them big tits. <laughs> all right. Thank you for I that. I don't know. That sounds like a question for Wes Watson. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a question for Wes Watson. It's transformative <laughs> make over the donated $100. Oh, Is it problematic, especially oh, yeah. for older yeah. individuals on the panel, but, uh, to bringing someone home to perform 3D slash gun maintenance for a cosplay pilot event while caring for pet slash kids slash teen who are home? I will word. be violent. It's what very specific. That? What do you mean by that? So random. Thank you. It's a word salad. Thank that was you. beautiful. <laughs> I got to change this back. I got to change this back to... Uh, Okay, I'm changing it back to the British. I've had too much fun. All right, let's pop the champagne bottle. Who is anybody? You're t who's you're 20, right? So you can't drink. Oh. Everyone. The, Oz, the Aussies. Sorry. All right, let's see if I fuck this up. Hold on. All right, boys. Hold on. Julia. Julia, can you put your face like? Did you say Julia? Oh, sorry, Julia. Julia. Excuse me. Julia. That is insane. Hold on, just, I need you to block, use your face to block it from hitting the screen. Uh, okay, go ahead. Go no, ahead. no, you got this. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, should, you can figure it out. Hold on. Oh, this is so he's going to ask you to clean that up. <laughs> I know, he's going to ask me to clean it up. Oh With your mouth. Oh, I know, oh my God, wait, too. I know, I know. I know. I know. Away from the camera. Right. Right. Okay. No, he's confident, I like it. Yeah, I'm going to trust the process. Just trust could, could I get like a little paper towel or something? I need a little uh, paper towel to open this. Trust, trust the plan, trust the plan, plan. Pineco Nundus Corbona donated $69. I love picking up chicks at women's shelters. Mainly because I love my women like I love my fish. Battered. What do you mean? I don't even know how much Wait, I need another one, Nick. Give me not one. a single chuckle. Not a single chuckle from that. That was great. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, I got this, boys. I don't even need it. You ready? Are you fucking ready? Oh my god. Ready. Finesse. Woo. Beautifully done. Woo. All right. That was the fastest you ever uh, Thank you. Hang on, hang on. The Australian girls didn't clap. You can't pour before they clap. They can't even drink. Pick it up, Julie. Never yeah, I can't drink anyway. <laughs> I'm 18. Uh, can we, do we have, oh, cups? Who wants some champagne? Me, what the fuck? Oh, it's her birthday. Here, just pound the whole thing. We'll open another one. No, no. <laughs> she will. Wait, will it? Wait. You'll like. Yes. Go no, don't okay, hang on, hang Guys, on. it is her birthday. Hang on, I'll go. I'll, if if it is we're doing birthday. it, we're doing it. Wait, you're going to, how much you got, Andrew? Yeah. Wait, what well, you actually I've got, I've got really a whole guess. bunch, like a basically a whole bottle of vodka here, so I'm ready when you want. And then give her the rest. We could just open another one. Does anybody want to, wait, she will drink if somebody does another, here, I'm going to leave it here for just yeah. two minutes. If somebody does another champagne pop, she has to drink this whole thing. <laughs> She will. <laughs> it's her fucking birthday. Live a little bit. So You're not going in it's alone. It's her fucking birthday. We do this together. Andrew, Andrew's but you, you, like but you, 10. You're never going to beat an Irish. Man. Andrew's already like 10 deep. Wait, who wants pizza? We should have a little pizza party right, right here real quick. You want pizza? I know. Don't. You don't sleep on pizza. You want pizza? Kate, right? Yeah. I'm okay. Thank you. You want, you want that cocktail. Pizza. Be honest. Raise your hand if you want pizza. You don't want the pizza? No. Yeah, do you, do you want pizza? pizza? Do you want pizza? I want cheese pizza. We have Just take off the pepperoni. Amy, what's up? You like pizza? I'm fine. Thank it's you. not New York pizza, but it's pizza. She wants pizza. Nothing is New York. You want pizza? New York yeah. Pizza. What are you doing, bro? You okay? Nah, no, yeah, I'm cold. <laughs> you, you're you're cold? No, Freezing. Cold? Do you have a blanket? Oh, yeah. oh. Um, also good food. That's not even me. <laughs> pizza? Money pizza? Nah. Can it please pizza? be warm? Pizza? Damn, I okay. All right, I got it. I think we just... No, but not enough people Julie want the pizza. pizza. <laughs> Me and Maddie, you, we'll eat the pizza together. What do you think? I had four sizes, but I'll have one Damn, you already I'll have four one sizes. Maddie, bro, I you're on I've barely it. eaten. I've been a plane all Maddie, day. damn. <laughs> Shit. Oh, well. it's, it's that. She's got that fast metabolism. Metabolism goals. Maddie's got that. She's got that half tie <laughs> metabolism. You know what I mean? Is Wait, what? Thing? Oh, there's, dude. She's, <laughs> she's going to check it. There's another one. What's happened? Just give her a huge oh. one. Just give me the biggest glass. Pour half of it in one cup. I'll, I'll have a piece in this. Nah, I'll do. I'll because I, I want to have a pizza party You're with the girls, but nobody. Oh, I'll have one. I'm down. I, 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 me, and Andrew, with the girls. me and Andrew. Me and Andrew are. are oh, so me and Andrew join, join Weight Watchers, so girls. it's all good. Me and Andrew. Get some water. Okay. Well, you'll get it. Okay, hold on. It, it was a champagne pop. I guess I should do it, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
If they do another mm -hmm. 500, she'll get a bottle. Okay, yeah, if you do another, okay, here, that's better. If you do another 500, we'll pop another champagne bottle and she'll drink the whole thing. And Julie has to drink all of it. She has to well, then, well then, maybe I should wait because, no. uh, you know, I'll match. <laughs> wait, Maddie, can you pour it so I can just you like... Want the plastic cups? Oh yeah, that's a better idea. Okay, off, off she goes. Mm -hmm. I need the William. I need that William Tell overture. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. She's going. Okay, I guess this is mine. Uh, she wants a glass. Do you want a glass? You want a glass? Sure. She'll have some. Can't drink. Uh, Twenty-one, but no. Please don't do the Roman salute. Um, no. Amy. Uh, not well, she has enough. to fly a plane later. You, know, you want some champagne? Up. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Good sport there. Good sport so turning down the, the champagne. Soldiers are good sports. I'm too cool for a little <laughs> champagne. Huh? Hey, we oh, yeah, yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it, yeah. We got, did you find the dating apps from the girls? Okay, pull that up, we'll do the dating app review, then we'll do Bumble, we'll do Roast, and then we'll wrap up, and then we'll uh, raid Andrew. Wait, really quick, Nick, Twitch. Yo, boys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever and drop us a follow. Wait, show, show us the view count, boy. Show us the view count. Show us the view count. There it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sorry, that might have been me. I, like, had my hand on the table when I sat down. Oh. Rude. <laughs> but how could Rude. I have done that, actually? Uh, okay, guys, we got 1,000 following on Twitch, 8,000 on YouTube. Guys, go over to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub. If you have one, Maddie's going to pour some liquor. Uh, okay. So, guys, it's been, boys... <laughs> It's been 17 minutes since there's been a prime, okay? I need somebody to drop a prime sub. I'm trying to do Dr. Evil, but it's not working. I need somebody to drop a, a thank you, thank you. I thought, oh, thank you, uh, DK. I thought it was bugged, man. Thank you for the prime. Guys, drop us a follow on a prime sub over on Twitch uh, because Maddie's gonna start doing streams over there. Yo, AB Check, thank you for the gift of 20 memberships. You're a fucking legend. Good to see you in the chat, man. He's a brave and a decent man. He's a pioneer. Thank you, bro. You're a fucking legend. Uh, anyways, what were we talking about? Oh, just the smell. It smells disgusting. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol, so this is... I, I'm going to get drunk off of three sips. Here we go. Oh, wait. I got to wait. Okay, I'm going. Yeah, we got to cheers. Fill that. Fill it. Wait. Yeah, fill it up. So wait, you want, okay. Uh, <clears throat> I wanna make it even. Go ahead, you got it. I'm not gonna pull oh, it. Oh, so, 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 like, so, so, sorry, okay. I'm not gonna okay. be an alcoholic about this. Okay, there you go. I mean, you are Russian. Oh, seriously? There you go. Is there the biggest alcoholic here with you? Probably. <laughs> Is that it? Is that? It's only the girls and the fucking soldiers. They, they're dealing with their stress. They've seen, they seen, they seen some shit in the trenches. It's a trauma. It's tough. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, two. Andrew, do you have your vodka ready? Does Dra Rachel have your vodka ready? Oh, he's got it. Two. My birthday? Julie and the uh, Prussian military. And two. <laughs> Oh, the devil shit. The devil's slayer donated 500 Oh, oh shit. Damn. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, well, let's do the cheers. Uh, two. No, 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 no cheers. We just go right to Okay, it. salut. Salut. Do salut. And do we go bottle this? I thought I got it. Yeah, well, I'll split it between you guys. Yeah. Guys, some of that 500, what is this? Okay. I have to drink sure. the whole bottle. You have to drink the whole bottle. Yeah, and I better get some money. I'm just going to pass along. Oh, oh, I can like that. that. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, that's quite a lot of vodka. I must admit. I'm done. Yeah. Let's do it. Just have the bottle to myself. Do I have to chug it? All you have to. Ch you have to do you a decent chug. Oh, I'm pretty sure on Twitch. Yeah, that's actually with you. Very TOS. Is it TOS? Yeah, you can't drink for money. <laughs> Wait, really? We're not drinking for money. We do it all the time. It's no, we would never do that. Is it? I don't. We would never. We're so celebrating getting, getting, getting a donation. Hold on. Let me pull up the Twitch chat. Let me see. No, you're fine. You're fine. I'll it's just see. Good. I think I don't think it's TLS. There's uh, it's Twitch is really good about this, especially when it comes to the spirit. It's her birthday. We're celebrating. It's her birthday. We're ce it actually is TOS. We're celebrating. It is TOS, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you. What you? Can, I thought no. You can drink on stream. You can. Yes, you can. 
Mm. Joe Murphy donated $69. You look so Cheers good. to the good work, fellas. Andrew, you're on the hook for a drink and Russian chocolates. We can send Brian some water and Russian chocolates. Share with Maddie. Keep challenging the masses. So, yes, okay, sir. we're not drinking for money. We're popping we're a champagne bottle. For She's got it. She's on it. My, my bodyguard's on it, Nick. Just throw me. Thank you, bro. Just put on the, put on the helmet. All right, we'll go back to it. All right. We're going to do another champagne pop. Uh, while, while I'm doing this, uh, Maddie, why don't you ask the question that you always like to ask? Two questions. You got two? Yeah, go ahead. Both okay. questions? No, go ahead. Um, do you guys object to a man caring about your body count? What man? Any man. Say a man that you're dating or going to date, a dating prospect. I feel like any any man I've dated hasn't asked me for my body count. He's seen my intrinsic value and what I offer. Have you ever like shared that with him? Um, I've honestly only shared it because I was curious what his was. So I, you know, by nature told him what mine was just in conversation. But I don't. I've, I haven't had like a high value man ask me that. Hold on. Yes. Wow. Um, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking unless you're actually crazy. Well, just how about take a decent, you know. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> No, uh, what? What oh, the you're fuck? Not supposed to chug it. Bro, you got We're supposed. To, we're supposed to go. Ready? <laughs> what the hell? I, well, <laughs> I didn't tell you to spit it back out, but okay. I didn't are, 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 are you ready? I can't. I can't hear you. You gotta translate, Brian. <laughs> These smell like armpit sweat. He doesn't smell speak terrible. Canadian. Okay, he doesn't speak Canadian. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Right. Birthday girl, are you ready? Uh -huh. On three. Can okay, you give me hey, the thumbs Kerbifine. up if you hear me? How'd you do that? Thumbs up if you hear me. Okay. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Holy shit. Damn, Andrew, you're a beast. Did you just, are you... That's water. You Bro. Like it went down way too smooth. Is that water? Like Did you just burp too? What the fuck? There's a lot of bubbles. Damn, y'all crazy. Total fail. All right, anyway. Very disappointed. When, very disappointed. Super disappointed. That was super disappointing. I'm just a girl. Nobody knows that. Somebody, get the, somebody in Twitch said somebody get the stomach pump. You know, I'm the one guy like here. Cents. I drank Gavin McGinnis under the table. Right. Was that actually vodka, bro? Yeah, that's actually that's, you vodka. You didn't like just pour water in there? Yes, this is that's, terrible. That's crazy. <laughs> damn, bro, what the fuck is going on in the studio? All right, damn. That was her. Off the rails. <laughs> off off the freaking rails. That's Ziz. Put some respect on his name. Ziz? Yeah, that's Ziz. Rest in peace. Oh Rest in peace, Ziz. Aww. Okay, so, hold on. Okay, boys, we were going around. I have some rapid fire questions. We're going to do a rest section, then we're going to wrap up the show. Who's the primary victim of war, men or women? The humanity. I stick oh, by what I said. What? Into the microphone, guys. Humanity. <laughs> um, everyone, Wait, yeah. Scoot the mic that way. Just scoot it. Good job. Everyone. You killed it. I, lo I love you for that. You did great. Damn, why you got to throw me under the bus like that? I thought we were homie. I thought you were... I thought you were my Caucasian. Are you are you white? Or are you I'm like Latina? I'm by that. Are you Latina? Or? She said earlier. What did she say? She said she was a Latina. You're my Latina. Ya es demasiado tarde. Bueno, nunca, nunca, nunca fue una opción. Sorry. Uh, who's the primary victim of war, men or women? Mm, neither. Neither. Okay. Primary would be men. Um, men. Men. Men, 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 men. Men. Okay, cool. 
don't know if I really want to debate it, but I will just say, you guys, any of you who didn't say men, you're all wrong, and I'm right. It's men. Oh, for sure. You're all wrong. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna. So just concede myself. the point and just say, Brian, you're right. I'm gonna crawl under and this I'm, table and cry now. I thought you were about to say something else after that <laughs> first part. <laughs> Holy. Frickin' A, Steve Alright, give me another Pop one. Champagne. Give me another one. Pop Steve Grove. Murphy. Dude, this is, is this insane. Alright, now you have baby. to drink the whole thing. I got a gun. Wait, I want some more though. Okay, we'll hook it up. Here, I got it. There's some She's got some more. Right. Yeah, we'll drink out of it. Yeah, she barely she barely had it. Bro, she had Wow. Okay, that was a lot, bro. You drank a lot. Yeah, no, I shared a little bit. Alright, here we go. Number three. Thank you, Steve Murphy. We drank it, however. However. Can you give me a towel? I don't need the towel. Right. Get the towel. Oh, you guys are wrong, and I'm right. Okay. Okay, Brian. Why didn't you make them answer though? Men or women? They did. No, you yeah. didn't. Oh, sorry. They said everyone. W text. I mean, we're three bottles in. I might as well. <laughs> what the <laughs> frick was that? <laughs> yes. Okay. Hold on, boys. Hold on. I'm getting it. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, boys, here we go. Oh, oh fuck. Use it for this. Holy shit, it almost came off and Ooh, that's hit, what... hit Julie <laughs> in the face. Well, well I, I still have what's left of a mixed drink. I guess I'll, right. I'll put that down. All right, hold on. Here we go. Ooh, how we gotta get home? I'm just kidding. Yeah, we still gotta get home. Uh-oh. Do this right. Oh, we'll walk around. Okay. In and out? Oh, here we go. Okay. In and out. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Bruh. Oh no. Oh no. You lost your touch. It's a bad batch. Prove it's your a bad high one. value right now. Go. Alpha male. Uh, uh, alpha male. <laughs> alpha male. Uh, <laughs> I think you're scared so again. Uh, right now. You have to figure it out. When he can't <laughs> open a champagne <laughs> bottle. Oh my god. Hold on, I got this. His future uh, wife getting the ick. <laughs> Dude, I I'm two I'm two for three, okay? I think you're just scaring yourself. You just gotta go for it. Dude, it's just, I, I don't know. It's like, I swear there's something weird with it. Bro. There? <laughs> I'm gonna take the, the cage off. He's giving us three sips. Sure. Sure. Wait, g g give, me, give, me, give me some more paper towels. Okay, I got okay, this okay, shit. Okay. Oh Look my god. Look it up. Just it out. Maddie, ask your, ask your question, please. We didn't even, or I think we literally stopped at you. Yeah. Do you remember my question? It was just like, uh, do you object to men caring about your body count? Um, I've also never had a man who, like, cared about that, Holy so. fuck, bro. <laughs> Nick, did you glue this shit? You fucker. Do you want me to you try? You glued this, didn't you? <laughs> Is it fake champagne? Do you I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose my man card if Maddie opens this shit. Hold on. Yeah, you can't let Maddie. Okay. Do you need your soldiers to open I it? I just twist. Yeah, you need your soldiers. Well, why are you holding it in front of me? Uh, what do you mean? I'm, it's not... It's I thought you were giving it to it. me she can to do open. It. Kirby can do it. Kirby can, Kirby do, can do, do anything. Soldiers. Kirby can do it. Give it to Kirby. Uh, Kirby. Yeah. You just uh, held it right Kirby. in front of my face. Kirby. Sorry. No, I had, I had my thumb on the on the cork or whatever. I think you should give I it to Kirby. I was going to die. <laughs> and then just push yeah, down and twist. Yeah, that's how I did when I was a bartender. You don't fly off with your tongs over it. Yeah, it is. You know, your thumb's on no, top. your thumb's on top. So put the palm on. Yeah. Yeah, and then palm use the fold. This is a and then push tutorial. down and like <laughs> push. Twist. No. Yeah, no. try to like, use the pressure to at least like, you know what I mean? Because if not, his hand's just gonna slide. Damn! What the? F Sorry, Mr. Murphy. Yo, who glued this shit? I can do it. You fucking glued this shit. Let it pop. Who glued this shit? Yeah, you need to pop it. I think you should give it to Kirby. And she's gonna show you up. You pop what if you first? just pop it outside? Brian wants to do it himself, guys. Dude, let him just do it. Let him do it. No, I can't let Maddie do this. Nick, here you go. Put, just let him. Let Kirby do it. Why don't you just do it yourself? Do it. DIY. Nick, be careful. Dude, bro, this is my face. Right? Nick, go that way. That way. Why are you pointing that shit at me, bro? It was hard, right? <laughs> I feel like your hands were. I'm greasy. sure, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you got the, you got the greasy palm. Oh, no. The greasy palm. He's a little I loosened nervous. that shit for Nick, bro. It was already halfway there. <laughs> I loosened. Uh, I loosened that. You got that greasy hair. Do I? Do I just fucking chug from it? Yes. Yeah. No, yeah, you're literally point. gonna no, be like yeah. blacked out and can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chug, 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 chug. This is literal wait, peer wait, pressure. Wait, 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 wait. 
We'll do it together. Ready, Brian? Right? Oh, okay. You ready? I, I, I don't drink those. I still have what's yeah, left of my mixed drink. You ready? You better not, like, spit it out. <laughs> okay, on three. Ready? One. Just two, sip. Yeah, just, like, careful, just gulp. Three. Yeah. But, like, sip, sip. <laughs> like a bottle. Oh, my God. Like a baby's bottle. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Anybody want more champagne? Yes. I'll take a little bit. Okay, it's she's Sunday. turning up. Now your mouth's turning up in the whatever podcast. What's that? Well, Julie yeah. did Birthday. so much better than you. Three champagne pops. I'm kidding. Birthday. Hey, I, I got well, a decent. He donated a grand, so that's technically two champagne pops. No, no. they were half Well, <laughs> it was. Guys, champagne pops are back at a thousand. <laughs> champagne pops, if you're going to do any more. I know, they're going to keep sending. Excuse me. What were we talking about? Body count? Drunk, this podcast just goes Do you guys want more? Let me pour some water <laughs> <your heart, laughs> and then maybe throw stream on the table. <laughs> um, so, so, okay, Maddie's question was, oh, man, my hand's, like, tired, boys. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to get carpal <laughs> tunnel syndrome from that. I already feel it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> no, she doesn't. Oh, carpal She's 19. That's oh, not carpal <laughs> Oh, this is Curvafine right here. What? That's Malia. Who said Curvafine? I don't know. I'm confused. Hello. Wait. Malia. Is that? No, that's Malia. Mole. Mole. Little mole. Little mole. That's me. We're that's out of me. champagne. Boys, we're out of champagne. What? Wait, if there's a... No, if... if okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we're, we're, you guys tapped us out of champagne. No, I didn't. So... Uh, okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. The next upgrade, since we're out of champagne, um, methamphetamine. <laughs> straight, up, straight, oh. straight to meth. Straight to needles. Um, straight to, straight to some pipe. No pipe. <laughs> I did that for free. All right, boys. 10, 10K for a, for a heroin syringe. Just kidding. <laughs> but we all share the same one. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. At the same time. Yeah. We'll load them up. <laughs> I like that was a good joke. Hey, pro, I, I, I give credit where credit is due. That that was a good joke. I think unless you were serious, <laughs> but still funny. Is he still fu still funny because <laughs> I can't tell because of the blood born illnesses. Blood brain you know, illness. Blood blood pathogens. Blood illness? Because of that thing. Yeah, that was What's the problem? Funny. <laughs> it's less funny now that I'm explaining it, but it was good. <laughs> Cheers to that. Dating apps, yes. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to clap into the microphone. Go ahead. Where's the champagne? It's back in my belly. You need it? 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 Not. Is that a cockapoo? You should wipe it. No, I'm a cockapoo. Uh, okay, so this is Imogen. Imogen. By the way, these are like, you made sure that these are like safe, Nick. They're not like. Oh, yeah, they're fine. They're fine? Okay. Yeah. I'm That's convinced that you should wipe me off. You're, You're five feet. Thank you. Okay. Your eyes are gorgeous. Gorgy. Awesome. Teddy. Next. Okay, she's cat. Hold on, you're Catholic? Oh, uh, I, I kind of like I had to I had to like put one there, into, but wait, yeah. into the mic, into the mic. Oh, uh, so like I had to put one there, but yeah, growing up, um, I always went to Catholic private schools. You can hide it from your profile. Damn, that's crazy. Oh really? <laughs> oh, what the hell? So, I so but, you're, how but I you're, could. you're Catholic, right? Pardon? You're Catholic. Yeah. Oh. Damn. But I don't go to church or anything. But I am what? like. What, what does the Catholic faith say about you, like, having current knowledge of, like, 30 dudes at the same time? Because um. you said you got, that's your rust. <laughs> and you do OnlyFans. How's yeah, that? But, like, that I'm that not, goes against the yeah, Catholic but, like, thing. I don't really, like, I'm not really, like, interested Jojo. in that stuff anymore like I used to be. But what the I did fuck it. are you doing here? Sorry, I didn't even impress that. Like. Um, like, obviously, like, before, like, when I went to school, like, I was a lot more Catholic, and then when I, like, left school and then started, like, working, then, like, I did, I wasn't really, like, into, like, into that stuff anymore kind of thing. But, like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Do you say you were raised Catholic? Yeah. Like, I always went to Catholic private schools growing up. What led you away from Catholicism? Um, it just wasn't really for me. Like, I guess I kind of just left school, started at, like another job, and then I kind of just like grew out of it a bit, I guess. Now, forgive me, I wasn't here at the start of the stream. Did you say that you have uh, an OnlyFans? Yeah, I do. 
And your father, I would guess, is Catholic. Um, not really like my dad, more like my like mum. Well, mom. that's even worse, not, right? So not like, there's no we, way we that mom like endorses the OnlyFans. Right? Like we're not like that. You, but just so you know, hear me out for a second. If you're talking in the mic while I'm talking, it cuts my audio out. Okay. So so I want to hear what you're saying. Just just put your hand up so that I know that you're talking. Um, but but back to where I was at. Mom's a Catholic, right? Mm. I don't know what mm means. It means yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So so mom mm uh, does not approve of the OnlyFans. No. No. So what did, what does she say? Well, she doesn't really say. She can't really do much, but she just doesn't support it. Okay. What does dad say? Dad says the same stuff as mum. But dad's not a Catholic. I mean, he is, but, like, he's not really, like, involved as much as, like, my mom, like my mom is. That makes sense. Okay, so mom is, um, I don't know, uh, more dogmatic. She's more into the Catholic faith than dad. Yeah, like, I wouldn't say that she's, like, really into it, but, like, she, like her growing up, like, she went to, like, Catholic schools as well, whether my dad didn't. So, like, my dad never, like, really got brought up in, like, a Catholic household, but my mom did. Okay, that makes sense. But mom, mom says no, right? Yeah. And you just, you just don't care? I mean, I do, and, like, I value her opinion, but I am an adult, and I can do what I want. Well, that's true. You can. I'm not disputing that you can do what you want. Mm -hmm. You're 18, you can do whatever the fuck you want, but... Yeah. When you, when you sit down with mom, if you're, like, let's pretend for a second you're having that heartfelt conversation with mom. Mm. And you're sitting down with mom, and you say, I'm on OnlyFans, mom. Your mom says what back to you? Wait, what? What? Well, okay, so, so listen again. You're sitting down for that one heartfelt combo where mom says, sweetheart, can we just talk? And you say, sure, mom. And you sit down with mom, and you explain to her everything about your OnlyFans. And she can even go look it up, right? What does mom say to you? She doesn't really talk about it anymore. Like, when I yeah, first... Yeah, but what did she say? What oh, did she, she say? Oh, she just said that she was disappointed and that, like, she wishes that I went down, like, the other path, but at the end of the day, I am an adult and I can choose what I want to do with my life. But all she can do is just support me and try to tell me what, 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 like, what is right and what's wrong, but at the end of the day, she can't control my life. Sure. Does your mom love you? Yeah, of course. Do you think your mom wants the best for you? Yeah. You think your mom wants the best for you even if you can't see what is the best for you? Yeah. And hasn't she always been that way ever since you were a little girl? Mm-hmm. Then why don't you trust her? I do trust her, but this then, is... Then if she says to you not to do OnlyFans, why don't you trust her? Because I want to do it. Right. But when you were a little kid and you wanted to stick your finger in the light socket, you wanted to stick your finger in there, and she said, no, sweetheart, you can't do that because I love you. And I want to make sure that you don't hurt yourself. I want to make sure that you don't do something terrible to yourself. Right? You listen to mom. What changed? What changed from knowing that mom knows everything about her little girl? She loves you. She adores you. She thinks you're great. She, you are the offspring of mom. And she's protected you your whole life. And now, the, at this one pinnacle moment, you say, Fuck off, Mom. Like, what changed? What changed the dynamic? Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> I guess, like, my age and, like, no, what this, comes with it. And, like, yeah. Is this, is this insensitive? No, 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 no. Oh, shit, I need... This is kind of insensitive, I'm sorry. Is this insensitive? I don't think it's insensitive. I, I, I don't even think we're talking about anything... Um, I just don't know why we're I'm talking just, about I'm just the curious. infant Everybody baby. Everybody just needs a problem. So, so, so. Yeah. Andrew, it was about the baby. Because the baby yeah, was about the baby. Can you lift it up a little bit? I'm sorry. I pulled out a prop. I'm sorry, Andrew. What's his name? I'm sorry. 
Dude, Brian's off the bean right I'm now. Sorry, it's the, the, it's the the I'm sorry, it's the it's the champagne. You're off the bean right now. I'm sorry, it's the champagne. Oh, okay. Well, that goes away. There you go, Matt. Baby, and then there you go. It's not a good. <laughs> Frankie Jr. <laughs> oh, bro is off the bean. Uh. That's why I've got a rugby ball. I'm committed to the game. Okay, continue the conversation. Go ahead, sorry. Well, I'm sorry, I'm well, sorry, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. So, so anyway, back to this. Mom loves you. Mom adores you. You adore mom. You love her. She took care of you your whole life, made sure you reached adulthood. You didn't stick your finger in the light socket. Why is it her one piece of advice is don't do this, and you just say, fuck off, mom. I don't, I don't understand that. Work. Um, yeah. That was, that was me. That was me, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. The, the answer I'm just is not really yeah. fucked to answer that question because I'm not going to win with you. You're just going to keep trying to, like, say shit. That's... No. Like, no, I'm, I'm trying to, like, it's too late. I'm, I'm and I want to, yeah, like, I'm, I'm trying to explain to you that, like, obviously, like, it comes with age and obviously, like, as I get older, like, I'm not going to listen to some things that, like, my parents think, but... You just keep arguing, so just... And honestly, it's just the generation. Well, yeah, honestly, like I'm not talking to you. Shut the fuck up and tell oh, I'm done. Oh, shit. Your Drunk Andrew is off the... And tell we're done. The I didn't ask you for your fucking opinion. So anyway, back to your buddy. Uh, yeah. As we were having this great spirited conversation that you butted into, rude. I'm just yes. curious. Rude. If we're, if we're rude, talking about you rude. and your mom... And you rude. say, Mom Can we loves me. Mom has question? taken care of me my entire life. She absolutely adores me. She just happens to be wrong on this one thing that she's adamant that I don't do. Why don't you yield to her wisdom? Because I just didn't. I think that was a checkmate. I think you checkmated. Just, you just don't care. And don't care. I don't want to answer this question. It's getting boring now. She's bored. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't. Uh, but She's I don't got care. The if you're TikTok bored. brain. You know, the, the, the TikTok brain part has of this kicked entire in. night is this exchange. This is the exchange that people will look at, and who cares if you're bored? I want to know the fucking answer cares. to the question. Can you actually answer the question? Or Put some you? shrimp on the bobby well, and answer the question. Well, what if I don't want to fucking answer the question? Put some shrimp on the bobby then and answer, answer it. The, answer, no. the, answer the question. So the answer. question is, why don't you trust your mother now even though she kept you alive till your majority and she tells you to stop being a whore? Why don't why you don't shut you the trust fuck her? up and stop asking Hang on, the same stop. question? Let me finish the question. Your mom says, don't be a whore. She kept you alive your entire That's life, and now crazy. you're a whore. Why is it that mom's That's wrong? Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> um, I already actually said she don't want to answer the question, so. Oh, yeah, I don't answer questions. She doesn't have to answer the question because I don't know how to. Yeah, I don't, oh I'm not God. talking to you. You're I'm so talking to your annoying. friend. Actually I'm sorry that you have to butt <laughs> in. You can't oh, let her. I'm sorry, is your friend That's stupid? Is she so stupid she can't answer? No, I just want to answer the question. Fucking, oh my god. Oh my god. So great, then let her answer the question, please. <laughs> oh, that is oh not my answer. god. Just move on to the next person. No, no, yeah, let's not move on. Shut up. She doesn't want to answer it. Back to where we were at. Oh my god. Can you it's, answer it's, my it's question? I'm having a singular conversation with one person. She doesn't want to answer it. I said I don't want to answer it. Fucking conversation. She still hasn't answered the question. Oh shit. I don't want to answer your fucking question, retard. Like, fuck me. I said no. If you're. You said no, well. No to what? She doesn't because have to answer your question. Just yeah, shut I know up. she doesn't Move have to. Move on to the next to, person. But I'm still asking her and not you. Oh Stop talking. Oh, my God. Talking. Okay, why did you Let choose this as a finish. job? Why did you choose humiliating people as a job? I'm sorry. Does she need a spokesman? She's so stupid. You're a hypocrite. She needs a shut spokesman. up. Say, say, Andrew, she's so dumb. You're a loser. She needs me to speak for her. To Go ahead. Andrew, she's so stupid. She needs me to speak for her. Go ahead. Say that. Damn. Oh my God. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. So she can speak for herself. So okay, that vodka. That vodka. I can speak I'm for myself, but I'm just question, choosing not, not to answer this question. Just like the other girls said, I don't want to answer this question, and they got yeah, off Yeah, I don't want to answer. Why can't I not answer this question? Yeah, I know. I know. You don't want to answer. I've already right. tried to explain Somebody it to you, but you just don't comprehend you, right? it. Yeah. All right, fine. With that said, with that said, we're going to do... A brief roast session. No, oh my God, it's not 25. I'm sorry, boys. It's fucking 30. I'm I'm R slurred. I'm sorry. Call me call me a retard like you called Andrew a retard. Go ahead. Oh no. Wait, just, what? Just don't, call me. Don't use that Wait, word. I'll do it. No, you don't get the pass. No. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't get the pass. Pass.
that. Guys, I'm sorry. It's thirty dollars. Thir- oh shit, where did it fucking go? Thir- boys, thirty dollars TTS. That's the roast session, and then we're wrapping the show. You guys got, uh, you got a little bit. Of- she needs more alcohol. There you go. There you go, Honestly, boo. Honestly, same. The garden. Oh, yeah. They need a- the garden needs the booze. The garden needs some. And these came in. I'm sorry. These came in before the wrong change. numbers. Cole Briggs donated sixty nine dollars. Andrew, what is the fastest, most solid argument to shut down feminism? I've been trying to change the hearts and minds of the women I work with. Advice. $30 TTS boys. All you have to do is ask them a single question. Do you want a society which is non-patriarchal and watch them do all sorts of mental gymnastics I can't to try it. to claim that they don't? And every time you prod it, you'll find out that they do. $30 TTS boys, it should be good to go. I'm gonna, oh, the moderation queue is on. Um, wait, did the one that said, Andrew, you're a real one telling them how it is, did that come through? Oh, okay. The Devil Slayer donated $69. Andrew, you're a real one telling them how it is. He didn't Word. tell us shit. He was just trying to get an answer. He didn't get the answer too. Right, so that would be me asking the question that wasn't answered by your fucking exactly. idiot friend. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> At least now we know it wasn't water that we was drinking. <laughs> and seven X Vos Yo, donated one hundred dollars. Who suffers in war the most? Sorry, I myself wanted to answer. I recall around World War One. Chemical warfare being invented caused is estimated ninety comma o o plus deaths. Yo, true, true. Um, that uh, the the mustard gas, the mustard council gas. Council of Men donated thirty dollars. Brian, the council has convened in an emergency session tonight. Dude, your man card has been suspended oh for thirty days because of your repeated inability to pee. <laughs> what? Austrian trumpet slayer donated thirty dollars. Why do women have one brain cell more than a chicken, so they don't shit on the porch? Yeah, but that's really rude. That's my point. That was rude. Yeah, it wasn't rude. Maddie, ask your question about the body count really <laughs> quick. Yeah. Just, no, just we keep like we were, we were only on the second. Here, just ask them the second question. <laughs> What's everybody's body count? Which direction are we starting? Uh, I think we start over here. We start over here. What's well, the question? We, we could start in. Go here, ahead. I'll start. Andrew, it's go. over ten. It's over ten. Thousand. You fucking yes. strumpet. Four. You strumpet. Listen, minutes. we're not going to do <laughs> rent in here, okay? <laughs> if we're going to do rent, you do Bohemian Rhapsody. Fucking sing it right now. We sing that at karaoke down there. Mama, so good. Easy come, easy go. Galileo. That's a. Galileo. Play. No, it's a rent. I'm talking about the rent. I will grab the oh. guitar and play that if you will sing it. Oh, I won't sing it, but somebody who can sing. Uh, should you, sing. Yes. Got fucking Fail. theater, theater kids Fail. in here. My ick is theater kids. Oh, low key. I love that. Ick. Gives me the ick. Uh, wait, what were. Oh, body count. Go ahead. Five million. Oh, my yeah. 706,000. Remember Maybe last time you were on the show, you had a not a virgin shirt? I, I was not ready for the show at all. It said totally a virgin. Totally a virgin. Or not, I thought it was totally. It said totally a virgin. Oh, okay, yeah. totally. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Zero. That's fucking cat. Didn't you say, you said it was like, I forgot what you said last time. Zero. So you're a virgin. She's a virgin. I mean, technically, if we're going to speak in technical terms. Yeah. No P in the V? No. No P, never P in the V? Not even in, really? in the behind. Nowhere there. Oh, come on. Like, she, nowhere, no. nowhere waist down. No P in S-ing, the A? But you've S the D. I'm not going to get into specifics. <laughs> but you said, you, I mean, you said nothing below the waist. I'm technically a virgin. You're a virgin? Yeah. A virgin, virgin 2.0? Yeah. A version, a version of what? She, she's a version. She has an aversion to the penis, apparently. Exactly. She's well, a, but a, a version of what? Would you say you're a version of? No, I think she meant virgin. What's up, man? Oh, do you think? Do you, do you, no, not a version. Well, I don't, I don't know, Brian. Brian, you kind of, kind of, kind of playing the save a little bit. What are you a version of? She likes vagine. The D. <laughs> the D. <laughs> you, you, you've never had a, a guy. 
In there? No. Up in there? No, no, no. 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 Ooh, That's ooh, scary. No. 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 What, what if he's got a micro? Oh. Does that so change hang on, so that hang on, so hang on. Scary. Let's like pretend. Clip, let's pretend for a second that like I only tell clip. lies. Let's pretend for a second I only tell lies and you only tell the truth. Okay. Right. Okay. I've slept with twenty-five thousand women. You and you slept with strumpers. how many? Men. If we're telling lies, then I suck at. No, no, no. I only tell lies. You only tell the truth. Oh, I I've slept with twenty-five thousand women. You've slept with how many men? Zero. Okay, uh, body count? No, no, hang on, hang on. I just want to make sure. You're not lying, right? No. Body count? Really? Not, hang on, not one, not one man you've ever slept with? Not, no, no, never, <gasps> probably. What, what about women? Nope. No women? Nope. That's cat, bro. Yeah, you're totally lying. You're That's lying through your teeth. He's a prude. Now look at your body prude. laying on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me ask you, gal in the white, I see you. She's lying through her fucking teeth. Am I wrong? Go ahead and lie to me. Lie to me. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 <laughs> She's lying through her teeth. How many? Zero and a half, she told me. It's yeah, yeah. over 9,000! Like I said, At least, it's, well it's, hang on, it's hang on. Not we had zero, zero to one. That's our only metric. Exactly, because I Gal said it's not the white. Hang on, Gal in the white, zero to one. That's our only metric. Would you say one or zero? Oh, zero. I yeah, would say zero if, if Gal yeah. in the black said zero, then I would say zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, but, but from your perspective. I don't have her punani. Hang on, hang on, hang on. From oh, your gosh. perspective, zero to one, would you say at least one? From your subjective metric. What pronoun? What the? F okay, I whatever, gotta move whatever, this Hang on, hang on. Move this whatever on. pronoun, hang on. Whatever pronoun you want. <laughs> we'll give it whatever pronoun you want. Has this person at least had a single P in the V? What the? F <laughs> um, I'll let you know after the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You can keep that cope going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very serious. Uh, body count? Uh, I've had one boyfriend, so. It's at least zero. <laughs> body count? This range? You want to do range? How about the range? 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 Like 50 to 100 range? One to, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm not, I'm not, don't, don't, don't get upset. I'm not Sorry. saying that's what it is. What's up? What's up? What's up with it? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Okay. Um, my body count is off the scales. I don't even know. I lost count at into, 80. Into the mic. Into the mic. Sorry. My body count's off the scales. I lost count at like 80. Yeah, whatever. You're a fucking liar, though. So we, I, I you know what? don't I believe a word that you, you say. I am a feminist. I, I support women. Think, believe all women. I think, I think that it could be... Um, why would I, why would I make myself 1, look like... 1,020, and I think that you would never give us the honest answer. Um, why would I make myself okay, look si it. silly? <laughs> if, like, this Hashtag like believe all women. Make yourself look silly all night. You've not oh been God. honest the Listen to yourself. Evening. Every time you're on the show, you make yourself look like a joke because you're annoying The one thing people can determine from this conversation is that you are one dishonest troll. You are And you're even bad at trolling. You're even bad at that. So it's 80? You said over 80? Yeah. Okay. No, well, no comment. Shut up. Range, range. Give us range. <laughs> Zero to two. Okay, that's okay. reasonable. All right. Um, like eighty, past Sit, eighty. One more time. Uh, like yeah, sure. it's like past like 80. eighty. Past eighty. You guys both have. Okay. Yeah. Worst trolls Zero. ever, by the way. Shut you two, listen you to yourself. Shut up. You haven't worst shut up all night. Right? You're the oh worst god. at it. You're the worst at it. Oh my god. They You're the worst nugget I've ever met. You shush. know, you would have had a better Did showing. Did you call him a nugget? Yes, you would have, <laughs> hang on. You would have had a way better showing if you had <laughs> come in and you had been honest. Is, is there a nugget the emoji? Things you said tonight. Is there a nugget emoji? Spam nugget emojis in the chat. Oh my god. Andrew, did you hear her? Are you? She called you a nugget. You're a chicken nugget. I don't nugget. even know what that means. I don't know what it means it's either, but it was insulting. It's it was very insulting. It's a Vegemite sandwich <laughs> nonsense from a bunch of trolls. A bunch of trolls. Because you're so annoying. You know so annoying. Yeah, you're you know so what? annoying. Do you know what? You know, you can't even talk right. 
Shut up. You, you can't even stupid talk right. Country. You can't even talk this... right. You eat Vegemite. Shut up. You don't even know what half the words you say means. Yeah, you don't even know what half the words you say. Oh, I say that. Andrew I Trash. Wait, hold up. So I mean. just want to say, Andrew, I I, you Donald know, hashtag, be hashtag believe all women. I believe him. Yeah, I have to, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh you are. You can believe him. He should sign <laughs> up to be count, president in the United States. I got to move this on. This is off the Well, hang on, hang on. Now the troll's upset. Let the troll talk. Go ahead, troll. Get your stick, Gandhi, a bridge, you're an annoying troll. Oh my god, you're so annoying. You're yeah, uh, I know, you're, you're so actually, annoying. You're pissing me off now because I'm I so know, tired. I know, I'm pissing you off, I know. <laughs> oh my god. Don't you, oh lo you love god. it though, right? You no, love it. It's terrible. Mm. The trolls got out trolled, it's awful. It's terrible. Please tell me you're drunk or something because you can't be this Please annoying. Please tell me that you're sober or something. You can't be this bad at trolling what and be sober. <laughs> you're the best Yeah, guy. you suck. You got owned. You got owned. You got owned. out trolled. You got out flanked. You got out masked. Out flanked. Out argued. Go just tuck yourself. Just oh my God. Please, please do yourself just a favor and save yourself some wrinkles and go tuck yourself awesome in bed. I am and oh how my much God. Of a failure you are. Do yourself a favor and save yourself yeah, some I'll wrinkles. Do a favor. Save yourself some wrinkles that you got He's on your got forehead and go yeah. jump in bed. Do yourself a favor <laughs> with all the Botox and the bullshit and just understand you're a terrible lips. troll. And, to and I'm ten times better at it. And you failed miserably. And I owned your ass all night, and it was easy. You're so annoying. Owned. <laughs> yeah, oh my it's God. so annoying. Now, earlier, really you were in love with me. Shut up. Up. My husband. Wait, actually, keep going. Fine, whatever. Oh my God, I'm actually. You're actually what? Oh my god, I reckon you should sign up to be president of the United States of America because you're the most annoyingest cunt and don't give up. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Your, you just said your that lip I'm is awesome quivering, but I don't know if it's from the lip filler and or you from... the trolling? No, you're he's bad. just so annoying. I actually hate him. I don't think I've never hated someone uh, so much in my no, life. No, I'm so oh, mad. Oh, 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 I hate him. He's so awful. Oh, 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 so oh look, I could do this too. You're a terrible troll. You suck. You remind me of I a won. fucking 20-year-old you brother. It's your problem. You're so annoying. I'm just better. Look, I'm just better at you. Imagine at his everything. wife saw it's, these it's clips. Like, <laughs> his wife really is watching this shit. Light up a ciggy. Light up a ciggy, Andrew. Hey, Andrew, I, I swear you've been chain smoking them all day. More than the Australians do it. You know what a wife Stop. is? That's something you're never going to be. Okay. I, I mean, Stop. Can we make this a kangaroo under the bridge? Let's be real. It's something you're never going to be. Yeah, I mean, like, let's you be you honest. Stop. Loud noises! <laughs> Oh my body god. Count, body count. Quick, please save us. Wait, my husband asked you me. You say over 100. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, all right. Uh, let right. me get, sorry guys, we had the TTS on pause so they could um, make wow. incoherent Wait. noises. That was magic. Uh, okay. This just worked. <laughs> You can, you can just say, Andrew, I love you. Way easier to do that, you know? I have a charm. She doesn't want to answer the question because the answer is she loves money and D in her mouth. And she that's doesn't crazy. love her mother to care enough. That's I love crazy. dick in my mouth. Whoa, it's that's my favorite a thing ever. TMI. And I love money. Dialed in 0430 donated $30. Far right's cleavage is the best I've ever seen what on the, the panel. Fuck? Gotta be the Russian in me. <laughs> For the ladies, do you up. prefer like, cuts or uncut? If you choose coup. Mm. Okay, uh, really quick around the table. Uh, do, you, do you, uh, just a show of hands, do you prefer circumcised? I don't care. Just everybody, quick. Oh my God, no, I don't care. I just want to be off. I just want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I love your show and I love being here, but it's so Oh, great. stop. So you can't be Shut mad up. that you got out trolled. To you. It's not you your can't show. be mad you got out trolled. <laughs> You've been lying the whole night. You can't be oh, mad no, you got out trolled. It's your fault. It's not your show. Shut fault. up. You wish it was your show. There's a child yeah, it's, 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 on it's, 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 here. Why would we talk about this? There's a child. That child has a Where's name. The, where's the child? <laughs> What's the child's name? The baby Maddie's alone. Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Yeah, Bartholomew. Yeah, yeah. Leave like Bartholomew alone. I don't want Bartholomew. Okay, we're having an adult <laughs> conversation. <laughs> okay, there's a chick that's over there. That's going to be her future ex-husband. Right? She told us. She already told us. Shh. Relax. Shh. Boys. Good talk. Stop talking. Stop Oh, God. Why not? Two we donated $30. Butts Guys, keep them polite, and money, yes. preferably. Butts and tits and money, yes. I do Butts reserve the right. And money, I do reserve yes. the right to, I'm to not. And ugly. Yes. Is that a song? Why don't you just say ass and titties? Oh, Steve and titties. underscore Irwin donated $30. Mm. Hold up, you're telling me the stingrays came for me before these molossies? 
Oh, look, Kirby is wearing a soldier uniform. She is Wait, finally primary. Oh, my God. Okay, can you hide this Please stop sending in your dollars. Random Bear donated $30.69. Hey, to and the you, got, panel you got Bear Tuesday, too. You got Tuesday, too. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Wait, can ladies, we ladies, that, like bear, uh, would you rather be alone in the forest with a bear or an the, alien? Uh, alien. What's up? Alien, alien bear. for the shits and gigs. Alien for the shit. What about you? Alien. That's what's up. Wait, what's your question? Alien. Sorry. Bear or alien? Forest in question. The, in the woods. Ah, uh, oh my god. Me personally, alien. But for this Andrew guy, I'd love to get him a grizzly bear so he can fucking rip him apart. Can kill. The, can maul. Whoa. Wait. Does the it? Does it change? Bears. Question. Question. <laughs> do, 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 uh, does it? Does it change if there's like a probe in the forest? A probe. A probe. What's does that? it? Probe. If there's a probe, does it change? Probe? I don't know what yes. I'm asking. Oh, uh, yes. Alien or bear? Alien. I don't get that. Alien. <laughs> Into the mics? Uh, alien. Alien. Maddie? Alien. Word. All right. We got some more, boys. We're going we're gonna to do these last few, and then we're wrapping up the show. By last few, I mean like Wiggly 20. donated $30. <laughs> uh, First time, Donna, but long time a listener. W to B and A. It'd like to say a no makeup stream. Bring on the feminists. Happy birthday, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hey, Aquatic birthday. donated thirty dollars. Brian, is there pineapple on the pizza? Also, yeah. does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes. Yeah. Also, can we see Nick? No. Never seen what? that man. Never. No, pine no pineapple. Yeah, that, no pineapple. That's an economy. That you like Silver pineapple. Amsterdam that's donated thirty dollars and ninety nine cents. First time Wait, dinner. McLovin? McLovin, the conversation. McLovin. Andrew, what a great question to the Osgal. What changed that she won't right. trust slash listen to her mom anymore? Sure. Joe Murphy donated $30. Having intelligent conversations with Andrew seems to be super difficult. Island the Assy twins Island should sing a song Island for the future. Boy. Island boy, <laughs> Island boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that. Simp Saver Sam donated $30. Simp Saver Sam here, a ally in the community. Andrew is the goat. When will you guys get me on the show? Sim Saver Sam. Sim Saver? Uh, thank do you, you actually have men on the show, though? Do you, do you so Hobbit Bevo's donated $30. Oh, wow. Now I understand why koalas get high off of eucalyptus. <laughs> Putting up with Australians would be Helen, the one in the black dress is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> of course you're laughing. Hey. You wish you were Australian. Can you, can you blow a kiss into the camera right here? Philip okay. McCrackskin donated $30. Hot yeah, exactly. I had a long day fighting light tarps <laughs> and foreign day. vehicle lovers lol. Can I get a ha ha or ta ha ha from everyone? Fuck. Let us hear them skim as <laughs> ladies. But, well, good job on wrecking the libtards, but to the ladies. Do it, Andrew. Okay. Any hawk twa? Does anybody know her ad? I'll invite her on the show. Huh? The hawk twa girl? I don't know that. No. You guys don't know who that is? Okay. Mm -hmm. If you, if somebody, like you know, somebody DM me her ad, I'll, I'll try to invite her on the show. People have been telling me to bring her on. Gia Gracie donated thirty dollars oh, no. to the twins. Oh, Anyone no. ever tell you you both look like trans Richard Spencers? Also, <laughs> if Brian wasn't fuck? an effeminate weirdo <laughs> with a D cup, <laughs> would you let? Oh, wow. Wait, so he's, he's asking. <laughs> Wait, what? If, so he's asking <laughs> if I wasn't, if I was not an effeminate weirdo with. <laughs> first off, I don't have D cups, okay? <laughs> <laughs> would would you let me hit? Yeah. Oh would you let me hit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Actually, I I thought I was gonna be beefing with you on the podcast. Same. Not this guy. I didn't yeah, even I'm know the, he. I didn't I'm even the, know he I'm, exists. I'm, I'm, you know, yeah, you're the Literally. I'm very nice. I'm it's nice. okay because after this podcast, you probably won't exist. Shh. So what, what the? Wait, what did you say? Damn it. Andrew, we're, we're having to laugh and you take it so dark. I'll protect you. I think no dark. I'm just ladies. saying, I, I just doubt you're going to want to tangle with me again. I, I got oh. the best of you. Uh, honestly, and it's because I'm not awake at 1 a.m. in the morning. I'm care. better than you in every conceivable way. That's the only reason why I won. Oh, my God. <laughs> he doesn't even know half the words he says. Anyways. Gohan underscore S underscore realization donated $30. Jimmy, maybe you can't answer because you know deep down what you are doing is slash feels wrong. Hashtag love yourself. Hashtag you can do better. Hashtag Andrew did no drink water. What? Oh, what? I don't know what Ron underscore Briggs donated $30. Thank you, Andrew, and God bless you. 
Maddie is hugging that fake baby like it's going to save her from the deranged <laughs> strumpets around her. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Steve Murphy donated $100. Love the show. This is why I paid. These sluts are crazy. Would still smash seven of nine, though, only because I'm drunk. Oh, ha. There's, there's more than nine. Yeah. We're soldiers. Oh. Can, I do uh, you can't okay. smash, can we please so look it up? Okay. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Victims of war here. Hey, <laughs> calm down. Yeah. GMD Jim donated $30. The sad part that nobody in that room understands. Andrew and Ozzy Strumpet's mother are the only people that give a shite about her soul. SMH. It's true. Austrian Strumpet Slayer donated $30. Question to the panel What do you think about Austria starting both world wars yet the whole world blames Germany? What the also, fuck those Ozzy twins. <laughs> Austria didn't start both world wars. Steve She's Murphy donated $200. Thank you, Steve. Love the show. That's yeah. why I paid. You're a legend, bro. These sluts are crazy. Hey. Would still smash seven of nine, though. Wait, Only like because I'm there's drunk. Like we don't huh. care. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> would smash us. Oh, okay. I'm not smashed. We in the uniforms. What are you talking about? Hey, calm down. Shit. Sorry. Gotta let it Yo, Steve Murphy. Oh Thank you, man. Really appreciate your patronage. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Eat it. Grab it. Grab it. No. Yeah. Sky donated $30. Uh -huh. Two bratty wannabe Lindsay Lowens in the back shut the puck up. You sound like entitled little brats. I am an entitled brat. No wonder brat. you no, have you to up. do corn to have sex. Everyone has a voice for a reason. Use it. The Devil Slayer yeah, donated Devil Slayer. $69. Have you ever noticed that Australian girls love fake tan? It's almost like everything in their life is fake, including their answers. Literally, if you had a joined about eight hours ago, you would have heard. Don't worry about this. Don't even worry about this. Old Man Marine donated $30. Joe Joe's cleavage was better. She needs to sit there every show. She sucks as a soldier, no bearing whatsoever. <laughs> I don't want to answer this. I don't want any attention. Dean like Smith that. donated thirty dollars. Oh, oh. Grandma, can you give me some advice? Whose dick do I have to suck <laughs> off for a pilot license? That's, that's not how you get one. <laughs> Is that Zimmer how you got one? Oh. Amsterdam donated thirty dollars and ninety nine cents. And Neutron walks into a bar. He asks the bartender how much for a drink. The bartender replies, for you, no charge. Oscals, 80 Ds on roster. <laughs> okay. RP Aquatic, can the pilot lady land a plane on the crying Aussie's big ass forehead? Hey. Wait, Damn. What? what? That's no, God. that was that was Wait, that was saying? actually insulting. That aquatic <laughs> room. Andrew DeGoat donated thirty dollars. Thoughts on Andrew <laughs> Tate. Thoughts on Andrew Tate? Hot. Hot. Yeah. Love it. <sighs> oh, yeah, you like bald guys. <laughs> okay. Well, I will say my thoughts on Andrew Tate. I am superior, oh, but only because I have a full head of hair. Damn, Andrew, you're... Okay. okay. If you... If... <laughs> uh, Butterface Twins, did you get French kissed by a Mac truck? Damn, damn, no. bro, because you both would be pro at plank to mouth oh, resuscitation. Shit. Are you both the wow. EMTs? Damn, these, this is crazy, bro. Okay, all Austrian right. Trumpet Slayer wait, wait, donated the, $30. Hey, the dating app. Burn we the finish heretic. Our dating app. We got to finish the dating mutant. app, then we got to wrap the show. Purge the unclean. We got to wrap within like three minutes. Seven minutes. <coughs> within seven minutes. Nick, go ahead. Within, within ten shit. minutes, at least. Yeah, we're wrapped. Oh, for sure. Nick, pull that shit up. Yep, dating app. Pull that shit up. Oh, no. I was doing this. Oh, my God. We didn't see your whole thing. Marry me or you're dead. That's yeah. a threat. I'm a bit Rude. Yeah. Next. This is for, like, my... I'm um, looking for a big boy. What the fuck? Ooh. Big boy. I'm like a fat a guy? Boy. Big boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like a big boy. She likes some... Okay, I got a chance, boys. What's up? What's da, 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 da. Be funny, XOXO. Okay, next. Is there another one? I think so. All right, get Andrew. Oh, there's one more. Okay. That, oh, that, 
Yeah, that's it. Dog. Okay. It's cute. Doggo. Cute yes. dog. Word. Where's Andrew? Andrew had to leave because yeah, you know, he he's coming he's back. He's going to go get another box of I think of you look better in person. <laughs> no offense. I think you look better in person oh, really? than those pictures. No, yeah. That's like a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> Big uh, compliment. Big compliment. Uh, uh, Twitch, Nick, go to Twitch. Twitch guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow on Prime Sub if you have one. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow and a Prime Sub if you have oh, one. Uh, guys, it's been, it's been 47 minutes since we've last had a Prime. I think our Twitch is bugged. I don't know what's going on. Guys, drop us a follow over there on Twitch. Maddie's streaming tomorrow. Guys, we're doing a Matt. I should have announced this the previous times. I forgot. We're doing a stream with Maddie tomorrow. Um, she is going to be doing a hot tub stream. Just kidding. Oh, Although nice. that, you know what? We should do like oh. a pool episode of the whatever, like a pool, like in a, a pool of oh, the yeah, whatever, or like, like a hot tub episode. We all That'd be fine. I would watch. Yeah. I, this I, Twitch, I Twitch allows that. Yeah. You have to put oh, it in the right category though. Okay, yeah. So guys, where's the prime? Uh, guys, I think we're still bugged. I don't see a prime yet. So if you're watching on Twitch, just check if you have a prime because I think our Twitch is bugged. I don't know. I like we're not. We haven't gotten any primes in like forty-seven minutes, boys. So like, oh thank you, all thank you, Ruskin. <laughs> like, appreciate it, man. And like, thank you for like the tier ones. You know, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh freaking hey, get me some fucking uh, poutine or some shit. Chris Olson donated thirty-three dollars and thirty-three cents. Nice to see you. Let loose and have fun. Yo, Chris Olson, thank you. This man. channel has grown so okay. fast. Must be stressful. Right. I think we'll, Hashtag uh, stay untilted. Untilted. Thank you, man. It was a fun show. It was a fun show. We had Charlie. We had Charlie Kirk. We had Charlie Wilson, Andrew Wilson's uh, long lost stepbrother. <laughs> we had Andrew Ch Andrew Kirk, and then also we had uh, Andrew Kirk is Andrew's drunk persona. So now we have this is Andrew Kirk. We have Andrew Kirk right now. I don't know. So <laughs> But, 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 Brian, I don't want an open border. I know. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's okay. Yeah, that's not fair. It's not fair to say. All right, fine. Anyways, okay, so uh, we, we have to do a raid. We're, we're going to be raiding Andrew after this, boys. What are you, what are you, guys, what are you guys doing back there? Hey, 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 they're getting ready for the raid. Yeah, we're getting ready. Wait, are we raiding him? Is there even a point? Well, Listen to we're him. raiding Andrew, but then on Twitch, we're going to be raiding. Let me see who we have to raid on Twitch. While I'm doing that, any final thoughts from the panel? Final thoughts? Final Live th long and prosper. Wow, that was beautiful. Thank I you. I hate that it Talking drags on everything. Yeah. It's so irrelevant to drag right. on everything for no reason. Irrelevant. Very, very true. You don't know the way. Um, we, um, in the next, if he's in the, if he's in the one on Tuesday, can we please mute him the whole time? He can just sit there and watch and wish he could say something, but he can't. <laughs> <laughs> Would be an ick. Because that's what you sound like. Oh, yeah, Steve Murphy donated $50. Andrew is legend. No, he's yeah, not. You know who, you, you know who's not oh, saying that you're a legend? Anybody. Yeah, okay. Oh, you don't shit. even own this podcast. <laughs> you're just trying to be a wannabe Brian. I mean Wait, what? You're just trying you're just trying to be a wannabe any female who's here who's good looking. Remember how I asked you uh, if there's any woman here who's better looking oh, than you shut and you were up. like oh, you're actually uh, annoying. Uh, 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 but I was lying earlier and I don't know what to say now. You're remember so how annoying. that happened? Shut up. You remember you're when like that guitar, happened, Troll? Smack it across your head. <laughs> yeah, you remember when that happened? Oh, you don't God. remember? We Shut do up. not. We are Go not. Go play your guitar in the background. Sit there and watch on mute. I'm Please. sorry. Can you play the guitar? No, can I can't. Shut up. Can you play anything up. except the skin split. flute? Can you play anything Whoa. but the skin flute? Oh, my God. Tell no. me the truth. The most no. 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 I didn't think you could. <laughs> Wait. I've never heard that before. You've never life. heard the skin flute? I've never heard that in my life. Well, you're from Russia, so that's it's like, so I can't. Okay. You know, they don't have those sayings over there. <laughs> they don't. Yeah, I'm not super American. Nice. Abby Dabby Doo. Okay, who are we? Uh, any final thoughts from anybody else? I mean, if you guys want to keep beefing, you can. I, um, I know, I don't want to keep beefing because it will never end till 5 a.m. So goodbye, good night. Please hang up now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she's kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. She's kind of funny. Hang up. <laughs> she's kind of funny in the like. An Australian woman definitely broke his heart once upon a time because he has something against That's us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has to be. A light or something. Is that true? 
Mm. But it was Good definitely on like Tinder or something. Or Thank you for app. your um, okay. psychoanalysis. Please mute him now. <laughs> Nick, yeah, we're going to raid Frost Adamus I mean, on Twitch. Do you know, I do appreciate the psychoanalysis, but you should really emphasize the psycho portion of that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Boom roasted. Yeah. No. Boom. Boom. I'll admit. Oh, what did he what a, Steve, thank you for the uh, TTS. I can't say it, but what a bleep. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Do you have Frosted Domus, Nick? I do, uh, Okay, uh, not, don't pull it up quite yet, because I just need to get through the uh, outro here. Oh. Old Man Marine donated $30. Aussies were the worst. Is Australia even a country, Andrew? <laughs> he doesn't... Okay, look, uh, I, I did have a debate on this with Jake Rattlesnake, who is the uh, official emperor of Australia, and uh, I remain unconvinced. Shout out Jake, Rattlesnake TV. All right, guys, so very fun show. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I don't, I don't know. She looks, look at this the, the Aussies look a little skeptical. The Aussies look a little skeptical about Wait. it being a fun show. Can you at least say it was a fun show that yeah, was a it fun was, back and forth like that we were fun, just joking like, the whole time? It was really fun. But Nobody cares. Shut the fuck up. Let Brian finish the show up. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, I actually can't. <laughs> These girls got a pot in them. I actually can't believe you say one laughing. thing. Look at her busting up no, laughing. You literally that say... was actually funny. Look at her laugh. She's dying over there. Oh my there. god, Donald, Donald Trump. Donald, Donald Duck. Oh. You don't want to be Donald Trump, but you're Donald Duck. Okay, now listen. Da, 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 da. And you would be so much funnier. You would... Shut the fuck up. Hey, listen here. Shut the fuck up. Listen here. Listen here. Listen here, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would be so much better and so much funnier if you didn't drag on oh, everything you said. Yeah. Who can you ever say yeah, is funny or not? Yeah. You suck the whole night. Shut you up. You have Wait. come in okay, to troll that and you Let suck so bad nice. that you got out trolled by me and I was I was even trying. I can't believe that. So bad. Boom, so bad. Well, let me let look. I'll be I'll be nice here. <sighs> let me let me ask you a question. Like what what are your dreams and hopes and mm -hmm. just to, to you? I just want to know what are your dreams and Aspirations and hopes. In life? Yeah. Um, well, it I doesn't am... matter what you think! Anyways, we're going to wrap up the no. show, so... What a cunt. Brian! I'm I was sorry. lacking I'm you might be a little Hang on, hang on, hang on. Have one. the chicken That's white back. She has a great That's, sense of we'll humor. Look at her busting up laughing. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, man. No, okay, I'm... Here, I'm serious. No. <laughs> no, I, 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 no, you can figure it out, out yourself. No, no, whatever, whatever, is, you whatever you want it to be. Whatever you want to be. We do want to give you a chance to Nobody's shout talking to you. Out. Hang on, hey, listen, listen. We do want to actually give you a chance to shout your channel out to everybody where they can find you. Wait, Andrew, we can't do that. No, 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 we have to. No. Go ahead, shout, shout your channel out to everybody where they can find you. Instagrams or what? Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. Anyway, back to you, Brian. <laughs> if you're gonna close, you the stole my, you stole my bid. You literally just repeated it. I knew not to answer that. It's a good bit. It's a good bit. It's a good bit. Okay. Goodbye. Good night. Uh, Steve Murphy, yo, had Sleep to choose tight. the one word that's not allowed. That also, that other word is also censored. It's the F word. Steve huh. Murphy, really appreciate your support tonight, man. Thank you so much. You're Wait, a legend. Sorry, hey. I have a question for Andrew. He's a brave and a decent man. He's a pioneer. That's you, Steve. Thank you. I actually have a question for you, What's Andrew. What's your question for Andrew? Go ahead. Um, what number cigarette is that? Probably 30. Oh, oh it, I'm one. sorry. Uh, Are we doing the you smoke because you, now you're bad thing? Are we doing that again? Okay. Owned, Andrew. Okay, no, 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 you well, just I'll, tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you no, what. I'll tell you how many cigarettes I've smoked this year. If you tell me how many dicks you've I swear that was you like a 57 owned, tonight. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I Honestly, I will tell you how many cigarettes I've smoked this year if you tell me how many dicks you've sucked and you're honest. Go ahead. Okay. How many? How many dicks? Damn, bro. Wait, I have to count. Yeah, go ahead and count. But, like, that's hard. I don't keep, like... Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to can. Yeah, I, I can see that. Sure is. Here, no, I don't pull even up that uh, super No, chat, please. please just shut up now. I just want to go home and go to sleep and get a good night's sleep. Hey, you sleep. keep instigating. I need to, I need to recover. You're instigating. True. Sorry, but I need to... You're I need instigating. To, okay, but I take that back. Please stop talking. But I just need to recover all the way to Tuesday. That's why I stick to anal sex. I don't know why I played that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, good night, guys. Just, Bye. Anyway, Hello? just hang tight. We're wrapping up. Okay, John Smith. Of all the... Maddie, read it. Go ahead. You got this shit. 
Of all the inventions of the last hundred years, the dry erase board has to be did the, the most baby remarkable. I can't what, see What happened to Bartholomew? Turn white? <gasps> Bartholomew! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not Bartholomew. Oh. Did you how read it? How could you do this? How could you do this mm -hmm. to a child? Yo, uh, John Smith. <laughs> Yo, John Smith. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. The dry erase board has to be the most. And then, uh, hold on, we got this. Joe Murphy donated $30. Ladies, like don't this. walk Thank away you, from this podcast you, negatively. This whole team is trying to open the dialogue and explore viewpoints through conversations. Yes, we love it. Look, you know, this and and actually, the women on the right, I would have enjoyed. I think tangling back and forth with, they seem very, very good faith. Oh, it was just, it, and and by the way, the Asian gal in the back, not you, but the two Aussies, yeah, they're just low tier trolls. They kind of ruined it for the rest of the panel. Just. Uh, whatever. Hurry up. Yeah, yeah just whatever. Yeah. Whatever. What? whatever. What? You want to shank him? No, hey, they, like, they, like they're provocative. You call they that enough. Like, he's actually mm. killable. The, whoa. whoa. In a video you game. Can't get, you can't get in, mad at in, me in a video game. they're provocative, and I'm yeah, more yeah, provocative in, in, in a video game. owned them. And Anyways, I'm not going to shank him. I'd so kill you in Roblox. Speaking of not trusting, I left church. All right. I know my parents mean well. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to wrap up, guys. I'm selfish, but I do my okay. best not to care. Yeah, thank you, man. But I I'll should try trust, but I'll right fly out. <laughs> All right. We're trying to go <laughs> home. Please, Brian, I don't want to go to bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to wrap. Okay, quick call to action. Rob. I'd like to end the show by seeing if we can't use this moment <laughs> as an opportunity to give you and you and you, Julie, what a, the fuck do? everything. A yeah. call to action. Would you... I guess you two kind of made. I don't know. Stop. Would you consider stopping sex work? No. M make a commitment on the whatever podcast. Call to action. Do you consider it? Do I consider what? Stopping. No. Being a digital. Whore. I, no. I was gonna Slat. not say those What's words. A but okay. Who cares? Is a whore. Um, what, do yeah. you commit on the whatever podcast to like, stopping OnlyFans? No, yeah, when I'm like 25. And open up no, tonight. Oh, no, definitely not. The call to action is for tonight. Serious? Do you know how much money I'm going to make tonight from this? Probably. <laughs> not as much as me. <laughs> she, she, she manages that one. She said, probably. Sorry. I'll just say this. The two girls from Riverside have been thinking this shit. Won't. I want to go home. They've been thinking that shit for a minute. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Good night. Please go to sleep now. All right. So, okay. <laughs> GG. I tried, I tried to do my call to action. They all said no. They didn't call on me. Yeah. Sorry, Julie. Nobody Julie cares. said no. It's your no, birthday. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Who the hell okay. cares? Oh. <laughs> Was that to me? Woo. No, it's to Julie. Thanks. Uh. Brian, by the way, this actually smells. You, that's, you Gustav, that's Gustavo's. This is awful. Sh hold it up. Hold okay, it up. Come here. Back. Come back into frame. Stand right behind. Hours this. It smells like genuinely right fucking... It, it smells the armpit of that. Yeah. Gustavo yeah, literally know. died in that. Look. Look. This is the worst one. Look. This is the worst one. It's been like two months. Okay. Let's go. Are we done? I don't know. Okay, okay. So I don't want to okay, smell good. it. Go over there. Take it away. Julie, go over there. Go, go. I don't want to get reminded. Wait, hold on, hold on. Together. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. All right, bye. All right, hold on. Okay. I'm going to bed now. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, guys, guys, let me wrap up. need a champagne refill. I have to ask. Oh, Andrew. No, 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 stop talking. Just wait, stop, now there's stop, four stop, more stop, messages. Stop, just say goodnight. Just say goodnight. And we're almost oh, done. We're almost done. You just say goodnight. Man we're almost done. donated thirty dollars. Oh my god! You're Imagine still a full-fledged stump is trying to shame you. SMH, it doesn't work. Okay, there's you a bunch coming in. For living, one second, so no one will ever let's, let's let these you. go through. Uh, okay, old man Marine. Thank you, man. Appreciate the support. Max you're donated thirty dollars. Just making the Aussies a wait a little longer <laughs> to make sure their night is just a tiny bit worse. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> What a dick. That was... Oh, come on, that was funny. Going to, going to laugh myself to sleep so tonight. They're having fun. They're having fun. Yeah. They're putting their... It yeah, thank you, really Steve. Funny. Funny. They're like getting bullied. Imogen, Im it's actually really funny though because she's, like the Aussies are so much more worse than you guys. Oh, Aussies like, are we brutal. We used to this on like on a daily basis. Then, then, then what guys? Aussie, no, Aussies no, like, like this. Aussies, Aussies are so brutal. Amsterdam underscore Oz underscore Oz underscore Roy donated thirty dollars and one cent. Great convo. Yo. Much love, Andrew. Silver Amsterdam. Thanks be rest well, y'all. Sporty peeps. Yo. 
Amsterdam's my favorite European city. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Okay, so I got to ask oh, boy. if Maddie, if you'll do me a favor, just real quick. As we sign off, can you grab a piece of pizza just because I want to settle a bet in my chat? Is that, can you do that? She, and do just what? Gra- just, just grab a piece of pizza and just kind of, you know, like do what your it? thing with a piece of pizza yeah. while we what wrap you? down. I just want to ask this huh? one question. Uh, what yeah. the fuck? Sure. Huh? <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Am I getting I know, paid I know for how this? it sounds, but just, Am I getting yeah. paid for this? I feel like just, he's getting paid for this. Oh, like, I, some I, pizza I, fetish I, thing. Man, don't even, no, don't it's do not it, girl. Fetish. Wait, I'm not going to eat it. Don't do it. Someone has a pizza fetish for you. Yeah, not No, it's not a pizza I'm fetish. Allergic. Wait, I, no, no, no. But I'm just to be clear, to I'm not hungry. Uh, I just put it. Um, yeah, it's not a pizza fetish. There's no more pizza? Mm. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Who said there's no more pizza? I was she doesn't. Like, I don't think she wants to. And Negative underscore 30 pepperoni. donated $30. How much will you do? Tell Gustavo to wash. That goes straight to my pocket. That Jeff. <laughs> 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 say, say $500. Uh, 500 she'll do, she'll do I'll do it for $500. She'll, she'll do it for $500. That goes straight uh, to my pocket. <laughs> I'll, I'll, you, I'll give Maddie 100 of it. Wait, where are you going? Stay. Yeah. stay I'm, I'm about to wrap. Just stay there. Stay there. Stay there. I'm about to wrap. I promise. We tried. Steve Murphy donated Andrew, $50. Up Andrew, smoke a cigarette for me. Boom. Okay, let me wrap this up, boys. Let me wrap this up. There we go. First, we got, we got to have him. Uh, there you go. There you go. This marks Marlboro. Marlboro. Oh, my God. He's got another cigarette. <laughs> Wait, that's actually so funny. <laughs> All right, so the Merlons. Yeah. All right, well, I wasn't G- done with the first one, so. <laughs> GG, well played to the panel. Last call, hit the like button, please, on your way out. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who super chats, donates, and supports the show. We, we're actually going to be live again on Twitch tomorrow, twitch.tv slash whatever. Madison's going to be doing a stream on there. Uh, Still sort of a test stream, but you know, I think we're actually going live early tomorrow, like 1 p.m. We might push it because we went pretty late tonight, so we'll see. I need some sleep. Yeah, we'll we'll see about the timing, but we will do a stream tomorrow, so be sure to tune in for that. We'll be live again Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Got another great show on Tuesday. Any girls who want to be on the show, DM out whatever on Instagram if you can make it to Santa Barbara. 07's in the chat. We're going to the other direction, just so you know, of um, you know, progressive callers calling to conservative shows, this type of thing. It's exactly the same thing, just in reverse. People tend to run on emotions, and that's why rhetoric and politics is so important. Uh, so when you say Republicans don't know much about the border, I would counter and say neither do progressives. Most, in fact, I would just say most I'm people. Progressive. What's that? I'm progressive. Yeah, I know, but you knowing a lot about the border does not mean progressives know a lot about the border in general. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm teaching. Yeah, so... Um, what is your stance, if you, if I may ask, on what U.S. policy should be on the southern border? In regards to what? Immigration and dealing well, yeah, with illegal immigrants. Yeah, and that's I can ask you specifically what are you talking about because the border is very complicated. So are you talking about the influx and dealing with? My, well, I just told you I'm talking about policy specifically in dealing with illegal immigrants. Well, illegal are the ones that are convicted. The ones coming into the United States haven't been convicted of a charge. Well, you can be doing something. This is kind of pedantry, right? Because you can be doing something illegal even if you're not convicted of it. Well, you can be charged with doing something illegal. It doesn't make it illegal. No, you can be doing something illegal even if you're never charged for it. So, for instance, you can break into somebody's house, never be charged, but you did something illegal. You have to be found guilty in order. No, for it you to be, still would yes. be doing something illegal, even in the if United you're. United States, Andrew, are we not innocent until proven guilty? By the court system, that's true, but philosophically, it's matters. not true. No, 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 it's not what matters because law is is only built around this idea that we must find you innocent until proven guilty for it to be fair. That does not mean in reality you have not done something illegal, though. So you con- you convict somebody based off feelings, but not in the and not in the justice system. I don't. Well, so I I'm, I'm just I want to be sure that we're not speaking past each other. Do you agree that if a man goes in the street and uh, unalives another man in a way which is unjustified, he just feels like doing it? That he did something illegal, even though he has not actually been prosecuted for it yet. Do you agree that that's true? Well, you got to look at it. There's a lot of confounding things you have to think about. 
What are the confounding so, things that you so have to think that, about? Well, it could have been a uh, heat of passion. It could have been no, no, no. But it's baked into the hypothetical that he unalived, unjustified. So he he basically, uh, I can't say the word, but it starts with an M, right? Well, it's alleged, and I'm a person of rule and law. And mm -hmm. in the United States, you're innocent until proven guilty. Yes, and according to the law. Guilty, yes, then you did. Then you broke the law. Yeah, yeah. According to the law, that's true. However, somebody could be committing a crime in front of you, which gives you justification to do things you could not ordinarily do to them, and they have not been prosecuted of anything. They have not been charged with a single crime. They have not been found guilty of anything. However, if somebody's conducting a crime in front of you, how come you then have justification to do things you could not ordinarily do to them if they were not committing a crime, sir? Because I believe in the Constitution of the United States. I believe that we all have rights, including those that commit or allegedly commit heinous crimes. And we built the adversarial justice system so we can confront the alleged charges. And once we convict them, now we can uh, definitely... This does not uh, answer my question. So let me restate, the, let me restate, the, let me restate the question. If somebody breaks I into your home, are you justified you are in defending yourself? Off a feeling about something that you probably don't know exactly what happened. Okay, if somebody breaks into your home, are you justified then in defending yourself versus if somebody you invite into your home, you're not then justified in, you know, using well, you're force. Talking about my curtilage. There's a law that protects me. Right, but nobody's been prosecuted. It is my castle. Nobody's been found guilty of anything. Nobody's been been prosecuted. Nobody's been they they haven't even that had a single right. And I'm not being charged with anything. And if I do get charged with something for defending my home, I go to court well, and it, I could be found guilty or not guilty. Sure, that's that true. Point. That's true. But but this goes back to your earlier point that you can be doing something illegal whether or not here, here, you're here, ever just, charged. No, you can't evade yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, you need to answer great, it. Andrew. Hold on a second. I don't need to answer anything. No, I'm you're just going to run away from it? No, no. I'm going to tell you this much. Okay. Here. I'm very familiar with court systems and practices. Mm -hmm. You are innocent until proven guilty in the United States, and I think a lot of people lose uh, sight of that. Trump was innocent until he was proven guilty, and he was proven guilty by a jury of his peers. Okay. Now, somebody in these hypotheticals uh, witnesses somebody doing something they charge them with a crime and they have to be seen in court. They can plead or they can say uh, not guilty and then go through the process. Right. No, that's so not that's correct. That's not America actually correct. So so let's it let's go. Correct. So here I'll, I'll demonstrate it for you. Do you agree that if, if, if a woman is being attacked sexually in front of me, that I can then do something to the assailant of her, even though he's never been convicted of the crime of the essay which he's conducting. Do you agree that that's but true or not, not? You're not convicting them of. I the didn't say that. I said he's somebody. doing something illegal. You're not understanding. He's the doing the something process. illegal, correct? You're defending somebody else, yes. And so that person's doing something illegal, correct? But I'm talking about the court Just system. please answer it, my question. Okay, no, Andrew. You're, you're not going to answer. You're not going to answer it. No, no. Hold on a second. I'm going to answer your fucking question. Yeah, sure you so, are. Go ahead. In this scenario, somebody is being assaulted. I can come in and defend somebody else. That person that was assaulting that person heads to court. Yeah. They are presumed innocent until proven guilty, regardless if I defended that person. Then it goes to the court process adversarial contest and if they're found guilty then they did in fact do what you alleged them to do, to have done yeah right but none of that now, is what's in dispute though in the court yeah, but none of that's what we're disputing here so Sorry, the, dis Andrew, the dispute is over trump is found yeah i didn't mention trump at all i don't I, yeah, yeah, that's great. I didn't say anything about Trump. So I'm not said anything that is false. Yeah, okay, but you did. So in the beginning of this, You're the re off on the reason that this the reason that this uh, argument spurned off is because you said a person, an illegal immigrant, cannot be doing something illegal until they are convicted. And then when we when I press you, with? when I press what you, would you let me there, finish Andrew? my argument first, please? It's a dumb argument. Then I'm let me make it, and then you can dismantle it. Comes into the United States. I'm sorry, you can't you can't that. let me make the argument because you're terrified. Of the argument is that right sir no go ahead go okay ahead great so anyway so your argument was 
Somebody cannot be doing something illegal until they're convicted that thus illegal immigrants are not illegal. However, when I press you on that logically, we determine, wait a second, people can indeed do things illegal all the time and that you can then uh, create actions against those people even though they've never had due process. The same exact thing happens on the southern border. Same exact thing. You can be committing a crime even though you're not found guilty and you can be dealt with as a person who is under suspicion of committing a crime. They're most certainly under suspicion of committing a crime, which is illegally breaking and entering into the United States. Is that it? Okay. So here's what I'll say about that. There are American citizens that cross into the United States entry without inspection between the ports of entry. And we cannot deny an American citizen into the United States, regardless of where they're coming in at. So you're saying that they are illegal when, in fact, some people are not illegal after we vet them. Yeah, but even if I grant the out, even if I granted the outliers, I thought I'm sorry, I thought you were done. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm not done. yet. Well, when you have a long pause, I assume you're done. I'm not done yet. Okay, that's the way I talk. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Go ahead. Cool. So in the court system, if we're not going to charge them with anything, how are you going to refer to or refer to them as being illegal? Now, when you say illegally present in the United States, you've already convicted them of entry without inspection. Do you know, Andrew, the law that they are breaking at the border? What's the law they're breaking at the border? I'm asking you, expert. I didn't say I was an expert. Okay. So you're trying to say that they're illegal, but you don't know what makes it illegal to enter into the United States. Well, I, I don't know what the penal code is for breaking and entering in Michigan, but I can still tell you when someone's breaking and entering. Okay, so tell me what... Hang what on, hang on. Constitute? It Does it logically follow, sir, that I can determine what is breaking and entering even though I don't know what the penal code for it is? Is that true or false? That's false. It's false? You, I just... Yeah, because you don't know if they're an American citizen. I see. So if somebody breaks into my home, I got to say, wait a second, man. I don't know the penal code. I can't. Because I don't know the penal code, I can't defend myself, sir. I can't. (laughs) Because I don't know the penal code, I can't defend myself. I'm here for a civil conversation. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, cope, dude. So I'll tell you this much. In the United States, you're innocent until proven guilty. There are an American citizens that come into the United States in between the ports of entry and we can't not we cannot deny them entry (laughs) so we have to vet them we have to determine their citizenship and at some point or another they're gonna have to see the judge and the judge determines whether or not their entry without inspection it is a misdemeanor crime under 8 USC 1325 plain and simple so just because you sound confident and you try to over speak it doesn't mean you have any experience at the border. Don't need it. You understand? Don't have to have it. So. It's not necessary, Coper. All right. I'm here for a civil conversation. And if you can't handle it, then just leave. He's there to prattle. Or I'll boot you up. Yeah, there we go. What's up, Clips? Hello. Hey. You can't commit a crime unless you're found guilty of the crime. Logic 101, folks. You can't determine that somebody has broken into your house if you don't know the penal code. If you don't know the penal code, they just haven't broken in. They've committed no crime. Fucking, some of these people, I don't actually know how they function in society. I don't know how they function in society at all. I just, uh, I don't. Uh, why would a thanks for watching there is hope in jesus christ he will never leave you or forsake you like and subscribe and join our discord for friends and more That's sad. so if a guy's i'm nine, sorry is, i'm sorry three. is four times three nine four times three is twelve yeah. oh shit 12. dude i'm yeah. so bad at math oh, oh my god. god it's 12 now dude yo you How thought did I go up like you three? thought four times three was nine. I haven't slept in like thirty <laughs> I bring math hours. Table. I have not slept in thirty it's okay. something I hours. You. I'm tired. It's okay.